Hello there mortals, I am Jensen and welcome to No Skin. I was not about to play this, honestly. I saw Markiplier played it. Then I realized on the itch.io page, all of the comments are literally just people saying, hey, what if I do this and what if I do that? Turns out there's actually hours worth of content in this game. So I, I'm missing out on lots by just watching Markiplier play it. Which he's probably not going to play again, honestly, until the new version comes out. So I'm going to fire into it. I'm going to see what kind of lore is actually in this game. Because I didn't realize there was actually proper lore. The moon! Are you ready? Don't be afraid. The goddess watches over you. I did very publicly say that I wasn't going to play this game. That is correct. But you can actually see right here that I lied. Because I am currently, you know, playing the game and everything. All right, so I know the basic premise of the game, right? There's something with no skin and it's a roguelite. Other than that, I don't really know anything. Balcony, face rugs, fine cigarettes, met a girl similar to you, unexpected event. Oh, I didn't even pay attention when I was watching Markiplier's video. I don't know what any of that means. Face Mary, met a mysterious girl, find crimson fragments, unexpected event. Okay, so I imagine in the top left-hand corner, that's kind of like the roguelite currency, right? There's a bathroom too. Face the follower of the false god. Observe the cult followers meeting. Take a shower. Unexpected event. Oh, there's so many more. Inventory. Nightshade. State. Noir. State. Noir. What? Okay, so there is actually combat in this game. Good. All right, let's just go into the balcony and see what happens, right? Hey there, rugs. How you doing? He's not got a lot of health. Oh. Pray to the goddess. Any damage you would take this turn becomes one. No reductions apply. Hey, that's pretty good. Did you get what I sent you on Discord? I saw that you're willing to give me a copy of Machine for Pigs. I think I'll just wait for a sale, honestly. There are so many other games that I will be kind of uh, playing in between anyway. We have some items. Oh, we've got Nightshade. Increase the damage inflicted by the melee weapon in this battle by one. That's pretty good. Escape. Chance of success, 15. That's not amazing. What is he holding up to his head? He's got a cigarette. Okay, we're going to... We're going to use an, a knife on him. I think we'll save our bullets for when we really need it. Rugs takes aim. Okay, we, I think we really need it now. Boom, I just shot Rugs in the head. Enemy defeated. You earned seven fragments. Nice. You earned one lunar fragment, whatever the hell that means. You earned cigarettes. No, wait, was that the one in his mouth that I took out? Percentage obtained in order to find the skin. Four. Gross. Why are we looking for skin? Why is this a thing? Meet the hanged man, find ammo, face Trish, unexpected event. Where was that guy we just shot? Was he in the lounge? He may have been in the lounge. Let's go back to the lounge, see what happens. Uh, glub, glub. Glub, glub, glub. Glub, glub. Well, I'm baffled, and also I'm going to change sides, because I, I think that this might be a little bit better. Over here. Okay, good. I feel like that's a bit better. Glub, glub, glub. Oh, is this a shop? Is this a shop? Okay. Ammo could be really handy. Let's get the names on all the bullets. Mary, Trish, Rugs, Esther. Okay, so this was one of the questions that somebody on Itch was asking. What happens if you kill all of the enemies in this order? One cigarette, that doesn't seem to be how grammar works. Well, it's, it's, it's singular plural, right? Like how fish is just fish. Slightly increases the chance of escape for cigarettes. Why? Because... The person we're fighting is disgusted by our habit. Nightshade. Increase the damage inflicted by the melee weapon. Okay. Strange pills restore an HP. That seems okay. Can't really buy any of this though. Reload the ranged weapon, bringing ammo to the maximum. Six. Right, so we've got a revolver of some sort. I don't know if we can come back here. I think we just leave, right? We, we can't afford to be here. Percentage in order to find the skin. Six percent. Gross. Still don't really want to find any skin. I kind of want to face Esther. See what she's all about. Her face is missing. We do have this knife. She's got a lot of health, actually. She's got just as much health as we do. We could probably just shoot her, right? Black her in the face. Esther is waiting. Okay. Esther charges a devastating attack. How devastating? Sh should we pray to the gods, maybe? Esther attacks. We've taken our first damage. Okay, I'm attacking with the knife. Esther is waiting. I think I just slashed her neck a little bit. We'll use the gun. Bang, bang. Enemy defeated. Nice. 
Well, make it a point to never watch Mark's videos until I've played the games myself. Yeah, I, I, I was going to be like that, but I didn't realize that Mark only played, like, a tiny fraction of this demo. Apparently, this, this demo is actually very, very uh, substance-heavy. Seven fragments we got. We earned one Lunar Fragment. We also earned Nightshade. Nice. Okay, we've got 8% so far. Uh, we've permanently lost one of the hearts. Your memories become more vivid. New room unlocked. Kitchen. Max HP plus one. Thanks. So I am kind of getting weird vibes, right? I'm, I'm starting to see mental health kind of pop up. Kind of like how we're looking through the eyes of maybe a potential schizophrenic or something like that. Oh yeah, there's like 11 hours of gameplay just to 100% this demo. Yes! That's precisely what I want to hear. So, what the hell? Meet the sacrificial lamb. Find blood and bile. I don't know what these unexpected events are. Face sharp knives. Why? Mary's room? I think the frog's going to be kind of like a, a vendor, right? Find the frog's lair. It's going to be a, a shop. Also, I have a suggestion for you that will only take 30 minutes to beat for the future. Go on, drop it. We can face Mary, meet a mysterious girl, find crimson fragments. I'm going to go ahead and gamble on Mary's room. I feel like these locations, they change. So we do one location, right? And it rolls the potential that we could get out of it. And then that room is just like not available again. Let's go ahead and try and find the frog's lair. Worst case scenario. Oh, we did it. Nice. Ribbit, ribbit. Frogs, frogs, we are frogs. We are fond of those precious shimmering fragments. Do you have any for us? We can offer, we can offer you valuable items found in the trash. Like a hunter's knife, good grief. Wow, replace your melee weapon with the hunter's knife. When you hit an enemy, you earn fragments. Ooh, gun and torch. That's cheap as well. We could probably actually buy the hunter's knife. Replace your ranged weapon with gun and torch. When attacking, even if you miss the shot, reduce the damage you would take this turn by two. That's kind of overpowered, actually. Emergency dagger, if you attack with your melee weapon and miss the hit, your attack again with the same damage and 80% accuracy. Also pretty OP. We can't afford it, though. Cult necklace, when you're about to die, you come back to life with half your HP. Oh! Oh, that's OP. Okay, Hunter's Knife. We're going to do that one. The least OP one. And I'm pretty sure we're happy with this, right? Called Cube Escape Paradox. It's free on... Oh! Is that one of the Rusty Lake games? I love those so much. I love the Rusty Lake games. They were god-tier Flash games. Enemy HP increased. That's not good. The no-skin man's curse is intensified. Who is this no-skin man? Okay, we could meet the hangman, find ammo, face Trish, face Nadine, face Mary. I'm going to go ahead and take a gamble on the sacrificial lamb. 20%, maybe we'll do it. No eye soft. What is this dream diary? Oh? Huh? <laughs> I'm just playing with you. A truly unexpected event. Uh... Yes, I love it. Yeah, the uh, Rusty Lake games are so good, honestly. They're so, like, ethereal. Okay, we could probably try and face Trish in the storage room, right? I think... This game is actually very similar to Buckshot Roulette in terms of like strategy, so I think we'll definitely play it more like Buckshot Roulette. So let's go ahead and use the Hunter's Knife. We'll get ourselves some shards. Nice. Trish attacks. She did her damage. That sucks. All right, we'll attack her again. Trish is waiting. Excellent. We're generating shards. Trish charges a devastating attack. I don't even want to know how much that's going to be. Let's go ahead and pray. Trish attacks. One damage. Suck it, Trish. I'm trying to, like, in my head, I'm trying to interpret exactly what I'm looking at as if I were incredibly mentally ill. Kind of like Fran Bo, in a way. Enemy defeated. You earn eight fragments. You earn lun one lunar fragment, and we got an ammo. Perfect. We'll start shooting people in the face more. We've got 14%. Your memories become more vivid. New room unlocked, cult chamber, and also max HP plus one. Pretty good. I like that. Let's... Do we... Oh, there's also the bathroom. We could take a shower, hopefully. There's Nadine's room, which Nadine lives in. Let's meet Nad Nadine, see what happens. Everything seems calm. On the ground, there is a trail of blood. You earn blood and bile. You leave the room, disgusted. Okay, so since we can't go back into that room, I imagine that we just walked in there, found Nadine dead, and then took some kind of trophy, right? Maybe? So we could probably try and face Mary this time. 
There's also the storage room with Trish, who is a bit of a, a wimp, if I remember right. Nope, that's not the wimp. We could probably shoot her a bunch, though. Trish attacks. I bet she does. Whoops, didn't want to slash. Trish is waiting. All right, let's shoot her. Bang! Two, nice. She's charging a devastating attack. I don't care, I'm going to slash her. Boom! Nice! Okay, the enemy has been defeated. We earned eight fragments, and we got a Lunar Fragment. You earn one ammo. Great! So, hold up. We saw all the bullets with the names written on it, right? If we kill them for the first time with the gun, do we get ammo back for that? Is that what I'm kind of extrapolating from, from what we're seeing? Maybe. Maybe indeed. We could face sharp knives or find the frog's lair. We've got lots of shards, actually. Let's gamble on the frog's lair. Nope, sharp knives. Some enemies cannot be hit in any way. They are recognized by huh instead of HP. In these cases, the only chance of survival is to escape. Okay, we'll try that. 40% chance. I like my odds. Hey, we did it. Nice. Yesent? What, as in like the, the bullet thing? Is, is that what you're talking about? So we got 20% finding skin stuff. I still don't know what the skin is for. Uh, I'm going to go back for the frog's lair. I'm going to hope we gamble on. Yes, nice. They've got lots of cool stuff. Yes. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. Frogs, we are frogs. Okay, so this is a shop. So I think that maybe we should get the emergency dagger or the cult necklace. We're pretty low on health, actually. Let's go ahead and get the cult necklace. Don't think we can afford anything else, but we did just give ourselves a little bit more survivability, I think. I'm doing a stream where I beat every Rusty Lake game for the first time in one stream. That's going to be hard. They are they are hard games, by the way. That, some of them are really, really difficult. And a lot of them actually have multiple endings as well. Pretty cool. If you tell me when that's going to be with like a like a time and a maybe a time zone as well, I'll, I'll try to catch it. Okay, new room, hallway. They used to be Flash games for free. Isn't that cool? And now they're just like really, really cheap games on Steam. Uh, I'm not going to gamble on the frog's lair again. We probably want to try and face enemies at this point, right? There's also the hanged man. We've got a 19% chance to find some ammo. Okay, we got Trish. This is good, actually. We can generate ourselves a few shards. We only have one ammo, it seems. Do we have anything else? We have cigarettes. We actually do have quite a bit of ammo, but it's going to take us a turn to use. I think we use it. I think it's going to be a good investment in time. Trish attacks us back. Whoa! Did she take off two HP? Good gravy woman. Trish is waiting. Okay, well, I'm gonna take this opportunity to use some ammo. There we go. We've got full gun and we've got a turn. Hey, that's cash money. Let's go ahead and slash her neck again. She should be charging up a devastating attack at this point. And hopefully we won't miss our shot with this gun. Bang! Enemy defeated. So did we just like snap? Are we are we going around here just murdering everyone that we live with or something like that? Should be tomorrow-ish sometime. Okay. I'll keep an eye out. You earn ammo. Great. I don't think I've got anything on tomorrow except for editing the uh, videos. Percentage earned, 24%. Cool. Enemy HP increase. That's not so cool. I think we want to try and get as many of these HPs as we possibly can, right? So that when we bite the dust, we get half of those back. So maybe we go to the bathroom for the first time. I don't know who this follower of the false god is. Actually, he's not that bad. Let's go ahead and just start firing away at him. One good shot. He is waiting. I'm going to slash his neck. There we go. Follow of the false god attacks. No, he hit me for one. Let's shoot him in the head. I don't think we could have missed with that giant target across his head. Enemy defeated. We got eight fragments. You earn one lunar fragment. You earn strange pills. Thanks. Why? We've got 26% to find the skin. I also don't know what the... What the crosses above my head, just over here are. Don't know what those are. Uh, let's go ahead and maybe use some of these. Cigarettes, slightly increases the chance of escape. Gain two non-permanent maximum HP. Does that go away? Might do. Ammo's good. Strange Pills restores one HP. I don't see any instance where one HP would actually make a difference, especially if we have to use an item for it. Tomorrow around this time? Okay, I'll keep an eye out. So we could probably face Mary. I know that the follower of the false god is a, a little bit of a wimp, so I'm going to go after him again. Okay, he's only got 5 HP, that's perfect. Can we use these items and still keep our turn? Gain 2 non-permanent maximum HP. Okay, perfect. We've got some strange pills as well. Okay, I think this may have just saved us the fight, right? So we can shoot him twice, 
And we can also slash his neck once. Okay, he's waiting. He's probably going to attack in the next turn. Yep, he attacks right here. We lost one of the little golden hearts, but that's okay. I think in the next one he's going to wait, right? So we slash him twice. Oh, he's charging up a devastating attack. Okay, well, I'm going to use my knife again. We've almost got... Oh, we've got 47 shards. That's heaps. We earn eight fragments. We earn one lunar fragment. And we got some strange pills. That's, I think that's another uh, free HP, isn't it? We got 28% so far. We're doing pretty good, actually. I, we're supposed to have died about now, right? The cult chamber. Face the priestess of the false god. Face the no-skin man. Who? Maybe we try the priestess of the false god. We could face Trish. Okay, I'm going to try and face the... F Whoa, this guy has a great model. I love his model so much. I'm going to go ahead and use those items because it seems like the yellow health kind of like carries over, which is just absolutely fantastic. I think that maybe we use a nightshade and we try and triple slash him. I did it. I did the thing. Let's try the knife this time. There we go. There's two. He attacks us for one HP. That's good. We slash him again. Priestess of the False God heals by one HP. You dick. Okay, let's go ahead and stab him again. And he attacks us for one. And we'll stab him. We slash his face off. Enemy defeated. You earn 10 fragments. You earn one lunar fragment. You earn a golden bullet. Wow. I don't know if that's good. Okay, we were at 30% now. The doorman is my favorite design, but you haven't found him yet. You try across the hallway, but something hides in the darkness. It's approaching. Getting closer and closer. Hello? No! Oh no! I did not expect this. Uh, we should probably use a bunch of stuff, right? Oh, instant attack dealing two damage. Boom! Done. Golden bullet straight into his head. Uh, we've got this nightshade that we could probably... We definitely want to use it, actually. That might give us the fight. Maybe we want to reload our gun after it's empty. We got two ammo still. We'll do some big attacks. Burned alive inflicts three poison. Are you taking the piss? When you have poison, you take one damage at the end of each turn, starting from the turn after you when you were poisoned. Okay. The, after taking damage, the counter decreases, and the poison state ends when it reaches zero. At the end of a battle, the excess poison is not removed and starts damaging you from the next battle. Ah. Great. Okay. So let's start using the hunter's knife, because it's going to generate for us a bunch of shards. We got attack. The poison hits us. We still got all of our health back. I'm not sure we can finish this. Burned Alive Charge is a devastating attack. Poison takes effect. You suffer one damage. I'm going to go ahead and pray to the goddess. Burned Alive attacks. Maybe we can save a little bit of face. We still just got poisoned. So we've got one HP. And it doesn't really look like we can do anything else. What does this do for our escape? Not a lot. 7%. Not happy with that. Okay. Okay, okay. Haven't encountered that guy before. This guy. I, d I didn't even know he was a thing. Why are we using our gun if we have uh, the knife that generates shards? The burned alive heals by 2 HP. Well, take that, you big bastard. Burned alive inflicts poison on us. This is going to kill us. Oh, if he didn't heal, we would have just had this fight. Oh, offer 99 crimson fragments. Piss off. Plead for mercy? No. Try to escape? I think this one's the highest probability, right? Failed escape, of course. Burned alive attacks. The poison takes effect and we suffer one damage. Okay, we just died to death real bad. The moon! And so, this is the end of everything. But don't worry. I can bring you back. You just have to fulfill your mission. What is that? Find skin? Hold on. I see you're carrying lunar fragments with you. I can unlock your memories if you give me some. And remember, everything you unlock here is permanent. All right. What do we got? We've got eight fragments. I don't know if that's crap or not. We can unlock the lighter from the long guild fish. We could probably actually get more tutorial prompts from this zone, right? Just by reading these. Unlock the item crucifix, purchase purchasable from the long guild fish in the second area. Uh, unlock the red room. That's a murder room for the dark web. So we've got to be kind of like in some kind of cultist's building. I'm, uh, that's probably what I'm gathering from this. And everybody here has massive emotional damages that we're kind of looking at them to represent them how we're seeing them, right? For meets function, that lady was missing her face because she uh, 
maybe has no... Well, actually, who was it? One of them had a face made out of sh the shards right up in the in the corner over there. So it could be that sh she was just kind of like a broken mirror, maybe? But I don't know why these shards would be red, if that's the case. Okay, may re appear rarely at any time. No. Absolute red. Unlock the red room, the second area. Oh, it may appear rarely in any time. Ribbit, ribbit. Unlock the item reload, purchasable from the frogs in the area. What is this? We can't afford it. Ribbit, ribbit. Unlock the item temporal rupture, purchasable from the frogs in the second area. Unlock the enemy, the doorman. It may appear in the lounge, the kitchen, the cult room, and the corridor. This is the guy you like, right? Do we just get him? Unlock the enemy, apostle of the false god cult. It may appear in the stairs, in the garage, the room seen in a dream, in the basement. Or maybe, like, the entire neighborhood has been infiltrated by a satanic, a satanic cult, and we, the schizophrenic paranoid, are the only ones who aren't infected by, by the influence, or something like that. Unlike the goddesses, gifts, predators, and prey, and gambling in all areas. Gambling, why would we want that? A mysterious girl. Unlocking new enemy, it may appear at the end of the second area. Cry for help. Unlock the ability to play on a simplified difficulty. You can choose the difficulty every time you start a new game. Don't need that, come on. Why would I need that? Oh, probably actually to farm shards, right? The doorman? Okay, but if he's like a super hard boss, I'm gonna be super annoyed. We got the doorman. That's all we can afford. Okay, so everything's going to now become harder, I think, because we don't... R I think we probably min-maxed that last run pretty well, given what we had. We could probably face Rugs again. We could face Nadine. I'm going to Nadine. We're going to take a look at Nadine. She has stabbed her eyes out, or she is blind to the truth. Hard to tell. Maybe she is willfully blind to the truth. Maybe that's what this this icon is telling us. She, she's, she knows that they're lies, and she buys into them even though she shouldn't because she knows they're lies, perhaps. Okay, well, let's put her down. Let's put her out of our misery. Nadine is waiting. Well, that's cost you your life. Whoops. Nadine inflicts poison two on you. That's annoying. I didn't mean to use the knife. I was hoping that it maybe just, like, saved the weapon that we were using. We got seven fragments. We got three lunar fragments. Wow, that's pretty good. I didn't realize that they kind of carried over. Still don't know what blood and bile does. We got two poison. That's going to be an obvious two points off of our health, which is quite annoying. Rugs, the follower of the false god. This guy's easy. This guy's an easy clap. Let's just clap him. Bang! Follower of the false god is waiting. And we take damage. Yep. One damage. And we're also going to stab this guy right in his neck. Enemy defeated. You earn six fragments. And a lunar fragment. That guy's easy. We got some strange pills as well. Got him. Okay, we got 6% skin, it seems. Base Nadine. Face Esther. Face Rugs. I think Esther is kind of tricky. As oh, the doorman is here. Let's see if we can't roll him. Hey! Um, I didn't realize this would actually be a fight. Okay, we're going to have to shoot this guy a bunch. The doorman is waiting. Poison takes effect. You suffer one damage. Okay. The poison is gone. We're going to shoot him again. The doorman is waiting. For what? Gun. We missed. The doorman flees. Weak. Weak! What a dick. Okay, so we didn't get anything from that fight. Actually, the doorman has cost us this run, I think. New room, unlock the kitchen. Still don't particularly care, to be quite honest. Can we get him again? Blood and bile, crimson fragments. Let's go to Mary's room. Maybe we'll find some crimson fragments. Wait, she looks different. Doesn't she? Let's shoot her. Black her straight in the face. Mary is waiting. Now, we probably have to reload this bad boy. You have no ammo. Yeah, so we're probably going to have to use our knife now. Mary attacks! For one. Okay, I've slashed her neck open. She's dead. Defeated! You earn 10 fragments and a lunar fragment. We also got some nightshade. Those are kind of overpowered, actually. Okay, so we've got 10%. No man's skin curse intensifies. Enemy HP increased. Maybe that's what the crosses are. Nope, it is not. Right, so we could face Nadine, Mary, or Esther. The doorman is here in the lounge. Let's try and roll him again. We've got a fish. Glub, 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 glub. What do we want to buy? We probably want to maybe get these strange pills because that's just survivability. I'm doing it. Uh, nightshade increases the weapon damage. That's kind of OP, but I don't know where we would use that yet. Increase the chances of escape. Yuck. And reload weapon. Mary, Trish, Rugs, Esther. we got to remember that, right? Mary, Trish, Rugs, Esther. we got to try and kill them in that order. I'm going to get the Nightshade. 
Mary Trish Ruggs Esther. Mary Trish Ruggs Esther. We'll try and kill him in that order. Next time we die. Mary Trish Ruggs Esther. I got, I'm going to write that down, actually. Mary Trish Ruggs Esther. Mary Trish Ruggs Esther. All right, we're going to smear these guys next time we see them. So we could go to the bathroom and uh, watch the follower of the false god take a crap or something like that. Oh, the doorman's here in the kitchen. Let's see if we can't find him. We got frogs. Damn, we literally just spent all of our money. Okay, we can get nothing here. Sorry, frogs. I'm really sorry. 14% uh, now. And we also just unlocked the cult chamber. Okay, nothing in here. The doorman is in the kitchen. Let's try for this again. Hopefully we don't get frogs. We got sharp knives. Oh, why did I slash? We want to run from this, don't we? Uh, escape. We got a 58, 48% uh, chance of success and it rolled. Good, 16% of the skin, it seems. We can face the doorman in the cult chamber here. I want to know what we get for facing the doorman. We got to get something good, right? Who's this? The priestess of the, of the gold cult? Do we have any ammo? No, we do not. Although we can actually use a bunch of these items. Blood and Bile, we're definitely going to use that. That is absolutely fantastic. Strange Pills, I'm going to use that. All of it. Yep, good. So we've restored most of our health. I think the best time to use that is literally the moment you get it. Okay. She attacked for one. Good. I'm going to attack for one. She healed, which wasted our turn. I'm going to attack for one again. Let's keep on slashing her face. She's charging up a devastating attack. Let's go ahead and pray. She did one. I did a slash. She attacked for one. And we murdered her. Dead! Enemy defeated. You win eight fragments and also a lunar fragment for defeating them. A golden bullet. Very nice. Percentage obtained. 18%. We're pretty close to the skin now, right? Do we want to keep on rolling for the, the doorman? I think we want to keep rolling for the doorman. He better be overpowered. Okay, we got the fish again, unfortunately. I don't want to buy anything off of him to be good. Oh, actually, no, I want to buy that health. I lied. I did a big old fat lie straight to the face of everybody on the internet. Okay, we've got Nadine's room here. Face Nadine. Uh, storage room. Face Trish. Meet the hangman. Hard to tell. I'm actually really quickly, because I, I just remembered that I didn't do it. I'm going to go ahead and post a community note on my YouTube channel. Let everybody know that I am actually live. Live now. That's all I'm posting. Just live now. Uppercase letters. Great. Excellent. All right. Uh, so we're still pretty screwed over by having bought the doorman, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it seems like it is what it is. Nadine's room. Meet the sacrificial lamb. Maybe. Maybe we face Nadine. I kind of, I kind of want more blood and bile. That stuff is pretty cool, actually. She's still willfully blind to her surroundings, it seems. I'm going to go ahead and stab her. There we go, a little bit of a slash to the neck. She's waiting. Why is she waiting? She inflicts poison on us. What a dick. What a dick move. Okay, so that's going to be one HP per turn. She attacked. Uh, she did two that turn, but the poison is gone. Perfect. Love that. Enemy defeated. You got eight fragments, and we got one lunar fragment too. We got some blood and bile. That stuff is awesome. That stuff actually regenerates our health pretty damn well. We're probably going to want to use it, right? It's got its Goldie, but now I'm cold gold. Yeah, that's Goldie. It's Goldie. Uh, our memories are now more vivid. Max HP plus one. Perfect. So I'm still not finding the doorman in a timely fashion. I think we may have wasted all of our ammo trying to get him last time. Did we escape? Yep, we escaped. We haven't failed an escape yet, except for that Burning Man guy. It's pretty lucky. No Man's Skin Curse intensifies. The enemy HP increased. That sucks. Uh, we'll try for the doorman again. There's also no skin. Who is this guy? Hello, friendo. Gun. Pray to the gods. Open the bag. Escape. Chance of success, 12. I didn't realize this was a fight. No skin man attacks. He does two. It's not amazing. No skin man charges a devastating attack. Let's see how devastating. Because this is where we die. He attacks for 999. Owie wowie. Good grief. The moon. And so, this is the end of everything! But don't worry, I can bring you back! You just have to fulfill your mission! Do you want anything? Yeah, we'll take a look at the shop. I don't think we can... 
Oh, we can actually buy the first two. So we could get the crucifix or we could get a lighter. I'm not entirely sure what they would do, but we can't, but we can't afford them. I'm getting the second one. I think a crucifix would be really helpful. It could actually be perfect. Could be exactly what we needed. Oh, hey there, everybody. Welcome to the stream. I knew b b not putting a community post up would, uh, would would rock the boat a little bit. Okay, so we can find some blood and bile. There are crimson fragments in here. Or we go, let's try roll take a shower. Let's try roll for taking a shower. Okay, we've got an absolute wimp over here. I'm going to shoot him. Oh, we actually, we, we want to fight the other characters in order, don't we? Mary, Trish, Rugs, Esther. We got seven fragments and we got some strange pills. Perfect. Don't know if we lost any HP. We did not. So we're actually in a pretty damn good place. All right. So the doorman is here. Who do we want to fight first? Mary. We want to fight Mary first. Is this Mary? Yep, that's Mary. So let's go ahead and clap Mary. We'll do two attacks and then we'll try and shoot her in the face with a gun. Because somebody on itch.io posted a comment saying what happens if we attack an order of the like bullets with the names on it. Right, enemy defeated. You're in 11 fragments and one lunar fragment. And we got some nightshade. Perfect. So next has got to be Trish. Where would Trish be? Rugs, Trish, right here. Rugs is going to be third. Everything seems calm. On the ground, you find some ammo. You collect them and leave the room. Earned ammo. I have a song that isn't a rap battle. Or is it? I hope not. <laughs> I really hope not. Uh, we're not going to be watching any reaction content during this stream, though. This is just going to be a gaming stream. Max HP plus one. Okay, that's fine. We probably want to try fight Trish again, right? Let's try for Trish again. We could also try and meet the hangman. Okay, here's Trish. She's kind of faceless, but she's also bloodied. Very, very bloodied. Let's go ahead and slash her maybe three times. Trish is waiting. Big slash. Tomorrow then? If I'm live tomorrow. I might not be live tomorrow. I might be editing. Oh, no, I am live tomorrow. Yeah, sure. I'll watch it tomorrow. Uh, we're going to gun her down. Bang. I did that in cold blood as well. We got seven fragments and we got a lunar fragment. Excellent. So next has to be rugs. Where is rugs? Okay, enemy HP increase. That's absolutely fine. Rugs? There is no rugs. We've got 25 little wang doodles. We could probably try for the frog's lair or the doorman. I'm doing it. We're going to the kitchen. The doorman. Okay, perfect. So we actually have enough ammo to clap this guy. Only just. We've only just got enough ammo to clap this guy. Miss. What the hell? Okay, there we go. He flees. This guy's such a coward. Why the hell did we get him into the game? There is literally no benefit. It just wasted Luna shards. What a dick. Okay. Uh, Rugs is here. That's who we want to gun down first. He's actually got a gun to his own head. So, wait, do we will just waste all of our ammo on that guy? No, we still have ammo. Good. Uh, let's go ahead and cut this guy a couple of times. One. Rugs takes aim. I don't know if he's aiming at us. I'm gonna pray. Rugs attacks. Okay, he, that was actually a, a good shout. We'll stab him again. Rugs takes aim. Uh, I'm actually going to take this opportunity to shoot him right in his chest. Great. Enemy defeated. You earn eight fragments. You earn one lunar fragment. And we got a cigarette. I don't really like the cigarettes. They don't really do much. Okay, now we're after Esther. We also just got an additional HP. That is awesome. Where's Esther? Not here. Just rugs and trash. Okay. Maybe there's kind of like a, a random kind of encounter that we have to go through. I'm going to go ahead and just shoot this guy because I have lots of ammunition. How the hell did I miss? Okay, we got hit for one. I'm just going to keep on shooting this guy. Good. Seven fragments. One lunar fragment. You earn strange pills. That's a free HP. We probably want to kill that guy as much as we can for the, for the strange pills, right? Okay, and last is Esther. There still is no Esther. I think we give up on the doorman. I think he's a waste of time, to be quite honest. I'm going to roll for the frog's lair, though. Hopefully we don't get the doorman. Yes! Okay, perfect. Hey there, dog shark. Uh, you were playing this yesterday, weren't you? Do you have any tips? Do you have any tips for me? Or any lore? Because I am uh, confused. Not like happy game kind of confused, but I'm definitely struggling to interpret everything that I'm seeing. My running theory so far is that we're kind of like in a mental asylum and... 
We're just going on a rampage, killing everybody that we, we kind of live with. Maybe not a mental asylum, but a, a house that everybody else lives in. I really like this hunter's knife. Might want to take that, but we can get one of these OP skills as well. Replace your ranged weapon with gun and torch when attacking, even if you miss the shot. Reduce the damage, you would take this turn by two. Ooh! Ooh! Yeah, I'm getting that. We can afford it, so I'm getting it. We probably don't really care too much about the emergency dagger yet. That's going to be a real good DPS kind of weapon, though. Because we have to attack with the melee weapon anyway. I think we just go for the hunter's knife and the torch and gun. I have no idea for the lore. What do we feel about kind of like we are a mentally ill person and everything that we're looking at is kind of through the eyes of schizophrenic delusions? Is that is that something that, that maybe you would agree with? We can face Ruxia. Rick Sanchez, Rick and Morty versus GLaDOS. Oh, or War of the Fat Italians. SMG4, the creator of the amazing digital circus. Okay, let me know tomorrow. I'll take a look at it. So, Gun and Torch, we actually do have a lot of ammunition. I don't think we attack this first one, right? We get him to take aim, and then we use the Gun and Torch on him because we are going to reduce damage, which does zero. That is fantastic. I love that. And then we're going to knife him again. So, we lost no HP in that round because of the gun. And we got a cigarette again. Useless. Absolutely useless. Maybe we don't fight Rugs anymore. Rugs is kind of useless. So, this one has Crimson Dancers. It's also the Dorman, which I don't like. I'm not I'm not worried about the Dorman. We could probably face Nadine. I think she's a poison girl. Oh, at the center of the room are lamb rests. Kill him and eat. Suffer poison one. Why the hell would I do that? Offer him as a sacrifice to the false god. You lose one HP. Oh well, win in Rome, right? You offer your blood and that of the Lamb of the False God, losing 1 HP. The False God rewards you with 2 non-permanent maximum HP. Pretty good trade-off. You walk slowly towards the door. So the False God exists. At least in our head. Can Ito pet next? Yeah, possibly. That's actually on the uh, requests list. I could do that one next. So we could face Mary. I think Mary is the poison girl. The, pri the priestess of the False God is pretty crap. The follower of the false god is just free HP, so I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Everything seems calm. You decide to relax a bit by taking a shower. Finally! You recover one third of your max HP! You get dressed and leave the room. That was a god roll if I ever saw one. Right, so we're at 24% towards skin, whatever the hell that means. Enemy HP just went up, which is still absolutely fine. We can face Esther. Yeah, Esther is supposed to be the last one that we kill with the gun. I don't want to try and roll for the doorman, though. He's useless. Oh, Doorman's in all of these. Yuck. We can try and meet the Crimson Dancers, see what those those things are. Oh, I am Say, the dancer on your right. I am Knee, the dancer on your left. I am Pat, the dancer in the centre. Knee Patsy. Knee Patsy. See, see Pat Knee. See Pat Knee. Knee Patsy. Maybe. Who knows? My brother went to the bathroom if you... <laughs> And play another horror game. Uh, no. No, I'm going to be playing this one. We are here by the will of the goddess. But how? I just wanted to have a snack. Say, did you find the peanut butter I like so much? You can't eat it or you'll get fat. Enough now, girls. The goddess has chosen us as her messengers and you as her weapon. Accept the gifts we bring you, but be careful. You can choose only once. Yeah, only once. But where did the rhinoceros skull go? I saw it around here. This is just schizophrenic ramblings. What the hell are they talking about? You'll earn 20 fragments and two gunpowder. Don't know what that does. Restore one HP after every battle. Wow. Max HP plus one. You'll restore two HP. I'm going for the long haul one. I think that one's definitely the right, the right decision. We're at 26% skin. Whatever the hell that means. We can probably face rugs again. Don't like him. We'll follow. We'll go to the follower of the false god if we can. Everything seems calm. You decide to relax by taking a shower. You recover a third of your max HP and we get dressed and leave the room. We have so much HP right here, by the way. Good God. Okay, Nadine's room. We could face Nadine. We could also face the frogs. Oh God, I hate the doorman so much. He's kind of diluted everything that we actually want to experience. I'm going to do Nadine because worst case scenario, we just get an awesome buff again. Okay, Nadine's got six HP. I don't know when she's going to attack. Nadine is waiting. Okay, we could probably shoot her now. She's probably going to attack now. We missed with the gun. She inflicted poison 2 on us. That's annoying. 
We'll stab her. Uh, she's waiting again. The poison takes effect and we suffer. I'm going to go ahead and shoot her. We have no ammo in the weapon. Probably a waste, honestly, to waste our ammo on her. Unless we got lots of ammo. Which we don't, really. We don't have lots of ammo. We have just refilled our weapon with the last ammo pack we have. So, I think... I think we, we do this one with the knife. 18 attacks. Poison attacks effect. Okay, we're taking two per turn. Now... We're going to get one HP back as long as we hit this. We're still almost at full HP. It's still pretty good. You win one Lunar Fragment. Excellent. I just thought of a horror game, Five Nights at Freddy's. What the hell is that? You win Blood and Bile. What's Five Nights at Freddy's? I've never heard of that. Okay, we're at 30% skin. Again, whatever the hell that means. You try to cross the hallway, but something hides in the darkness. Is, that the, is this that Burning Man? Oh, corpses of those you have killed. Maybe we are criminally insane. Maybe we are actually on a murder spree. The dry humor is beyond. Yeah, 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 yeah. How are we going to take this guy out? We could probably... We'll try for the gun over and over again. Corpses of those you have killed charges a devastating attack. We'll do a prey. He did one damage. Excellent. So we'll use the gun now. Uh, he attacks us for nothing. Hilarious. I think he's not going to do anything next. I'm gambling. Uh, he heals by 3 HP. Great. Let's shoot him now. He's probably going to attack. Nope. He's going to charge up a devastating attack. We'll pray again. Also, he hasn't played any normal main games. No way you should play the remake yet. Yeah, no, I haven't played any of them yet, except for Five Nights at Freddy's 1, back when that came out. It was pretty fun, actually. I, I don't think I beat it, though, at the time. I shot him. Corpses of those you have killed charges a devastating attack. Let's go ahead and pray to the goddess. So... We are praying to the goddess, right? And all of these other guys are following the false god. But it's scarier than the first one, though. I'll get to it eventually. I'll, I'll do a big Five Nights at Freddy's binge eventually. I'll just have to actually get to it. We've only got two ammo left. I think we gamble on this one. Oops, is those you have killed attacks. Good. We'll use the knife. Hopefully he doesn't heal. He just healed, bugger. I'm going to use the knife again. He's going to charge up a devastating attack, which is only going to be a single HP. Taken off if we pray. They did an attack, and we are still pretty good. I feel like this is kind of like a self-harm reference. And the reason I say that is because I feel like we're guilty. We're feeling guilty for all of the enemies that we have kind of killed. Not in this game, but previously from this game. They're both scary, just in their own ways. Okay, I'll get to them eventually. Don't worry, guys. Well, I'll go ahead and I'll stab this guy. Corpses of those you have killed charges a devastating attack. I'm going to go ahead and pray so we minimize the damage. He didn't attack. That's fine. Oh, maybe we should have used a couple of nightshade on this one. That would have been a really good idea, huh? Uh, instead, let's just shoot him and hope he doesn't heal. Okay, he did no damage, which is pretty funny. I slashed him. He's got to heal. We actually knew he was going to heal uh, in advance. It seems like they have attack cycles, which is not that bad to deal with. Got to be said. Okay, we got to pray. I think we might actually be able to do this. Let's go ahead and shoot him. We have no ammo. Mm, that's not good. Let's go ahead and use blood and bile. And also... We'll use these strange pills and strange pills. And we don't really have anything else that we really want to use. I think we could probably get away with killing him with the knife now. But I'm going to use a single nightshade anyway. Just to double the attack. Kind of ensure that we aren't killed by this guy. Alright, it's charging up a devastating attack. Let's go ahead and pray to the goddess. For one damage, we'll slash him. He attacks, and we've killed him. We've killed our first, like, mini boss right here. Nice. There's not a way to make Ultimate Custom Night scary, so I don't know what their goal would be. Well, like, remake it. Yeah, I've got no idea what it would be like either. HP restored, one. Excellent. And we got 16 fragments and three lunar fragments. That's nice. We also got a single med kit. That was lucrative. The hallway is finally free. Your memories flow like a river as you cross it. You're finally in a new area. Really? Okay, we've got 32% in order to find the skin. Still don't know what the hell that means. Oh! New action! Talk! Speak with the enemy! Doesn't end the turn. Ha! Ah. Okay, specific situations may lead to unexpected conversations. All right, let's start getting some lore. So we want to do Mary first, right? Or maybe we want to talk to Rugs and see why he's such a dick. Meet the living guts. Find an antidote. That could be really handy, actually. Uh, we could find ammo with Trish. I think we just go with this one, right? We refill our gun. What the hell is that? 
In the center of the room stands a cowboy, and he has an offer for you. Now I'll load this gun with a single bullet. Let's see if you have guts to shoot. If your brains don't splatter, I'll reward you properly. You point the revolver at your temple. It, you can't keep it steady. Your hand is trembling. I'm doing it! The round wasn't in the firing chamber. Yeah, yeah, very well. Here's your reward. You earn 12 fragments. And an antidote. Thank you! Well, that was worth it. That was so worth it. Pizza Sim is an ultimate custom night. Is it? Is it actually? That's insane. Okay, so we're at 34%. We, we've kind of left the first zone, right? We're in the second zone now. I'm kind of referencing the lunar shop at this point with all the zones. So we can face Nadine. There is a deer-headed man in here. We could also take a nap. Don't know why we would bother. We could also face Mary, observe the bleeding mirror. Good God, yes. Let's find this bleeding mirror. Mary, master of knives. Ah, she has changed. Can we talk? Yeah, let's talk to her. Stop, please! Why should I? I thought I had finally found someone special. Instead, you're fake, just like everyone else. Die! Okay, what if I knife you? Master of Knives, chances is a devastating attack. Okay, let's go ahead and pray. Mary, Master of Knives attacks for one damage. Talk again? Mary, stop. Why should I? Okay, none of that was new. Let's go ahead and shoot her with the bullets we just picked up. No, we didn't pick up any bullets. Bugger. Maybe we escape. What happens if you don't kill anyone? That's my next question. We saw half your maximum HP. That's pretty good. Antidote. Remove all negative status effect. All of them. Wowee. Okay, I think that maybe we just try with the knife. Mary, Master of Knives, is waiting. For a stab? Or is she kind of like waiting for us to apologize? Mary, Master of Knives, attacks. Ouch. I stabbed her. She's dead. Enemy defeated. HP restored, one. You got 14 fragments, and we got one lunar fragment. Great. And we got another nightshade. That's pretty good. Okay, we're probably going to have to start using our nightshade to get through here. Face Trish. Meet the cowboy. Find ammo. This one's a pretty good one. We probably want lots and lots. Face leg hold traps. No. Face rugs. Yuck. We're going to the attic. Okay. Trish the faceless. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's talk with her. I lost my innocent face. And it's all your fault, you filthy whore. But at least now I know who you really are. Okay, so we are actually massively damaged in some way. We've got to be, right? We're going to have to use a nightshade, I think. Or a medkit. No, let's use the nightshade. We'll get double the... We'll, we'll get double the damage from our knife. I think three would do the trick. Trish the Faceless attacks, inflicting bleeding. Okay. You take one additional damage every time the enemy attacks. Status is removed after battle or when you restore HP. Let's restore HP using that med kit because we don't really have a choice. There we go. I think that got rid of the bleeding. Uh, let's go ahead and slash her again. What if we talk to her right before she dies? I lost my innocent face, and it's all your fault, you filthy whore. Okay. Right, whoops. Oh, now it saves what I selected. Thanks, game. Wow. Okay, enemy defeated. HP restored one. You earn 10 fragments and a lunar fragment. And we got an ammo. Perfect. Now we can actually reload our gun. We are 38% to the skin. Nice. Your memories become more vivid. New room unlocked. Garage. And we also gained an extra HP point. We face Mary... We actually just killed Mary in the last zone, didn't we? That was the last one that we faced. Let's do that. Let's face Mary. I think she's like the poison master, isn't she? Everything seems calm. On the ground, you find a corpse covered in crimson fragments. You collect them and leave the room. Nice. We got 10 fragments from a corpse in the middle of the room. Excellent. We're at 40%. 40% skin. The no man skin's man... No man's... No man's skin just increases well. We can face rugs. Nadine. Face the crawling fossil. Sure, I'll try the crawling fossil or the deer-headed man. What is that? What the hell is that? Is it supposed to be like a anal beads? But in the eyes of the, the schizophrenic? Okay, let's go ahead and use our ammo. We could probably just shoot it three times. I don't really want to use a nightshade on it. I'm just going to shoot it. Bang. 
Because if we use Nightshade, oh, damn it, I slashed it. Wait, it did zero damage to us. It did one that time. What if we just slash it? Crawling Fossil heals by two. Crawling Fossil charges a devastating attack. Okay, let's pray it away. An attack for one. Shame! Uh, it attacks stealing three fragments. Okay, how about I take those back, you big bastard? Enemy defeated. We got an HP and we got 12 fragments and one Lunar Fragment. Great. We got Blood and Bile. It was so good. That is so nice. Okay, so we're at 42% now. Probably go into the elevator. The Crawling Fossil is pretty generous with its goodies. We probably also face Trish, but I kind of want to meet the cowboy again. Or at least find ammo. Which is another almost 50%. Okay. We are definitely going to do this right here. Bada bing, bada boop. Good. We played Russian Roulette. And what do we get? 18 fragments. That's pretty damn good, actually. We probably want to go and find a shop now, don't we? We're at 44% skin. We just unlocked a room scene in a dream. Meet the Crimson Dancers, face the Skull Horse, or an unexpected event. We want to buy stuff, don't we? There's nothing to buy here. Okay, we'll go to the room scene in a dream. Who do we have here? Oh, it's you. Do you like my painting? I painted it with blood. Oh my, that's disgusting. But at least it dried. Enough now, girls. Accept the gifts we bring you, but be careful. You can choose only one. These girls are kind of OP to meet. Every time you use the item cigarettes, inflict two additional damage. <laughs> wow, that's actually good. Increase the accuracy of your weapons. Meh. Max HP plus two. That would be okay if we had a reliable way of generating HP, but we don't. Especially not at this point in the game. I'm going to go ahead with secondhand smoke so that cigarettes can basically be used to, to steamroll someone. Oh, we can go straight back to this room scene in a dream. Hopefully we won't hit the skull horse. We hit the skull horse. That's fine. We still have a gun and a torch. We can talk with it. The deer-headed man emerged from another dimension. But he's not the only one. If only you could find a way to make them meet. Yeah, that is weird. If only. Okay, we've got a bit of blood and bile. I'm going to use it because there's no time like the present. We've got two antidotes. We've got quite a bit of goodies, actually. I'm going to go ahead and use the gun for this fight, I think. Yeah, I'm going to use the gun. It stole five fragments. That bastard. It's waiting. Wait, what the hell? Oh, we're using the knife, apparently. Okay, the skull horse heals. We missed with the gun. It charges a devastating attack. That's fine. Let's go ahead and talk with him again. Okay, it's just the same stuff. Let's go ahead and pray. Ugh. I've embarrassed myself enough. It... Don't worry. You're always going to get into arguments, by the way. I'm, I am reading chat. You are always going to get into arguments on the internet. It's never worth, like, sitting on an argument on the internet because ultimately, at the end of the day, everyone's forgotten what's happened. It's fine. It's fine. Two-headed horse uh, attacks. We took one damage. We're going to go ahead and try and glack him. He attacks, stealing five fragments. That's fine. I don't mind that. Go ahead and shoot him once more. And we're good. Enemy defeated. HP restored one. You earned 11 fragments. And we got a loot and fragment. We also got a gunpowder. Okay. So we've got 48%. Excellent. We are almost at 50%, which is pretty crazy to think about. So we can face the Skull Horse again, meet the Crimson Dancers. That's probably exactly what we want, right? Find the Frog's Lair. We definitely want that. We want to find the Frog's Lair. Hopefully we get a God Roll. Yes! Why are they bleeding? Frogs don't seem to be particularly healthy, but they still have something to offer you. You're not eating the shards, are they? Dagger number 48. Replace your melee weapon with dagger number 48 when you successfully escape from a fight. Its base damage increases by one. Base damage, two. Base accuracy, 80. That's pretty damn good, actually. It's expensive, though. In the turn, you pray to the goddess, deal damage to the enemy equal to the melee weapon's damage and its accuracy. If we get that first one, that would be so overpowered. Floss between the teeth. When you're attacked, deal one damage to the enemy. I have no idea what that means. Is that a grenade? Is the icon for this a grenade? Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye, Goldie. You have yourself a great rest of the day. Try to take a break from the internet or something like that. Scott, they're leaving because you're prickly. <laughs> you can't really uh, start arguments on the internet without any kind of, like, repercussions. I'm pretty forgiving when it comes to it, but a lot of people are not.
you gotta admit. When you're about to die, you come back to life with half of your HP one time. We definitely want that. I'm taking it. We're taking that. We're taking dagger number 48, and I'm also taking the rosary right there. Okay, that should be basically everything. I also want to take the floss between the teeth. All of these are kind of overpowered. I'm glad we saved up so many shards. Percentage obtained in order to find the skin? 50. Not trying to argue. I'm just making conversation. Uh, it's, 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 it's not, it's, it's an argument when you start telling people that they're wrong. Simple as that, really. Or at least it's perceived as such. Uh, we can face the crawling fossil here. Room set in a dream. We can face the skull horse. I didn't want to get involved, to be honest. I, I didn't want to get involved in what you two were talking about. I don't really want to argue about Five Nights at Freddy's. So, I'm just going to focus on this game. We can meet the Crimson Dancers. I really do want to meet the Crimson Dancers again. If we can meet them once more, then we can get another really overpowered skill. So, dagger number 48 has a weird icon, and it's also really, really powerful. The gun and torch here. Pretty good. Right of the gods, it is plus rosary. Okay, so... Any damage you would take becomes one, and we also deal damage. Based on our melee weapon, which does two damage now. So technically, if we just pray to the goddess, we should be doing two damage and also minimizing the amount of damage we're taking, right? But yeah, that's exactly what happens. Stealing five fragments. Oh, he also takes damage every time he attacks. That's so funny. I love that. He's waiting. Oh my god, I'm praying to the goddess and now they're all dying. That's hilarious. <laughs> okay, enemy defeated. HP restored one. Excellent. I don't think we took anything, did we? We earned 11 fragments and we got one lunar fragment. We also got gunpowder. No idea what that does. Probably actually just look at the items and see what it does. We just unlocked the basement as well. Our memories became more vivid. Let's go ahead and see what it is. So, gunpowder. Right. Increase the damage inflicted by the ranged weapon in this battle by one. So it's basically nightshade, but for something that consumes ammo. That sucks. All right. So we've got taken number 48. We've got the gun and torch. I'm not really seeing the state changing ever, whatsoever. We could probably face Nadine again, but she is a poison main, and I don't like that. Maybe we want to face Mary. Let's go for Mary. Let's try and kill Mary. She's the master of knives, right? Yeah, she's master of knives. We've already taken her out once. So we, if, I don't think talking to her is going to do anything, right? One of these knives has your name engraved on it, and soon it will be stained with your blood. Okay, what if I pray? Uh, Mary, master of knives, charges a devastating attack. Okay, while she does that, we're just going to pray. And then she does one damage, which we're literally going... Oh, okay, the grenade just went off too. That's so funny. Let's talk with her again. Okay, nothing seems to change. Let's pray. Okay, we missed. We... Uh, praying missed. I don't know how that's... A thing. Hey there, Yidson! Hello there, Spamton. How are we? Enemy defeated. HP restored. One! We got 13 fragments and we got a lunar fragment. What the puppy half price are we playing? This is... No skin. I thought it was going to be one of those 20 minute long itch.io horror burners that are just like in and out of somebody's head. But this is such a full game. I literally cannot believe it is so good. It's a demo as well. I've been playing it for an hour and we still haven't even got halfway. Well, I suppose we have. We've gotten 54% of the way through. Uh, enemy HP increased. That's going to throw a spanner in the works. We don't want to face the no skin man. We could face the no skin man and talk to him. We've got cigarettes, so we could probably actually just run away. I'm going to go ahead and go to the garden. We don't want to roll the frog's lair again because we already bought everything that they have to offer. Just the person I didn't want to see. Where are the wings? Oh, I, I ate them. Okay. Okay, Spamton. Everything seems calm. Among the vases, you notice something. You pick it up and re-enter the house. You earn cigarettes. Great. We can run away even better. Okay, we're at 56 skin percentage. Whatever the hell that... I still have no idea what that means. We could probably roll a 50-50 for a medkit, or we could also die facing the no-skin man. Maybe I'm going to go for the Crimson Dancers again. Yes! Nice, god roll. Help, help! I'm coming to your rescue, my princess. Help, help! Crocodiles are about to get me. I, your prince, will save you. Yatta! Wham! I think you've got the wrong target. You cut me in half. Enough now, girls. Accept the gifts we bring you, but be careful. Is this supposed to be like, um, triplets, two of them with age regression, and one of them's kind of like a teenager in mindset? Maybe. Oh, wow, talk. The first damage you take in battle is reduced by one. Meh. 
First blood, the first hit you deal to an enemy inflicts one additional damage. Meh. Jackpot. Full health recovery. You will earn 12 fragments. Meh. Okay, we've got the crap items now. So we could probably deal more damage for the first turn, but that's not really going to do a lot. I think that maybe we just like reduce the damage we take so we survive a little bit better. Ah! Susie is pissed. I didn't have anything to eat, Queen. Took my food as a tax payment. Well, aren't those some Hochi Mamas? They are Hochi Mamas. They could also be like, like uh, two twins and also a mother. I d we just don't know. We just don't know. Kind of want to observe the bleeding mirror, but I don't really want to face Mary again. Parking lot, we face Nadine and we meet the living guts. That's funny. Meet the Skull Horse, meet the Crimson Dancers. Maybe we go for the Crimson Dancers again. That seems to be a god roll. And the Skull Horse seems to be kind of squishy. <laughs> Who do we have here? Oh, it's you. Do you like my painting? I, okay, we've already heard this one. We've already heard that dialogue. So we could be... What is this one? Second and smoke. Every time you use the item cigarette, inflict two additional damage. I thought we already picked this one. Maybe that was in a previous life. Increase the damage of melee weapon, but reduce its accuracy by 10. You suffer poison too. Increase the damage of the... That's actually pretty damn good. I'll take that right now. Poison 2 is fine. That's only two health things lost. Assuming we don't take an antidote, which I'm going to do. Oh, here we are. You try to leave the basement, but something lurks in the darkness. You are not alone. Hello there, High Priest of the Fal False God Cult. I, um, suspect this is going to be an orderly of the mental hospital or something like that. Or it could be a halfway house of some sort. We'll talk to him. Who do you call False God? He's held the world together since time immemorial. What makes you think you're right? He held the world together since time immemorial. That could refer to whoever's overseeing a prison. Maybe it's a warden of some sort. We could pray, which we would take no damage, and also we would be dealing more dagger number 48 damage, which now has plus one damage attached to it, which is pretty awesome. So maybe... Let's go ahead and take... Well, we could also take the Nightshade as well to increase the damage of it. Crazy. Okay, we'll take the Antidote, get rid of the Poison. Hilarious. I'm going to take more Nightshade in case that actually does end up costing us the fight. And we could smoke a cigarette and deal two damage straight up, but I think we'll save them in case we actually need them. Let's go ahead and pray. High Priest of the False God sharpens its blade. We almost... Oh, we did like 20% of the health in one hit. Let's do it again. Boom! High Priest of the False God cult attacks four times in a row. One, 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 one. one. I press the false god, takes damage from the grenade. Yep, shouldn't have attacked me, lady. Okay, let's go ahead and pray again. Boom, five. Uh, she attacks, inflicting bleeding. That's not good. I priest of the false god, takes damage from the grenade. Yep, sucks to be you. Let's go ahead and... If we... Here's the thing, right? If we smoke a cigarette and then we use... I'm going to do it. I'm going to smoke a cigarette to deal two damage to her and then we're going to pray. Boom! We did it! Nice! Second boss down! I have a fried peepees, though, but I think a baby goat would prefer some grass. Is it normal that I think these Hoshi mamas are hot? Uh, a little. A little bit. I think they're pretty mangled physically. Like, they've got massive deformities, and they're obviously self-inflicted. We got a med kit for that! That's perfect. Okay, we're at 62 skin-finding percentage. What's this? I had warned you. Where's my skin? Already? No! I just got ambushed! Did we just waste our nightshade? Do we have any more nightshade? Oh, no! Restore half of your max max maximum HP. Wait, I I'm definitely going to do that. That's a good one. We could probably... <clears throat> the gun is now useless to us, by the way. We don't really want to use guns. Okay, I just used both of the gunpowder. Hilariously, I think with that this actually does less damage than our dagger? No, we've got one round in this. We can actually fire this at him. Does four damage. No skin man attacks. The zero. He takes damage from the grenade. Well, sucks to be him. Let's go ahead and pray. For three damage. He inflicted poison on us. That's actually fine. We have an antidote in our bag right here. Uh, so that's going to save us a bunch of goodies. Let's go ahead and pray again because it still deals melee damage. He attacked us for one and he's also taken damage from the grenade. Uh, pray again, of course. He healed by five HP. Okay, let's get that back down by three. He's charging a devastating attack. Well, sucks to be you, buddy. No skin man attacks. And he takes damage from the grenades. Okay, I love this kind of like thorny skill that we have. This is a great build that we have, by the way. He took damage from the grenade. I think we're actually about to kill the no skin man without realizing what his dizzle is. I think we still have an antidote. No, we have cigarettes. So if we take two cigarettes 
Yeah, let's actually do that. Let's take two cigarettes and then we'll slash him. So we've used all of our items here. We'll talk with him first. My skin. Where's my skin? He also didn't talk to me at all. He didn't ask me what he wanted. He didn't say anything. And he's dead. We killed the no skin man. Too soon. It's too soon. To reveal the truth to you. New memory unlocked. Mary. I feel like the no skin man is us. You can access memories from the dream diary found in the main menu. I think that the no skin man is actually supposed to be us. The next time you face me, it won't be so easy. <laughs> the next time you face no skin man, it will be stronger. How could it be stronger? Defeating it will unlock a new memory. It's not over yet. What's the game name? It's No Skin. <laughs> oh my god, I thought I had no skin in the game, but now I'm really invested. Let's go ahead and look in the dream diary. Recollections. Okay, basics of combat. These are just tutorials. Oh, I see. Yeah, they were actually tutorials. I didn't see the intro, I don't think. I fired it up. No, I didn't see the intro. Okay, there's a pathetic dummy here. Let's go ahead and just, like, do this fight, because we... I didn't do this. I think the game just kind of... Whoops. Okay, we'll take a big hit right there. I think we may have actually just whiffed it. It's about to strike the lethal hit. We could offer all of these fragments. I'm doing it. We'll plead for mercy. Aha, I pity you. Pathetic dummy attacks. Okay, we died. We'll try again. We'll just try again. Knife. We gotta defend when they start doing the big attack, right? Whoop, we missed. That's not good. So we'll pray so we only take a single little dip of damage. There we go. And he attacks us. Now we will strike. And now he's waiting. So he's gonna do the lethal attack after this turn here. So let's go ahead and pray to the goddess. He attacks for one. By the way, we beat him! We actually beat the no-skin man, which is the whole point of this game. Okay, so he attacks, and he's going to do a lethal attack in this next one, I think. No, he's waiting. There we go. And he's going to charge up a lethal attack. Let's gamble on the next attack. It landed. Noir. Oh, that must be... I think that's us. Mary. Noir. You didn't fall asleep, did you? I don't know what's wrong with me. Maybe I'm not feeling well. I didn't tell him anything. I don't know how he found out. Please, enough with the story. I don't want to think about it anymore. Hey, I was talking. Noir, in the end, how did it go yesterday? Let's forget about it. I clocked out after a 14 hour shift. Okay, is this lore? And the hoe told me that she didn't like how I worked. Next time, maybe give me a human friendly shift. What do you think? Oops, maybe it was better if I had stayed quiet. I'm not feeling very well. Esther, come here and give me a kiss. And we lost Trish. Hey, how about a round of that racing game? The last one to finish takes a sip from the bottle. Oh, wait, we're almost done with the drinks. Noir, can you go back to the kitchen for a second? There should be something left. So it's a bad trip. It's a bad trip, and it's kind of like a dive into our psyche because of it. Maybe. Crap, how much did I drink? I can't stand up, and the hallway seems to be moving. <laughs> I even feel like I see someone in the dark. No, I don't. As if... Oh, now I do. So this is us. I, I'm certain that this is us. My skin. Where's my skin? What? I don't understand. How should I know where your skin is? You know exactly where it is, and you have to give it back to me. Until you do, I will show you things as they really are. You think it's a gift, isn't it? But very soon you'll understand. Take these. You'll need them. You're in the knife. And a gun. Okay, so we snapped. I am imagining this, the story is basically telling us. If I see you again and you don't have my skin, then I'll be the last thing you see. Good luck. <laughs> I think that maybe he's supposed to represent our kind of like... Our non-guarded sections of ourselves. And we are actually really mentally ill. Cool. We also unlocked another one, didn't we? Recollections? Mary. Scary Mary. Mary. Noir, always late, damn it. Don't bother. Yesterday I asked you to come to me after work, but you disappeared. Were you with rugs? I wasn't with rugs. I was with rugs. <laughs> well, better than with the other you heard. Hey, leave Esther alone. You've been relentless with her lately, but what has she done to you? Nothing, nothing. You know, it wouldn't be bad if we shot ourselves in the head right now. 
You know, it wouldn't be bad. Ah, what's wrong? Nothing, just a little headache. So she represents depression. I better go. As you wish. She definitely represents depression. I can almost guarantee it. Oh, but how much of this game is there to actually play? Hey, Jensen, can I recommend you something? It's tax-free. Absolutely you can, my dude. Unless it's like a reaction thing. Otherwise, I'll get to it tomorrow. Let's go ahead. We'll do a new game. The moon! It's the moon! Do you want anything? Yes! I've got so many shards. We could unlock the lighter or the crucifix. We have the crucifix. We can unlock the red room. One and two. There's also the item reload from the frogs. Uh, unlock the item temporal rupture purchasable from the frogs in the second area. I imagine it's going to be like an instant escape. Because temporal is time and rupture is rip. So, rip, rip through time, I think. Check out the man on the internet YouTube channel. Here's some great covers of Undertale and Deltarune. Man on the internet YouTube channel. That's a confusing way of recommending somebody. <laughs> okay. Unlock the enemy, the doorman. We wasted so many shards on this one. The doorman sucks. Apostle of the cult. Unlock the enemy, apostle of the false god cult. It may appear in the stairs in the garage, a room set in a dream, and a basement. Unlock the goddess's gifts, predators, and prey and gambling. I kind of want that. Unlocking new enemy, it may appear at the start of the second area. Cry for help. Do we actually want to do that? I don't think so. Let's unlock a new enemy at the... No. I think the goddess. Let's do the goddess. Unlock the goddess's gifts, predators, and prey and gambling. Done. And we still have seven. We can now unlock the apostle of the false god cult, maybe. I'm doing it. Done. Dunion Rings. That's the name of the channel. The name is literally Man on the Internet. I've never heard of this guy before. Ever. Okay, we're 2% of the way through. Somehow. What was the order? We need to go and hit Mary first if we want to kind of like get the guns in order. Face Nadine. Face Trish. Trish is pretty powerful at the start, but the Sacrificial Lamb also gives us bonus health. So uh, Blood and Bile is also good health. This is just ammo. Bathroom. None of that's useful to us. Let's go to the storage room. Hopefully we will... Oh, no. That man is hanging from the center of the room. Uh, uh, cover this up. Co uh, nothing to see here. No nothing to see. Th it's, it's, it's not happening. He's um, he's, he's just playing on, on the rope. He's he's having a fun time. He's, he's not like... Ah, God damn it. He's not doing a Logan Paul. It's not, I'm not doing the Logan Paul. It's not happening. It's not happening, okay? It's, 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 this, this doesn't exist. It's not happening. It seems like he's still breathing. Good. Oh, apparently we need the hunter's knife to knock him free. Let's try and uh, free him. You try to free him, but from the effort you lose one HP. In the end, the man is free. He rewards you with an item and some fragments. You earn eight fragments. You earn strange pills. I don't know what the pills have anything to do with that. Ooh. Goldie and Spamton, do you know each other? Okay, we've got the bathroom here. Face followers of the false god. We can face Esther. No, we want Mary first, don't we? There's also the long guild fish who we don't really care too much about. Probably want to take my chance with the sacrificial lamb, right? I think so. Well, okay, we got Nadine, unfortunately. We probably just shoot her twice. Bang. Nadine is waiting. So she must have another mental illness that is not... Mary, because Mary is representative of depression. I'm, I'm almost certain that everybody in this game has some kind of mental illness. I don't know the setting necessarily, but I know that the imagery that we are seeing now, the everything that I thought was confirmed by the no skin man telling us everything is true and as you see it. So uh, we're looking past everybody's masking, which is a perception um, known as a delusion of grandeur which occurs in 50% of psychopaths and schizophrenics. Crazy, huh? We could probably shoot her. I, I shot her. I shot her dead. Sorry, Nadine. Enemy defeated. You earn seven fragments. We probably got to talk to her. You earn blood and bile. I, did we grab that out of her, though? I don't know if we're actually grabbing it out of her. Nadine's room. We could probably try this again. Storage room. Face Trish. Find ammo. Face rugs, find cigarettes. Cigarettes actually seems kind of cool if we can get that skill that makes them do damage. 
I think we, I think for this first area, let's just try and kill as many people as we can so we can get lots and lots of shards. Everything's calm. On the ground there is a trail of blood. You went blood and bile. Okay, well that's some free blood and bile, I suppose, some free health. Uh, your memories become more vivid. Great, we've unlocked the kitchen and we've got an additional HP. So we could face Trish. We could also meet the hangman again. Don't really care about him too much though. Could find the frog's lair. Or we could face sharp knives, which we don't really want to do, do we? Kind of want to face Mary. Because there is a high chance that we either meet a mysterious girl who I don't know. Or we find crimson fragments, which we really need right now. A mysterious girl is at the center of the room. Come here, get yourself a nice kiss. Sure. You approach, but the girl hides a dagger. She injures you, dealing one damage, but you manage to steal some fragments and escape. We just mugged a hooker. <laughs> you earn 13 fragments. That's crazy. Percentage obtained in order to find the skin, 10%. Very cash money. No Man's Skin has intensified. We don't necessarily have a lot of good stuff on us at this point, and we also don't have a lot of shards. I probably want to maybe try face Mary or get the mysterious girl again. But I'm kind of leaning into the frogs. Ah, we'll get some more things before we go to the frogs lair. Or maybe we just save up. The mysterious girl is at the center of the room. Great. Uh, I will take that damage and I will steal fragments. Excellent. We've got 14 fragments. That is so much. We just mug that hooker again. Hilarious. She didn't learn the first time. That's so funny. So we could meet the sacrificial lamb, find some blood. Nadine gives us blood and bile anyway. Balcony. None of this is really handy. We could meet a girl similar to us. It's a 10% chance. It's a low chance, but I'll try it. All right, we've got rugs here. Let's have a wee chat to him. Or not. We can't chat to rugs. That's good to know, I suppose. I'm going to shoot him twice. Rugs takes aim. Yeah, so do I. Bang. I shot him dead. You earn eight fragments and a lunar fragment. We also got cigarettes, which we're never going to use unless we get that big damage buff skill. We unlocked a cult chamber and we also just gained more HP. Okay, so we can face rugs again. Yuck, Mary is here. We could meet a mysterious girl. We, maybe we could mug the hooker once more. We could probably meet the Crimson Dance. Well, let's go for the Crimson Dancers. They are so overpowered. Ah, oh, we got the doorman. Can we talk to him? No. No, we cannot. He just runs away. Okay, I'm just going to slash him a few times. Honestly, I don't think he's going to do anything. We, I think we have to be able to kind of like cream him in three goes. Otherwise, it's just a waste of our time. He's so useless. I don't know why we bought him. We probably want to face, find the frog's lair at this point. We've got a lot of shards. We could also face Mary, meet a mysterious girl. I'm going to try for the frog's lair. No, we got the knives, unfortunately. 40% chance of escape. And we succeeded. We've always escaped from the knives every single time, which is pretty crazy. Okay, 18%. That's not amazing. We still haven't gathered anything good. Uh, find cigarettes. Yuck. There is a girl similar to us. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, we, d we rolled it. I'm Luna. Who are you? Wait a second. Why are you so similar to me? I see, so you're also a follower of the goddess. I have something for you. I hope it can help. They're not what they seem, I assure you. You're in gummy bears. Oh, they're drugged, aren't they? They've gotta be like weed gummy bears or something like that. I think our we work lots, so I think our kind of vice would be escapism, honestly. I, I think that's kind of our deal. And maybe we don't like who we're hanging out with, or maybe we just like don't like our lives. So we just kind of snapped, and now we're just murdering everybody. I stretch this is just ammo. Uh, find blood and bile. Don't really need more of that. Don't really need to take a shower. Actually, we kind of do need to take a shower, uh, but we want to observe the meeting. Oh, we rolled it. The followers are gathering. You manage to hide before they see you. We could offer a sacrifice, we lose Nightshade, or we could kill a follower. Why would we kill a follower? Let's just lose a Nightshade. You offer a sacrifice to the false god. Remove from inventory, Nightshade. This offering allows you to recover half of your maximum HP. Having done that, you leave the room under the admiring eyes of the faithful. Kill a follower? Why the hell would anyone want to do that? Your memories become more vivid. We got the hallway unlocked, which is pretty cool. We can face the no-skin man, or we could roll for finding a medkit, or we could face the doorman. That is a yucky one. We're not doing that. Balcony. Maybe we could find the girl similar to us. Let's see what the... Let's face Trish, and we'll see what the gummy beers do, because I've got no idea. Items. Gummy beers. 
Increase the melee weapon damage by one. Increase the accuracy of all of your weapons. Restore a third of your HP. Inflict two damage. Wow! I hope that damage is not onto us. That is really good, though. We could probably just do with shooting Trish, honestly. Trish attacks. Don't care. We still have gun. Trish is waiting. Does she have anything to say? Doesn't matter. Okay, we're just going to shoot her. You have no ammo in your weapon. Do we have any more ammo? No, we do not. We're going to have to slash her across the throat a couple of times. Trish charges a devastating attack. Oh, well, not my problem. Nice! Enemy defeated. You got eight fragments. You earn one lunar fragment. Sorry, I, I just kept looking at all of the war in chat right there. Good grief. Oh, you earn ammo times one. Hey, that's exactly what we wanted. Our gun's empty. And our knife is uh, pretty crap still. Okay, enemy HP just increased. We probably start, want to start rolling for the frogs, right? We've got the long guild fish here. It's kind of yucky. We could probably meet the crimson... Oh, frog's lair. We definitely want to roll for that. Yes, we got it. Excellent. Do you have any shards for us? I think they eat the shards. Okay, so we could get the hunter's knife, which is just really, really overpowered. Ish. No, actually it's not. It just gives us more shards. We could also get this emergency dagger. The cult necklace might be a good shout. Gun and torch is pretty good early, but I'm not entirely sure if we want to roll with this because if we get the gun and the torch, no, we can afford both actually. We'll get that and the emergency dagger just in case we miss a shot. I think I missed a shot. Okay, we're 26% of the way through. We can probably try for the crimson dancers again. I don't want to roll for the doorman. Yucky. Okay, we got the priestess of the false god cult which is just absolutely fine. We don't have any ammo, unfortunately. Yes, we do. We just got some. Great. And we probably also use all of this blood and bile to give us all of the health that we can get. So we don't lose our permanent stuff. We could also restore our HP here, but I think I'll wait a little bit in case we get some kind of nice roll. Probably want to go ahead and start maybe gunning. Three of them is what we need to take them out. Bang. Bang. Priestess of the False God, cult heals by 1%. That is fine. Attacks for zero, and we're going to slash her across her neck. Done! Enemy defeated. We got eight fragments and a lunar fragment, and we also got a golden bullet. Those are so nice, actually. It's a free shot. Okay, we're 28% of the way through to finding skin. Nadine's room. Meh. Balcony. Meh. I mean, we could try for another gummy bear, but um, I think worst case scenario, we just get cigarettes. Probably don't want to go for the frog's lair again until we get into the next zone. So I'm going to try and maybe murder some more residents. Nadine is waiting. Why? Nadine inflicts poison two on you. No! Have a bullet. <laughs> Enemy defeated. We got seven fragments and a lunar fragment. We also got some blood and bile. Excellent. So we're at 30%. This has been a pretty cursed run, honestly, so far. You try to cross the hallway, but something hides in the darkness. It's approaching. Getting closer and closer. Is it the burn guy? Yep, that's definitely the burn guy. I think this is supposed to be a piece of our backstory right here. I, th I think that maybe we lost a loved one in a fire and we're being haunted by them. I don't think this is actually like a thing that we're encountering. I kind of want nightshade. We don't have any nightshade. Gotcha. Okay, I'm going to use the golden bullet and I think this is probably a good place to use gummy bears because we are not in an amazing place. We've just got our knife left. Okay, he just inflicted lots of poison on us. But that's absolutely fine. Okay, we want to slash. Hopefully it's not going to charge something up. Never mind. And we suffer a damage, but we still haven't lost any of our good health. We'll pray to the goddess. We're going to lose a gold HP, and we're going to lose a single red heart, but that is absolutely fine, because we have almost... Never mind. Two more attacks, and we have annihilated this bastard. Inflicts poison on us. We slash the burned alive, and he is Dunyan Rings. What's up, Blockhead? <laughs> Oh, I just saw you change your uh, your little uh, profile picture icon. I thought you were someone different. We got three lunar fragments, which sucks, and we got a med kit. But, uh, no, actually, three lunar fragments is really good. That's what we want. The hallway is finally free. Your memories flow like a river as you cross it. You're finally in a new area. Excellent. Percentage obtained in order to find the skin. 32%, baby! Uh, we can now talk. Excellent. That is just fantabulous. So we could face Mary... We could face Mary. We just unlocked her backstory, so maybe she'll have something to say to us. I'm gonna do it. Let's do it. Let's go to the main entrance. We'll try and talk with Mary, Master of Knives. Hey, buddy. How you doing? The pain of these blades is nothing compared to what I feel. 
The only thing that will make me feel better is for you to disappear forever. We may have been dating Mary. May have been dating Mary. I can't tell. We could be gay. Although, we haven't had any, like, gay backstory, have we? Like, not a single piece of the backstory has been gay in this game so far. I'm going to take the strange pills because I want to. Uh, let's go ahead and just start slashing her up because she is the master of knives. She's charging a devastating attack. Uh, the poison got us. That's not good. Uh, let's go ahead and pray. That will save us by quite a bit. And now we're going to slash her upside the face. We're still going to take more poison damage. I think that burn guy actually may have killed us. All right, one more slash. Then she should be charging up a... Nope, she attacked. We got one HP. I'm actually going to go ahead just in case we miss and take the blood and bile. Let's then slash her. Okay, we lost everything in this fight. Enemy defeated. We got 12 fragments and a lunar fragment. You're in Nightshade. Good. Nightshade is really good for what we need. I think we want to start rolling for health regeneration now. So this is just ammunition. We probably want to try for the bleeding mirror, but we're probably going to get face Mary. We still have to do a 60% fight anyway. No, it's not a fight. Everything seems calm. On the ground, you find a corpse covered in crimson fragments. You loot them and leave the room. Okay, we got 12 fragments. That is just fine. I love that. What else have we got? We can face Mary, and we can try for the Bleeding Mirror again. We could meet Living Guts to find an antidote. Useless. I think main entrance. We want to face Mary again, right? Ah, here we go. The Bleeding Mirror. In the center of the room floats the Bleeding Mirror. You can't look away. Okay, we don't have the dagger number. Oh, okay, we might suffer poison four if we just keep staring at it. We wanted the dagger number four, actually. That would be really handy to have. You continue to stare at it, suffering poison too. The goddess notices your courage and rewards you with a gift. Oh, nice! Increase the damage of melee weapon, but reduces accuracy by 10. You suffer poison too. If we get an antidote, we would be in the clear. Creepy buffet, restore one HP after every battle. Oh, that would be nice. Talari, increase the accuracy of your weapons. I'm going for the HP. HP regen. We'll, we'll go for like a regen build in this one, I think. We've just unlocked the garage and also plus one HP. So in this one, we face Nadine, we find an antidote. If we kill Nadine, we get an antidote. I think that maybe we go for the antidote, right? We could try for the frog's lair, but if we mess it up, we face an apostle or Esther. Esther, one of the two. Probably Esther, honestly. Oh, my days. Esther the throat cutter. Gotta talk to you. Squelch, squelch. Aren't you happy? Now you can't see the face that disgusts you so much, huh? What were the words you used? Dress like a child, hideous nose, slut. Soon your face won't be there either. I'll tear it off personally. Oh, I know what we are. We're a narcissist. We're a narcissist. Oh, or a sociopath. We like use people. And that's why everybody hates us. Right. So everybody actually did hate us this whole time. And they were just kind of feigning, I think. She's got a lot of HP, actually. I think this is where we die. I think this is it. Let's go ahead and use all of our items. Medkit. Oh, that saved us, actually. Nice. Uh, we can also use the nightshade, but I don't think it's necessary just yet. We'll save that for now. Esther is waiting. The poison takes effect. Yep, we actually definitely need to use that nightshade right this second. You're about to become 20% off if you don't speak. Well, yeah, get him. Get him. Get him, Spamton. Okay, uh... Knife? Yes, okay. We just buffed the damage for the knife. We just got bleeding on us. We're going to take a bunch of damage now. That sucks. All right, she attacks us. We took poison, and I don't think we took any bleed damage, but we did get her on the ground. Enemy defeated. HP restored one. You earn 10 fragments. You earn one lunar fragment. You earn nightshade. I can't believe it wasn't until an hour into this game where we actually found out exactly what the premise of this game is. 40% towards the skin at this point. I don't have high hopes for what we are going to find. We still haven't had any opportunity to find the frogs. We could probably try for taking a nap. That might try and save us. We could try for an antidote, but that is just a waste of time by now. We'll go ahead and go to the elevator for the crawling fossil. Maybe we'll hit that. Yeah, we definitely got it. So we can try and talk with it. It hissed at us. It hissed at us again. What is this, like the cat? I think it might actually just be representative of a cat. I'm going to use the nightshade. We actually do need it to get through this fight, I think. Otherwise, he would just cream us. There we go. Almost. Okay, we got... Oh, that backup dagger actually just served us real well. We just saved our life with that nightshade. We got one HP, and we got ten fragments, and we got a lunar fragment. We also got blood and bile. That's going to save us, too. Ooh. That's me, Jensen, Chris. I'm speaking his language. 
Yeah, get him, Cold Gold. Get him, Chris. I need to do the next uh, run. I decided... I've done a little bit of research, and I think that when I do the genocide run, I'm going to name my character Chara, because apparently that was the first human to fall down, and she was a bit of a horrid person. I also was on the wiki looking up Gaster, and every single thing about Gaster is non-canon and unconfirmed, which is a little bit of a shame. Because a lot of people were trying to convince me that Gaster is the only hole in all of my theories in Undertale. Why am I ranting about this now? I'll wait until the Undertale stream. But yeah, apparently Gaster just like isn't even confirmed to be a, a person. Like, he existed at one point, but it's, it's, it's unconfirmed as to what he is. Or even if he exists anymore. We could face Mary, observe the bleeding Mary. We don't have the dagger, so we need to maybe try our chances with the crawling fossil again. Maybe we try our chances with the... We don't have a good melee weapon, so we'll go for ammo, I think. Trish the Faceless. Let's go ahead and talk with her. You've always been nothing but jealous. Because I'm taller. Because I'm prettier. That's sociopathic or narcissistic, one of the two. I thought you were my friend. Instead, you're just a snake. I think narcissist. I think narcissist. I feel like she's... She thinks that we owe her something because she's prettier. All right, she, we're bleeding, and I don't think we'll survive the next round. We're waiting. Okay, Tris the Faceless is about to strike the lethal hit. We could probably just give her fragments, right? Plead for mercy. Oh, I'll take the 20% chance. We could probably actually spend these anyway. But maybe I don't really want to kill you. Seriously? Oh, well. I'm going to slash you again. Tris the Faceless is about to strike the lethal hit. Do we try for another plead for mercy? We have to do that twice. We can try and escape. I'm going to offer her some shards. All right. You can go for now. We didn't get any ammo. That's actually why we went there. Which is a little bit of a damp fart, unfortunately. Room set in a dream. Okay. So we've unlocked another room. Mary lives here. We observe the bleeding mirror here. The crimson fragments. We don't really want to do any of that. Find the frog's lair. Find the apostle of the false god cult. Kind of want to try for the frog's lair, but again, we don't really have enough shards to make it worth it, do we? Oh, perfect. Good. Okay, dagger number 48. We can't afford it because we're one shard short. That pisses me off. In the turn you pray to the goddess, deal damage to the enemy equal to the melee weapon's damage and its accuracy. That's pretty good. We might want to take that one. Full moon, when you're about to die, you come back to life with half of your HP. So we could either deal damage by defending, which would reduce our damage to one per turn, which is pretty overpowered. And we also regenerate one health per turn as well. So I think we'll go for the rosary over the full moon. I feel like the full moon is just instant gratification and we don't necessarily need to do that. Yeah, I don't think we need to do that. I don't know who the frogs are though. Okay, uh, steers. We could face leg hold traps. We could probably just run away from those. We can make deals with the long guild fish. We have four shards, so why bother? Face the apostle of the false gold? No. Nadine lives here. We could probably try for an antidote. We could try for rugs. I'm going to try for Rugs. Maybe we'll get a gummy bear, which would basically give us a free fall. Oh my god, Rugs the Brainless. Maybe he's got drug addiction or drug dependence, something like that. Maybe that's his deal. Maybe that's Rugs' deal. Okay, we'll talk with him. Do you have a light by any chance? You know, it would be your only chance to survive. Oh, if we just give him a lighter, which you could buy in the first area, we don't have one. Okay, that's cool, actually. That's really good to know. What do we have? We've got Blood and Bile. We're going to have to use that now to give us 4 HP. That'll get us through this fight, most likely. So we want to keep on basically just attack. We don't have any ammunition. We're just going to keep on praying, which is going to deal damage to him. He has wasted his turn. Oh, piss. Oh, no, it did only do one damage. We just missed the attack itself. But Rugs the Brainless takes aim. Uh, we are still doing lots and lots of damage. We're back to our 2 HP. Let's go ahead and try and whittle him down to a nub. Boom. Excellent. Enemy defeated. Uh, we got an HP and we also earned eight fragments and a lunar fragment. We got two cigarettes this time. He was double parking his durries this time. <laughs> she will freeze my peepees. <laughs> what a horrible day to be able to read. <laughs> Percentage in order. Okay, we're at 48%. Excellent. <laughs> freeze my peepees. <laughs> Gross. Uh, we could observe the bleeding mirror. We could face rugs again. I want to try for the crimson dancers. Let's try for the crimson dancers. Worst case scenario, we've got the two-headed skull horse, which is exactly what we have here. We have two items of cigarettes. 
We've got a 10% chance of escaping, which is not amazing. We'll, we'll speak with him. The crawling fossil. If you try to talk to it when it's near the end of its life, it'll beg for mercy. Ah, that's cool. But we don't really want to spare it, right? Okay, let's go ahead and just start stabbing this thing to death. I think this is where we die. He stole five fragments. That's okay. We only had a few anyway. There we go. Uh, yeah, I think we're buggered. I think this is where we die. Honestly. And here we go. Not really worth defending because, again, I try to escape. Failed escape. Okay. He killed us. Fair enough, honestly. Fair enough. The moon! And so this is the end of everything. But don't worry. I can bring you back. You just have to fulfill your mission. What mission is that? It's got to be the skinned guy, right? The guy with no skin? The skinless man? Do you want anything? Yeah, I got a few. I got a few things that I could spare. All right, we probably lighter. That might be handy later in the game, but it's not necessarily handy yet. We don't know what the crucifix does. We could unlock the... No, we can't. We could get the Ribbit Ribbit Reload item purchasable from the frogs in the first area. Maybe we want that. Or we could buy the Temporal Rupture. No, we're going for the Ribbit Ribbit. We're, we're going to get the big one, I think. In the first area. I think that's going to be the way. Okay, so we are now 2% of the way through. We could face Esther. Make deals with the Long Guild Fish? Maybe. Mary's room, face Mary. What is Mary all about? She uh, Was she ammo or was she poison? Let's go ahead and face her. Maybe we'll get the mysterious skill. Maybe, wow, we got the hooker, nice. Okay, come here, get yourself a nice kiss, definitely. Little does she know, but we are willing to be stabbed in the guts to mug her. We just got 14 fragments. Nice, just mug that hooker. Percentage obtained, 4%, pretty good actually. All right, face Esther. Make deals with the long guild fish. We want the frogs, don't we? Not the long guild fish. We can meet the sacrificial lamb or meet a mysterious girl. We could try and farm for shards at this kind of third, first point of call here. Nice, we're farming for shards. Okay. Also, 1 HP is a great trade-off for the shards that we're getting. It's really good. Okay, 6%. Good. We can face Trish. This is just ammo, not interested. This is rugs, not interested. Probably try and meet the sacrificial lamb. Oh, blood and bile is actually pretty handy. Either way, here we go. Sacrificial lamb. So we're actually going to... Oh, kill him and eat. Suffer poison one. So that is going to be damage taken later. Let's do that. And you feel your stomach twisting. You suffer poison one. Okay, our HP did actually just increase by one, which is pretty damn good. 8%. So we just unlocked the kitchen somehow. God knows how. Play sharp knives. Find the frog's lair. Find the doorman. Unexpected event. Hmm. Might want to try for the frogs now that we've got so many shards. But we could also try and farm for more shards as well. I'm going to farm more shards before we go looking for the... For the what's my dingles. The, the, the what's my doodles. Okay, we'll use our gun. Mary is waiting. The poison takes effect. You suffer one damage. That's that's fine. Because we still have gun. You and 10 fragments. Excellent. And we've got a lunar fragment too. So we've got 40 fragments right at the start. That's actually pretty damn good. So we could probably actually exchange this for something that we want to exchange it for. Enemy HP increased? I don't care. <laughs> so did mine. We could probably keep farming. Yeah, there's no... I'm going to keep on farming, basically, until we find the frogs. And then we'll see how that goes. Ah, it's the hooker. Let's let's mug the hooker. Let's take some damage to mug the hooker. we got 58 shards now. That's actually incredible. We need frogs. We need frogs. No frogs. Okay, I'm going to try for the hooker again. What the hell is this? Everything seems calm. On the ground, you find a corpse covered in crimson fragments. You collect them and leave the room. Whose corpse is that, though? Eight fragments. We've got 66 shards. That's pretty crazy now. So we've just unlocked the cult chamber pretty early into the game as well. Or we're really behind on finding skin. This is the frog's lair. I think that we want to go and start getting the frogs now, right? No, we got sharp knives. That's not good. Uh, we want to... We've got a cigarette. No, we don't. We just want to escape. We escaped. Maybe that 40% escape chance isn't actually a thing. All right, uh, this is the frog's lair again. We're going to go here and try for the frogs. Nice. Wonderful. So we now want to buy a bunch of stuff, right? We want to buy this reload, right? When you kill an enemy with a ranged weapon, you reload its ammo by two. Ah, that is really good. What else have we got? The hunter's knife gives us fragments. 
Gun and Torch, that is a pretty good weapon. Gotta be said, gotta be said. Emergency Dagger, also pretty good. Gun and Torch, I'm buying it. We got 36 left. We could get Reload and the Emergency Dagger. I don't think we're gonna need the Cult Necklace. I, I feel good about this run. I feel really good about this run. 18% skin, whatever that means. We could go for Crimson Fragments again, but I won't do that because we just found the frogs and we basically got everything we need shy of one shard. Let's go take a shower. Best case scenario, we will actually shower. The followers are gathering. You manage to hide before they see you. We could probably kill a follower, but I don't know what that does. We'll offer a sacrifice, the Nightshade. What does it do? Recover half of your maximum HP. That's exactly what we wanted, actually. And all it cost was a little bit of melee damage in a single fight, which is awesome. Recess of the False God, meet the Crimson Dancers. We're going for the Crimson Dancers. Okay, we got the False God, unfortunately. So we want to land the final shot with the gun at this point. Let's try for that. All right, Priestess of the False God attacks for one. I'm gonna knife him, good. He, she healed, which wasted our last turn. She attacks, I'm gonna knife again. Hopefully she won't heal. Good, she's charging up a devastating attack, but I'm gonna use her to reload my gun. Bang, right in the face. Sorry, lady. Enemy defeated. You earn eight fragments. You earn one lunar fragment. And we got a golden bullet as well as reloading our weapon. Okay, I think we'll become like a kind of a ranged main for this run. We've got the hallway unlocked, which is pretty cool. So we could go to the frog's lair again. I don't think we bother. We could face Trish or meet the hangman. We probably need lots of ammo, right? I don't think that we'll be... Oh, we could probably actually just gun our way through this, honestly. This will cost us three ammo. She did no damage. Okay, we missed that shot. This will cost us four ammo, which is not amazing. Okay, and if we fire this one, we reload, as well as getting some ammo, right? We'll get an ammo from this. Yeah, we got one ammo from this, so that's another full clip. That's a backup in case we kind of run out of the ammo that we need. No man's skin curse intensifies, the enemy HP increased. That is okay, watch me care. So this one's the hanged man again, balcony is rugs, face the no skin man. Or the doorman. Not really interested in the doorman, to be quite honest. He seems virtually useless. I'm going to try for maybe the storage room. We'll go for Trish again. We'll we'll try and get ourselves some more ammunition. One. Trish attacks. Okay. We are going to slash her. Kind of get one little dit off of her health. Now she charges a devastating attack, which is just absolutely fine and dandy. Because we have got a couple more rounds. And also another magazine. Good. What else have we got? Lounge face Esther. Make deals with the long guild fish. I still don't know what the long guild fish does. Face rugs, yuck. Face priestess of the false god. Crimson dancers. That's who we want to roll for. That's the doorman. This guy is absolutely useless. I hate him with a passion. We can't talk to him. We'll just pray. The doorman is waiting. The doorman is waiting. The doorman flees. Yeah, okay, so he just runs after three turns anyway. We didn't have the DPS to get him. What a waste of a roll. Okay, we've got a cult followers meeting. And we've got a follower of the false god here. Not really a lot that we can do. We could probably try and meet the sacrificial lamb. Or we could get some blood and bile, which is just free health. Everything seems calm. On the ground there's a trail of blood. You earn blood and bile. Thank you. You leave the room disgusted. Is that like vomit or something like that? Do we drink? Oh, maybe we drank poison. Maybe the, maybe the blood and bile is us. Okay, I think we're fighting the burned guy now. Nope, the corpses of those we have killed. Gotcha. Okie dokie. So I think we're going to have to just use the gun, right? We don't have a, a huge amount of DPS. I think melee is definitely the way to go in this game. I don't think range attacks are really very good at all. Okay, we've got no ammo in this bad boy. So let's go ahead and reload it with a... Ammo. And we'll also use the golden bullet, because why not? We'll also gain two non-permanent health, because we don't want to lose it later. Uh, he just healed for three, which is one more than our pistol. Okay, he's charging a devastating attack again. Let's go ahead and pray. Now, if we had just a melee build, we'd be dealing damage all across that. Okay, he's charging another devastating attack. Let's go ahead and pray. Bang, bang, bosh. We have lost all of our golden health. I know I keep using my... Oh my god. I know I keep using my knife. Oh my god. The controls in this game are very fiddly. I, I just pressed the, um, the button once to go along and it made me 
Instead of shoot him with my gun, it made me pray to the goddess. Okay, that may have actually cost us the fight, by the way. Okay, he's probably going to heal for three. Nope, he's going to do nothing. Good. Awesome. You earn 16 fragments. I've got a sneaky suspicion that if we don't kill anybody, that guy doesn't do any damage. We got three lunar fragments, which is pretty damn good. And we also got a medkit, which we're going to have to use immediately. Always finally free. Your memories flow like a river as you cross it. You're finally in a new area. Excellent. Okay, we're 32% of the way to the skin. We can now talk. It's a shame we can't do that right from the start, right? So we can face Nadine, meet the living guts, find Antidote. Probably want to... Let's see what the Long Guild Fish is like, if we can get him. Apostle of the God Cult. That is disturbing. Let's talk with him. He gnarled. I must. I must go. What, is he supposed to be like anxiety or something like that? Ah, oh, well. Sucks to be him. I'm going to shoot him in the, in the chest a couple of times. Bang, bang. He attacked us for nothing. Wow. Okay. Let's go ahead and use the ammo, and we'll also use this here med kit. Nightshade will save that in case we need it. If we run out of ammo, we're definitely going to need to use the nightshade. He ran away. Seriously? Wow. What a dick. Okay, the elevator has the deer-headed man and a crawling fossil. Attic has Trish. We could probably try and face Nadine. All right, we'll try for the elevator, I think. And I think we'll try and get this guy's health down to borderline death. And then we'll talk to him. Because we got that hint, right, from the, the deer-head? It hissed. Please! Don't kill me. I can help you. Hiss. I'll come with you. Crawling Fossil recruited. After the player finishes their turn, choose an action for the Crawling Fossil to perform. Wow. That is awesome, actually. I love that so much. I love that so, so much. Okay, we could face Nadine. Let's go for all of those. Maybe we could stack those up. I'm kind of tempted to try for the Long Guild Fish. I don't think I will, though. Face the Crawling Fossil. Meet the Deer-Headed Man. Face Nadine. Probably stairs, right? Glub, glub, glub. Finally, can you hear me? Oh, I am the fish with the long gills. Sometimes I say nonsensical things, don't mind me. But now, let's get down to business. I have some goods with me. Are you interested in anything? Finally, we're talking to him. He's got a crucifix. Restore half of your max HP. Suffer bleeding and poison. That is expensive for a guaranteed death. There's ammo. Reload the ranged weapon. Meh. Increase the damage inflicted. This is gunpowder, so we probably actually do want this gunpowder. These are just single battle consumables. All right, the guild fish is actually worthless. We don't want any of this, honestly. No, we're not taking it. Percentage obtained in order to find the skin, 38%. We are still doing pretty damn well. We've unlocked the garage, and we've also increased our HP by one. Excellent. We can probably try for ammo. Might be a good idea. There's a bleeding mirror and crimson fragments. Not necessarily good because we don't have the dagger for the mirror. Parking lot is just living guts. Don't know what the hell those are. But we have a very, very low chance of actually rolling it. Let's try for the parking lot really quickly. Hopefully we don't get the fight. Oh, we got the guts. First go. In the center of the room, there are floating guts. They have a proposition for you. Your max HP will be halved and enemies will have one third fewer HP. Oh, well, we've actually lost a lot of HP anyway. Let's go ahead and do that. Slowly, you move towards the door. Wonderful. Okay, so... Enemies... That should really help with the big bosses. But not anyone else, I don't think. Okay, Frog's Lair. Could probably try for the Frog's Lair. Or Esther. I don't mind fighting Esther, actually. Uh, the Throat Cutter. Yeah, she definitely started with less HP. Good. So now we can start to shoot, and this guy can also- Oh! One third chance to heal the player for one HP. We don't need that. We'll get him to attack. Yes, so the throw cutter is waiting. Well, that's to your chagrin. Oh, we missed our shot! Damn it! Now we're bleeding. Okay, we actually wanted to reload our gun by shooting her. The gun sucks! I've decided that the gun actually sucks. We got Nightshade. Melee is definitely the way to go. You just gotta stack up melee after melee. I think that's how we do it. Okay, we can face Mary, Nadine, or Rugs. I'm gonna try for the gummy bear again. Maybe we'll get the, the really low chance. Everything seems calm. Among the vases, you notice something. You pick it up and re-enter the house. You earn cigarettes. Yuck, that's kind of crap. Percentage obtained, 44%. Okay, memories become more vivid. We now have unlocked the room set in a dream. We have, we have technically beaten the first boss, haven't we? We could do the garden. 
or the skull horse. Uh, I'm going to roll for the crimson dancers. Yes. Tick tock, tick tock. I can't take it anymore. This pendulum is driving me crazy. Hey, what's behind the pendulum? Behind the pendulum? How should I know? Maybe we can find out the true nature of the pendulum. Enough now, girls. Accept the gifts we bring you, but be careful. You can choose only one. Okay, talk. The first damage you take in battle is reduced by one. Yuck. Predators, a chance that enemy will ask to be spared when his HP is low. His HP is low. Okay. Taking this upgrade multiple times increases the chances of this happening. Okay. Creepy Buffet will restore one HP after every battle. That could be good, but I'm actually going to go ahead and go for Predators and Praise. This is one of the ones we bought from the Lunar Shop. It could be really, really good or it could suck. We just don't know. Uh, oh, right, sorry, my controller just died. I was wondering why it wasn't responsive. I thought that maybe it had crashed. All right, I'll fix that. And we are good. Yep, good. Okie dokie. So main entrance, face Mary, meet the bleeding mirror, face Trish, meet the cowboy meh. We could go for the crawling fossil again. I'm going for the crawling fossil again. We'll try and do some damage. I beg you, stop fighting. No, keep fighting. Crawling fossil attacks, stealing three fragments. Now, I've got a thing, right? I'm going to attack it with the knife once. I am going to get our friend to heal for one chance. It failed, I don't care. The fossil is waiting. Now we want to talk with him. Piss. I would ask for mercy, but I see one of my kin is already among your ranks. Oh, I have no hope. I thought that maybe it would kind of like... I thought that we could double the damage that it does, but it doesn't seem like that's the option at all. Enemy defeated. You win 12 fragments. And we got one lunar fragment as well. Let me just check my uh, stream health really quickly, make sure that I am still alive. Yep, looks like it. Excellent. Okay, now that we've got that, we got blood and bile. Right. Okay, 48% now. We're pretty close to a boss fight and we don't have nearly enough health or damage output. We could face Esther. Oh, we could probably roll for the frog's lair, actually. That would be ideal. Noir from a previous timeline. Oh no, is this... Surely not. This isn't the one with the... with the awesome knife build, is it? We, we attack her and we take damage. Noir from a previous timeline attacks, inflicting bleeding. I've never done that. Okay. Bang. I beg you, stop fighting. Okay, fine, I'll spare you. Enemy defeated. You got 13 fragments and two lunar fragments. We also got gummy bears. Nice. Excellent, we're at 50% skin finding capability. We could probably try and do rugs. We don't want to do the crawling fossil or we could try for Nadine and living guts. Might be a really, really good idea, I think. We're probably at a place where we definitely have not got the DPS, though. That's the thing. Okay, we don't want to use our shot now. We want to attack. Is it going to beg? No, it's going to steal fragments, which means I'm going to shoot it, which reloads our gun. Very good. And we got some fragments and a lunar fragment. Still don't know if we can actually spend it on anything, though. Okay, 52% skin. We also just unlock the basement, which is fine. We really, really want the Crimson Dancers, right? We just want to increase this chance by heaps. Nah, we just got the two-headed skull horse instead. That's fine. And we'll do an attack here. He'll probably beg for mercy. No, he stole from us instead. Boom. Is he going to beg? No. What? Okay. That's a first. Fine. We got a Lunar Fragment and we got Gunpowder. Perfect. That is going to absolutely ramp up our damage. No Skin Man's Curse intensifies, so the enemy HP has gone up as well. We could face Trish, meet the cowboy, or not. Long Guild Fish, yucky. All of these are kind of yucky. Uh, we'll go for the ammo, I think. We're going to need ammo in the very, very near future. Trish the Faceless is not looking so hot, got to be said. Let's go ahead and give her a bit of a, bit of a tickle. Trish the Faceless attacks, inflicting bleeding. Oh, she did two damage as well. That's crazy. So, shoot her. And we get the fossil to attack as well for another free damage. Enemy defeated. We got 10 fragments. We got a lunar fragment. And we got ammo. Okay. What are we looking at now? Face the skull horse, the crimson dancers. I think we go for the crimson dancers, honestly. Crimson dancers are kind of overpowered. Ah, uh, we just got the skull horse. That's fine. 
We'll just attack it a bunch. I beg you, stop fighting. Okay, fine. Enemy defeated, we got the fragments and also one lunar fragment. We're a bully now, by the way. We got some gunpowder too, that's gonna enhance our damage when we fight the skin man, I think. I wonder if we've got a med kit. Observe the bleeding mirror, no. Meet the crimson dancers, yes please. Please? Oh, okay, fine. Uh, let's go ahead and try and reload our gun if we can. Can we? Yeah, we've got ammo. We've got lots of ammo too. Uh, sorry, gunpowder. We're gonna use the blood and bile. <sighs> And that's about it. That's about all we're going to use. Now, we could talk with him, see if there's something else. Someone here needs a lighter. That's why you talking to him when you have one. Who knows who might need it? All right. I think that's pretty heavy-handed, got to be said. I beg you, stop fighting. Okay, done. Thank you for the gunpowder. Good. If we get a lighter to what's-his-face, is it uh, rugs? Try to relieve the basement, but something lurks in the darkness. You are not alone. Exterminating Angel! Good grief, thank God for this buff where we have that reduces his HP, huh? Uh, let's go ahead and open the bag. We will use Blood and Bile. Don't know where we got that from. And we'll also maybe use Gunpowder to just cream him. Or we could try and survive this. No, actually, let's use two Gunpowder. We're probably gonna have to fight the Skinned Man after this. We are low on ammo though, so we're actually gonna use all three gunpowder so we can conserve that. And then we'll use the gummy bears in the next fight. There we go, five damage right there. Excellent, exterminating angel curses me. When cursed, you cannot pray to the goddess. The curse is removed at the end of the battle. Oh, that's absolutely fine. I can out DPS this guy, I can guarantee it. Okay, he's gonna do a big attack, right? Okay, attacks for one, weak, bang. Okay, we also just reloaded our gun with that one. We got 25 fragments, good grief. Uh, we actually have a medkit now. Excellent. Okay, we got 62% skin. And now we have to fight the skin guy, right? Where's my skin? I don't know. How the hell am I supposed to know, my dude? Let's go ahead and use a bunch of items. So it probably would be best to increase our melee damage and also gummy bears. Yep. And I'm not going to use the medkit yet because we haven't taken enough damage to justify it. We can't escape. So we do actually have to beat him. Go ahead and talk. My skin. Where's my skin? I don't know. Okay, so the knife actually does more damage now than the gun, and it's got a higher accuracy. Let's go ahead and start using this bad boy. Oh, I was hoping that the fossil would also have an increase in damage, but it's not the case at all. He's gonna inflict poison on us. What a bastard. Okay, and we're one turn away from beating him again. Poison takes Vect, and we suffer. That's okay. And we slashed him off. Too soon, it's too soon, to reveal the truth to you. New memory unlocked, rugs! You unlock the memories from the dream diary found in the main menu. Next time you face me, it won't be so easy. But that's what you said last time. Next time you face no skin man, it will be stronger. Defeating it will unlock a new memory. It's not over yet. Okay, we got rugs now. Wonderful. Dream diary, let's check them out. Recollections, rugs. Let's check out rugs backstory. Rugs, I've been waiting for you for ages. I know, I'm late. Sorry. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. I've written something for my next song these days. Do you want to listen? Sure, I'm here to listen. Okay, then give me your opinion later. Here it is. I look into your eyes and see sharp pins. Tears of blood, wet boiling cheeks. I understand you'll never change. I think back to your naked body, to those lips I loved. Hmm. I like how it sounds, no doubt. I know well you don't give a shit about what I write. You're probably not even listening to me. Even you reading this. Actually, you couldn't care less about all this. Maybe it's better if we end the conversation here. Huh? What the hell did you do? Oops, I have terrible aim. You know, maybe. I'm starting to regret the day I met you. That was fourth wall breaking. That was actually fourth wall breaking. I did not expect that whatsoever. Okay, we're going to go back in. I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to go and do some biological things. I will be literally right back. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere.
Okay. 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 Where were we? I think we were right here, right? I think right here is exactly where we were. The moon. Do you want anything? I don't actually know if I want anything. Do you have anything worth buying? Let's make a deal. The lighter. Okay, so we could purchase the lighter and give it to Rugs. Don't know what that's going to do, but I'm going to... I'm going to gamble on it. Okay, we've also unlocked the red room, which I'm pretty sure is some kind of reference to online streamed murder, or maybe a, a room where people are murdered. All right, reload purchasable from the frogs is actually pretty good. Temporal rupture is probably also going to be pretty good. I'm going to buy it. I think we don't bother with anything that isn't melee driven, right? That seems to be the meta of the game. It seems like all of the buffs seem to be melee oriented and the gun just kind of takes a back seat after the first area. We can face Nadine, face Esther, meet the hanged man. Uh, let's go ahead and try for the sacrificial lamb. Oh, good. Perfect. So we actually want to kill him and eat him so we get more HP. We got poisoned. We lose HP. We get one permanent HP. That's pretty good. 4% skin. Great. We can find cigarettes and face rugs. We actually want to buy the lighter first, don't we? We can meet a mysterious girl here and mug the hooker for a little bit of money. Let's go ahead and mug the hooker for some money. Because we don't have any shards right now. Never mind, we got Mary here. Uh, I'm gonna shoot her. Twice. Mary is waiting. The poison takes effect and you suffer a damage, that's fine. And we shot her dead. Good, we got 10 fragments and a nightshade, perfect. So that's gonna buff our delicious, delicious melee that we are going to specialize into, I think. That's just gonna be what we, what we spec into. So we could face Trish, followers of the false god, hanged man, find ammo, no. I think we go for Mary again, because Mary has the nightshade, which is just a free pass on a boss. Bang, Mary is waiting, don't know why. Bang, bang. I also feel like the attack cycles of these characters might indicate how we are interacting with them in the real world. Okay, 8% skin. We've also unlocked the kitchen for an additional plus one max HP. We could do Mary again. We could meet the sacrificial lamb. Maybe we go for health again. Let's, uh, let's try for the sacrificial lamb. Ah, uh, we got Nadine. That's fine. She's not awful, but she's also not very cash money either. Okay, good. We've shot them all dead. We've shot the same person dead twice, actually, in a row, which is pretty funny. We got some blood and bile. Wonderful. We are 10% skin. And the curse has increased, that's fine. So the gun is not going to be very helpful anymore. We could probably go into the frog's lair at this point. I'm doing it. I'm going to try for the frog's lair. Nope, we got sharp knives. That's useless to us. We need to escape. I don't think we've ever failed an escape against those knives, to be quite honest. All right, 12%. 12% skin. I'll try for the frogs again. Here we go. We got the frogs, finally. Good. What have you got? Hunter's knife, that's pretty good actually. Replace your melee weapon with the hunter's knife when you hit an enemy, you win fragments, I like that. Gun and torch, meh, emergency dagger. Actually, surprisingly potent. Surprisingly potent. Holt necklace, when you're about to die, you come back to life with half your HP. I'm gonna go for the emergency dagger. Just to really kind of like drive home that we aren't gonna miss. And then we're not gonna worry about the gun at all. Okay, we got 14% ammo I'm not too worried about. We just unlocked the cult chamber for plus one max HP. Don't want to go for the frogs again. Kind of want to go for the crimson dancers. Yeah, we'll go for the crimson dancers. Try and roll some stats. Okay, we have no ammo, I don't think. We don't have any ammo. We could probably actually use that blood and buy right there. So that we don't take any damage from this fight. I think she can heal plus three. I'm just going to slash away at her. Yeah, oh no, dude, she just heals plus one. Is she doing a devastating attack? Yes. Yes, she is. I'll pray. Excellent. Now we're going to use the knifey wifey. And she is dead. We have killed the priestess of the false god cult. We got nine fragments and a lunar fragment. We also got a golden bullet. That's nice. I like that. Even though the gun kind of sucks after a while, the golden bullet is really good. It's a good early game kind of thing I found. We'll try for the crimson dancers again. We got the doorman. Okay. I'm just going to try and escape. Good. He's useless. He is literally a useless encounter. I don't know why we wasted all of our lunar crystals on him right at the start. 
Uh, that, that was such a bad shout. We'll try for the Crimson Dancers and hopefully not get the Doorman. Nice! Good. What do we have here? You like my painting? We've seen this dialogue too. What are they offering? Sharp. Increase the damage of melee weapon, but reduces accuracy by 10. You suffer poison too. That's a good one. Max HP plus one. You'll restore two HP. Useless. Strange bag. You'll earn 20 fragments and two gunpowder. Okay, we're going for sharp. It's the obvious one. I feel. Uh, okay, so we've got the sacrificial lamb and Nadine. Trish and the hanged man. We've got the frog's lair here. So it's ammo or... Oh, I'm going to go for the sacrificial lamb if I can. Whoa, okay. Wake up. It's got very little health. We do enough damage. We could probably take it out. Wake up is waiting. Poison takes its effect. We can take the two of those hits. That's absolutely fine. Wake up, wake up. The hell? Okay, I'm going to use a golden bullet here because it's probably the best place to. Wake up, wake up is waiting. The poison takes effect. Okay, we've got three HP. So if this thing tries to cream us... Oh no, wake up, wake up. Oh no. Is this Hypnagogia? Wake up attacks for one. That's okay. That's absolutely fine. Is that it? Oh no, it is not it. Oh dear, this is very bad. We probably want to use a nightshade because we only have two HP, so we can only take two hits. Bugger. So we do... Th okay, one nightshade. We get him in three attacks. Hopefully, it's going to be waiting for one of these attacks. Or two of these attacks. It attacks. Good. And we should be clear... The boundaries between reality and dream are becoming increasingly blurred. New enemy unlocked. It may appear at the end of the first area. What? Oh no, we've only got one health as well, by the way. That's really bad. We've unlocked the hallway. Okay, we just restored an HP. That's very good. We could face a no skin man. We could roll for a med kit, which would actually be perfect. We don't have the lighter for rugs, so we're not going to worry about that one too much. I think we go into the hallway and we try our luck rolling for a med kit. It's a higher chance of no, piss. Okay, we're gonna have to try and escape. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. It's a very slim ch- Oh my god, we just had a god roll. 24! I can't believe that! I actually can't believe we got away from that with 12% escape chance. So we can try for ammo, yuck. A try for mysterious girl, yuck. We don't have the health for that actually. And we also have Nadine in here. We'll try for Nadine. We got Nadine, good. So we'll take her out in three slashes. We've got two that we can take hits for. So we've guaranteed this fight right now. Mm, or have we? That poison is actually gonna kill us as well if we don't level up in this next kind of instance. Oh, we got some blood and bile. That's perfect, actually. So that's gonna buffer the poison, which is gonna be fantastic. We could go for Nadine again. Let's go for Nadine again. Because worst case scenario, we just get more blood and bile, which hopefully will allow us to kind of tank another couple of these. Okay, we took one damage. She's probably going to attack us right here. Okay, she just did more poison. We probably want to try for an antidote. We're kind of breaking even with health at this point. We got blood and bile. Okay, that's that's slight profit. We got 28% skin. We're really hanging on by the skin of our teeth in this instance. We could try for the med kit. I think that's going to be the best one. I'm going to try for the med kit. We got the no skin man again. Oh, that's so unlucky. We can't escape. He attacks. Okay. And we did. Oh, well. Saw that one coming from a mile away. We just didn't have the health for it. All right, good. Let's see if we can buy anything. I don't think we can. We got seven. This is 15. Yeah, you can see that. Y'all can see that. Maybe we try for a cry for help. Unlock the ability to play on a simplified difficulty. You can choose the difficulty every time you start a new game. Don't really want to, though. Mysterious Girl 32. Let's try a cry for help. Because it seems really luck-based whether or not we actually get all of the god rolls for the melee buffs. Okay, Faith 1, standard difficulty. What is this? Reduce enemy HP, increase player HP, even more shards from defeated enemies. We'll try this. We'll try this real quickly. And then I'll just go back to the normal one. We can meet a mysterious girl, find cigarettes, or make deals with long guild fish. We don't want to do any of those. We probably want to try for shards, right? What's this? Everything seems calm. On the ground, you find a corpse covered in crimson fragments. Excellent. We got seven fragments. Perfect. We got 4% skin. Again, I have no idea what that means. 
We could probably observe the meeting or face a follower of the false god. That might be a good one. We could try for the sacrificial lamb. Or we could try for more shards. I think we try for the sacrificial lamb, honestly. Oh, we don't have any nightshade to offer. Okay, good. Nadine is waiting. Excellent, because I've got this gun right here that I can shoot her dead with. We got a bunch of fragments. Excellent. We got some blood and bile too. That's going to be free health later on. 6% skin. Good, good. Uh, what do we want to try for? Probably Mysterious Girl at this point, right? Yeah, we'll try for the Mysterious Girl. Hopefully we can mug the hooker. Uh, we got Mary. She's probably going to be waiting. So, I feel like because they spend their first turn waiting here, when they're kind of like not all bloodied, I feel like that has got something to do with us being the aggressor. Like, we were the ones who snapped and started trying to harm everybody. Just unlock the kitchen. Awesome. I'm pretty sure frogs in there, right? We've got the long guild fish here. We'll try for the long guild fish. Maybe we can get a lighter. Uh, we got the doorman. He's actually virtually useless. Okay, we missed that first shot, so we're actually just gonna try and escape. We gotta get him in three. Are you playing Nightmare House 2 soonish? Uh, maybe. No idea. There was an issue with it. I can't remember what it was, but I'll have to sort it out before I actually start it. Bathroom, no. Make deals with the long guild fish. We probably wanna try for the long guild fish. The doorman is absolutely worthless. I don't know why we actually stick him in the game. We haven't been able to talk to him at all, whatsoever. And he doesn't give us anything, because we can't out DPS him right at the start of the game, unless we hit god rolls anyway. I'm really excited, it was a really good game. I'll wait to see, I'll wait to see. It looked really good, I wanted to do a series on it and edit them, but I think something else got in the way, I can't remember what it was specifically. We've got the lounge here, with the long guild fish. We could probably try for him again, but at this point it's just taking the piss if we don't get him. Ah, we got him, good. Okay, good. So we want to buy the lighter off of him. And then we want to try and find Rugs. Rugs loves his lighter. I think we have to find him in the next area though. We'll try for him in the next area. Uh, we want to try for the Crimson Dancers every single chance we get because they are overpowered. Nice! I was heading home when I saw it. What did you see? A puddle, a puddle. Yes, but it was a strange puddle. It had the shape of a guitar. And did you try play it? Enough now, girls. Accept the gifts we bring you, but be careful. You can choose only one. Weird. Increase the accuracy of your weapons. Useless. Increase the damage of melee. Pretty damn good. Gambling. Next time you choose this upgrade, will increase the melee weapon damage by one and range weapon damage by two. Oh, I see the next time we pick it. Right. Okay. Ranged weapons are useless. We don't want to buff that, but we do want a guaranteed increase of melee. Definitely. Okay. 16% skin. We can face Nadine. There's a sacrificial lamb. There, here's Rugs. So I don't think we can give him the lighter in this first phase because there was never an option to talk to him, but I think we want to try for the Crimson Dancers over and over again. Okay, we didn't get it, but we can take care of this Joker no problem. Okay, we stabbed him to death. How did we do so much damage? I didn't even notice. Oh, we got plus two on the, uh, the melee weapon now. Excellent. Okay, 18% skin. We also got a nice little collection of shards. I think we tried for the Crimson Dancers. No, we got the Doorman. We can now DPS him this time, actually. Doorman is waiting. Poison takes effect. Don't care. So we'll see what we get for actually killing him this time. This is the first time we've killed the Doorman. You earn 23 fragments, that's pretty good. Two lunar fragments, that's pretty good. Ammo times two. It's good for early game, I would say. He's good to kill if you can for early game, but otherwise he's pretty much worthless. Okay, let's try again for the Crimson Dancers. Uh, we got the Priestess of the False God Cult. Let's go ahead and just absolutely slay her with this. Oh, we missed. And it cost us the five. That's hilarious. Okay, good. We now have half HP. We got 10 fragments, a lunar fragment, and we got a golden bullet, which is pretty damn good. Okay, we're at 22% skin as well, which is pretty nice. We just got the hallway unlocked, fine. You could probably try for the mysterious girl. Or maybe we could make deals with the long guild fish. No, he only sells consumables, he's worthless. Probably want to try for just money generation, right? All right, we got the hooker, let's mug her. We're gonna mug the hooker. Great, we've got 102 shards already. That's insane, actually. 24, nice, 24%. HP increased for the enemies, that's not nice. 
We can try and find the frogs lair. It might be a really good option. Yes. Finally, we got the frogs. We want to trade. We definitely want to trade. We probably don't want the hunter's knife. We probably don't want that. We probably want the emergency dagger and the cult necklace. Boom, boom. Okay. And reload. Not particularly useful. Especially now that our weapon is significantly better. Oh, we're going to be hitting them with the hunter's knife anyway. Let's take this hunter's knife perk. And then we'll just start generating lots and lots of ammunition. We're at 26% skin. What are we looking at? Mysterious girl, crimson fragments, face Mary. I bet we're going to get Mary in this one. Yes, finally. Okay, so now we can attack her three times. She's waiting. Don't know what she's going to do next turn. She's probably waiting to see why we attacked her or if it was kind of like something that's going to happen again. We've got 13 fragments and a lunar fragment. We've also got a nightshade. Perfect. We want melee build. I think we'll go after Mary as much as we possibly can. Follower of the false god. We could probably try and restore our health. We have a nightshade for it. We also have a nightshade to give to the sacrificial lamb. We'll try for the meeting. Okay, we got the follower of the false god. We're just going to kill him. He's waiting. That is his downfall. What a bastard. Good. We got 10 fragments, lunar fragment, and strange pills. I think that's a free health. We got 30% skin. Who the hell is this? Where am I? Who are you? I was right under a big tree in front of the deer-headed man. Answer me. What am I doing here? Emerging from another dimension, number zero. Okay. We probably want to use our nightshade, right? And our blood and bile. Seemingly useless, has uh, no effect. Okay, we'll save the lighter for the next region. We've got lots of golden bullets, actually. What else have we got? Strange HP? Okay, good. Uh, I'm going to use a single nightshade to give us plus three damage to the hunter's knife. Oh, she's taken aim. Let's go ahead and do it. Prey. Excellent. She did one damage. Now we did three. Great. She sacrificed one HP to raise attack. Oh, no. Okay, we missed the first one. Okay. Heals by 3 HP. The emergency dagger actually just gave us some really good stuff. Uh, that's going to be 3 HP that we don't get back ever again. Okay, she's taking aim. We take damage. I think we're going to get her in this turn. If not with the first one, with the second. Great. Enemy defeated. You got 16 fragments. Three lunar fragments. Pretty good. And a medkit. Wow. I, I'm sorry for attacking you like that. My name is Root. As long as I'm stuck here, I'll help you. Just tell me what to do. You can select which character to play as at the beginning of a new game. Oh my god! Awesome! The hallway is finally free. Your memories will flow like the river as you cross it. You're finally in a new area. I imagine with her, we can kind of get the two-headed deer. I just joined. Hey there, Tail. How are we today? We just unlocked Talk. This is no skin. I saw Markiplier play it a wee... A, a few days ago, and as it turns out, it's actually very lore heavy. I also can't hear you. Uh, turn up your volume. Simple as that. I'm looking at my recording software. It's definitely going out. It's not muted or anything like that. Garden, face rugs, uh, face leak hole traps. We want to face rugs now. We want to give him the lighter, don't we? We want to talk to him first. Wait a moment. You have exactly what I need. Would you be so kind as to give it to me? I'll let you go for now. Okay, we got 49 fragments. It's a pleasure doing business. Wow, that is a lot. 34, okay, we're at 34%. We just got a lot of fragments. We probably want to start trying for the frogs again then. So that's just a free 50 fragments. That's incredible. I had my sound done. Yeah, <laughs> I knew it wasn't me. We can try and face Nadine or Mary. I kind of like Mary. We don't have the dagger required for the bleeding mirror, but we could probably do with some more fragments, try and really max out our frog stuff. Actually, let's try for the living guts. Yes, okay, good. So now they'll halve our health. We take the deal, and now enemies have reduced health, which is going to serve us really, really well in the melee builds that we go for now. Okay, we could try for the deer-headed man. I'm going to try for the, the fossil, because if we can get him down low... Oh, come on! Not from a previous timeline. Okay, so we're fighting ourselves. We didn't want to fight ourselves. We actually instead... Oh, this... We may die here. We died. But we've got that necklace as well that restored our health. Excellent. Now, we actually, we wanted to fight that lunar fossil. We got some gummy bears. That's okay. Yuck. 
I suppose. We'll use them later, but they're not amazing. We unlock the garage. Oh, we've got the frogs here. God damn it, I wanted that companion. Hopefully we don't hit Esther. We hit the frogs. Damn it, we hit Esther. That's okay. We can hit her in two shots. Esther is waiting. A lot of good that's going to do her. Let's cut her neck open. Wonderful. We got 14 fragments and one lunar fragment, and we got nightshade. So that's actually pretty good. We got 190 shards. We want to find the frog as soon as we can so we can spin them, don't we? Frog's lair right here. Yeah, let's go for the frogs. Yo, hey there, Hanji Sung. Okay, we've accidentally got Esther the throat cutter again. We can get the first two off on her before she does anything. I don't think that we can necessarily use like a golden bullet or anything. Nightshade, I don't want to waste a nightshade on her. We've got ammo, but that's just going to regenerate our gun, which kind of sucks. Ah, uh, we'll just use knife. She's going to attack. It's not going to do a hell of a lot. Hey, try to remember my stream tomorrow? Yes! Remind me when. Remind me when it's actually going to happen. Put it in the Discord, actually. Stick it in the Discord. Uh, we got some nightshade out of that one. 42! Sha. No, 42 skin. So now we actually need the frog. I'm going to try for the crawling fossil again, because if we can get that companion... The deer-headed man stand stares intensely at you. Here's an offer for you, provided you have those precious fragments. Recover one-third of our HP. Yuck. You earn ammo. Yuck. These are pretty revolting. Actually, 15 fragments for a third of our HP back is pretty damn good. I'm going to do it. Gives you some strange pills to swallow, allowing you to recover a third of your health points. Wow, which much more energy than before you leave the room. Was he like a drug dealer? Okay. I just came back. Hey there, Kogold. So, we have unlocked the room scene in a dream. We still can't seem to get the frogs to spawn, which is kind of half of the point of what we're doing here. I'm going to try for the... Yes, nice. Have you heard of the deer-headed man? Yes. The deer-headed man? No, but my friend Root even talked about it. Really? And did she find out who's behind the mask? Of course not. No one knows his identity. Done. I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. Enough now, girls. Okay. What have you got? Hopefully not gambling. Oh, yes. Full health recovery and we get 12 fragments. That's not good. Talk. The first damage you take in battle is reduced by one. That's not good. Every time you use the item cigarettes, inflict two additional damage. None of these are good, actually. Probably want to maybe take jackpot. I'm taking jackpot. We're still going to try for the frog. We want to get as much money as possible. Logan, hey, I'm new. Welcome to the stream, Logan. Welcome to the channel. New sub, this channel is underrated. Thank you so much. I love hearing that. It never gets old, by the way. Everyone keeps saying that this channel is overrated. It never gets old. Oh, frog's there. Great. Okay, we'll try for the frogs. Hopefully we'll get the frog. Ah, yes, we got the frogs. Perfect. They didn't interact with us. That's weird. So we want this dagger number 48. Perfect. We want to take this to a bleeding mirror. That would be perfect. We kind of want this rosary. I'm taking it. Floss between the teeth. That's a free grenade. It costs 25. This is 40 and 30. So 30 and 40 is 70 plus 25 is 95. We can afford all three of these. What is that last one? Increases the percentage obtained in order to find the skin by eight. Do we want this? This just speeds up the game, doesn't it? Ah, we can afford it. Why not? And there's not the frog's not going to sell anything else. I like games, so I found a new channel. Yeah, I play a lot of variety of games on here. Oh, God, you should have been here yesterday. We played a game called Happy Game. It was, honestly, the worst acid trip anyone could have possibly created. We can try and meet the living guts again, but we just recovered from meeting the last ones. Actually, if we meet the living guts again, we may be able to reduce enemy HP by two-thirds, which would be insane. We would only have four HP, though, which would not be very good. Long Guild Fish, meet the Crimson I'm going to try for the Crimson Dancers once more. We got the two-headed Skull Horse. Let's attack it. So, it steals five fragments, that's fine. We have actually just been to the shop. We defeated the enemy, we got more fragments than he stole, and we got some gunpowder, which is worthless. Okay, we're at 58% skin finding capability. We could face Esther, we could go to the Frog's Lair here. We don't want to do that. We could face the Crawling Fossil. We could actually get that companion, finally. Or we could face Nadine and get the living guts. Don't really want to do that just yet. Everything seems calm. You decide to rest for a while. Waiting for the isolate, the elevator to reach its destination. We recovered HP. Pretty sure we had full HP. I could be wrong. All right, we've got 60% skin finding. You try to leave the basement, but something lurks in the darkness. You are not alone. 
Ah, here's that exterminating angel again. So we probably want to use some of our nightshade and one of our gummy bears. Uh, we actually don't really have much gummy bears. Yeah, let's go ahead and use a single nightshade. And we'll use the gummy bears for this fight. Probably shouldn't have used it yet because it also did health regen. But we want to do lots and lots of damage to this bastard who curses us so we can't block his gigantic attacks. Damn! He did three damage to us. That's insane. My stream is at 1.30 p.m. right now. It's 10 p.m. Me? Okay, you'll again have to remind me. I The one downside about me is that I have memory issues, which I'm medicated for. Can you always smash that like button? There's a way of smashing the like button. If you see a like button, you can smash it. But you have to choose to do so. Can you say smash that like button? SMASH THAT LIKE BUTTON! You earn three lunar fragments, and we got a med kit. <laughs> I can't do Discord. Oh man, that sucks. Uh, try and tag me in like, um, Dev Bebo? Dev MySpace? <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. Don't don't go onto those platforms. They're dead. Okay, we should be fighting the skinned man now. Excellent. He's lost most of his HP, which is pretty funny. Try and talk to him. My skin. Where's my skin? I don't know. Look at the end of your knob, your penis. We're going to go ahead and eat all of our nightshade, and we're just going to cream this guy into the dirt as best as we can. Oh my god, we might actually three hit this guy now. This might be a crazy attack cycle. Oh! He attacks us. Oh my god, that really harmed us, actually. That's not good. Let's go ahead and take a med kit. Half of our maximum HP. That's not very good, actually. Oh no! I hope this... Okay, he did poison, which is good. That's damage over time, which we can deal with. I'll comment on your newest vid. Yeah, do that. Do that. I yeah, Actually, uh, do do that. I will see it in my kind of like comments list in my YouTube studio, so I'll, I'll definitely know. I won't react to it or anything, so it stays there. Oh, good. We got a new memory. We got Trish. Excellent. Apparently, he's going to be... Apparently, he's going to be stronger next time, but he hasn't been. So, that was supposed to be easy mode. That wasn't actually much different from the base game. Let's go ahead and go into the Dream Diary and see what we've got. So, we've just unlocked Trish. What's her dizzle? Trish! What the hell are you doing? Running away like that. Why are you crying? What's happening? It's not a good moment. I can see that. Leave me alone. I need to be alone. At least will you tell me what's wrong? You seemed calm until a minute ago. I... I just want all of this to end. Did you know that a dream is something real? At least until you wake up. Maybe my life is just a bad dream. I have no idea what we could interpret that as. Absolutely no idea. Did you check out... Sorry, did I check out Maya Winked ASMR? No, I did not. <laughs> I, d I, don't, I don't listen to ASMR. I'm a content creator. I make things. I don't, I don't watch things. Uh, except for Markiplier, which is actually why I'm playing this game in the first place. Let's go ahead and start a new game. So we should be able to pick a different character, right? Do you want anything? Yeah, probably. We should have heaps and heaps of things. Lol, do you know who I am? No. No, how would I know? You're, a ch you're in chat. I'm only as informed as your uh, username, and Logan is not very informing. I'm Iris, her cousin. Okay, welcome to the stream, Iris, uh, the cousin of Maya Winked ASMR. I don't, I, don't, I don't know your family, gotta be said. I have no idea who they are. Uh, we could probably unlock the red room, right? That might be a good idea. Okay, we could save up for a mysterious girl as well, but I don't necessarily think that's going to be worth it, necessarily. Okay, so we can now choose a new character. I kind of want to... Noir, the goddess's weapon. We don't know if she's actually a goddess's weapon. Okay, so Root is the false bride. She's got a melee weapon. It's a knife. It's the same one as the first one we had. Range weapon is Root's gun, which does the same damage, but has less... Precision, which sucks, and it also starts with ammo, which you'll miss with anyway. If you kill with this weapon, bringing in the enemy's HP exactly to zero, choose from four mutations. Oh, yes, we're going to play as Root. That is a good one. I'm Iris's cousin, not Maya Winky. She makes ASMR, LMAO. I, I don't know any of these people. Who's Iris? Who the, who the hell are these people? Am I supposed to know them? I live in Dunedin, New Zealand, in case you've got me mixed up with somebody else. 
All right, select the level of devotion. I think that may be faith one. We'll try this new character on kind of like normal mode, I think. Percentage obtained, 2%. Do you have a Minecraft server? No, uh, I never did. I never had a Minecraft server. I'm thinking about setting one up in the future, but it's a paid service, so I'll have to plan that way in advance. I'll come on her account. She gave me her account. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, it's still not going to alert me as to who it is. Okay, we can face Trish, face Nadine. I am on my cousin's gun. The star looks familiar. The star looks familiar. The emoji and the username, but other than that, no, I'm, I'm not entirely sure uh, who Iris is. So, Mary is here, we can farm her for shards, we can meet the sacrificial lamb, get a little bit more kind of uh, health right, out the, right, right off rip. We could meet the hanged man, who doesn't really give us anything good. I mean, we probably actually want to go into ammo build, right? Everything seems calm. On the ground you find some ammo. Well, perfect. That's our second magazine. Scott's World, E? Yeah, I definitely agree. E all the way. Absolutely. E. And also, uh, I'll tell you there's something else as well. W. This game is a is a W game. My account for other stuff is Hanji Sung. Oh, right. Hello there, Hanji Sung. By the way, this is my cousin, Iris. Okay, good to know. I didn't know any of these people initially. What are your thoughts on the game so far? Long. It is a long game. It got to be said, it is a really, really long game. It's fun. It's actually really fun. I'm I haven't played a a roguelite game this fun since Buckshot Roulette. I'm relating it a lot to Buckshot Roulette at this point, but it's definitely its own little experience as well. I, I definitely think that all of the characters are kind of like representative of different mental health disorders, and I feel like we are either in a psychiatric unit or a halfway house of some sort, and we are just criminally insane to some extent. I'm going to play some Minecraft, but still watch the stream, just can't chat. That's absolutely fine, Tail. You do you. You do you, and I'll do me. Okay, we can face Esther, meet a mysterious girl. Probably don't want to face the doorman, he's worthless. Let's try to find some ammo. So, now that we have this gun, right, everything seems calm. On the ground you find some ammo. What the hell is going on? This is the second one we found in a row. That's crazy. Okay, we've got 6% skin analysis. We probably want to kill lots of people to find all the skin, right? We could meet a mysterious girl. We probably want to start fighting people, don't we? Let's go ahead and do that. We don't have any nightshades, so we can't go to the cult followers meeting. Taking a shower is worthless because we have full health. We're going to go to the storage room to meet Trish. Who the hell? Oh, no. No, no. No, this isn't happening. Uh, we will spend one HP to save him, I think. We got some cigarettes. I shouldn't have saved him. No, I should have saved him. Morally, I win. I'm going to customize my account. I'm new to YouTube. Okay, good luck. Your memories become more vivid. We just unlock the kitchen. Great. We got the frogs there. We don't have anywhere near enough uh, kind of like shards to actually go to the frogs place though. We could face Mary. Yeah, let's try and face Mary. Everything seems calm. On the ground you find a corpse covered in crimson fragments. Is this chick like the luckiest chick in the world? She's just skipped through like three fights. We haven't fought anyone yet. Which is actually detrimental to us because we need to fight people to level up. Okay, I'm gonna try and face Mary. We've just rolled three under 20s, by the way. Okay, what does gun do? Damage two. So we wanna shoot her twice, don't we? Wanna hurt her once. Mary is waiting. We stabbed her. Let's try shoot her to really get the point across. Mary attacks. And now we're gonna shoot her again. Boom. So now we can get another perk. You're in 10 fragments! We got one lunar fragment and we got nightshade. Enemy HP precisely reduced to zero. Choose a mutation. Ooh, one max HP. Or at least one max HP. Increase the accuracy of your ranged weapon by 15. That would be 90%. That would actually be a almost guaranteed hit. Increase the damage of your ranged weapon, reducing its accuracy by 10. Why the hell would I want that? Increase the damage of your ranged weapon by one. I imagine. Reducing its accuracy by 10 so it doesn't hit anything. Increase the maximum ammo of your ranged weapon by 1. You earn 1 ammo. Current max ammo, 5. It's pretty good one. Uh, let's go ahead and get the accuracy buff, because I think that's going to be kind of like the, the snowball, right? Okay, what do we got? We could try for more ammo, because we, again, don't have any kind of like shards to spend. I'm going to do it. Hopefully we don't find any ammo on the ground. Awesome, we got Trish. So we do two damage with this with an accuracy of 90, which is pretty damn good. I think we have a bunch of magazines that we can kind of spend. Trish attacks. 
go ahead, use the gun again. Precious waiting. And now we've done exactly the damage. Good. We got six fragments, we got a lunar fragment, and we have a mutator. So these all look to be the same. Maybe now we increase the damage by also reducing its accuracy to 80%. One in one five chance of missing. I think that's fine, honestly. That's probably a good chance. All right, what are we looking at next? We got rugs here. He's kind of a, a pushover. We could try for the Crimson Dancers. I'm going to try for the Crimson Dancers. The Priestess of the False God is also very easy to kill. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can't kill the Doorman. Uh, or can we? Okay, damage three. Yeah, we can actually. And we can get a Mutator off of this if we just use an ammo. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to use the knife. We better not miss a single shot, though. That is the thing. Oh! Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, we're going to escape. Because he's just going to run away anyway, anyway. Okay, 16. 16% skin and <laughs> we're not doing very well anyway. Meet the hangman. Uh, meet the mysterious girl. Probably don't want to lose any HP. Oh, God. We are losing HP, aren't we? Probably want to observe the cult followers meeting. If we have a nightshade, maybe we can spend it. Oh, that's lucky. Okay, uh, let's... We don't want to give them ammunition, do we? I'm going to do it. I'm going to give them ammunition. They just recovered our HP. That was worthless. This character is actually not amazing. I'm not going to lie. I thought that she'd be really, really good, but she is not. Hopefully we can get the torch, right? No, no. This is the knives. We want to escape these, hopefully. Yep. Perfect escape every single time with the knives. We want to talk to the frogs so we can get the gun. I'm going to re-roll the frogs. Here we, here we go. Great. Yeah, we've got a bunch of things. So we want the gun and the torch for 30. We're left with one shard, but we are now in a really, really good place. Should have probably got reload as well. Should have probably got reload. That would have further reinforced us kind of like doing enough damage to kill. Okay, uh, long guild fish, no. Frog's lair, no. None of these are really particularly good. Hopefully we don't go to the meeting. Oh, bugger. Oh no, I go! Oh! I pressed X too much and I just gave up some ammo so that we could have literally no more health added to us. Oh, that hurts. Okay, we've got to find more ammo now, I think. Yeah, we definitely have to find more ammo and just hope we, we get enough health to kind of survive. Okay, we got some ammo. What are the odds? What are the odds? What are the odds? Okay, balcony, face rugs, find cigarettes, make deals with long guild fish, useless. Been a mysterious girl, we could probably farm for fragments if we can. We've got an 80% chance of getting fragments or merry. Hello? Okay, that's someone different. This does three damage. One... I'm trying to count the hearts. So if we slash twice, we'll take a nightshade. We'll slash once. Hopefully she won't heal. Slash once, and then two gunshots. One. And if we do exactly enough damage... Boom! We got another mutator. We also got a bunch of crap. Got some gummy bears too. Nice. What? Where's my... Where's my mutator? This character's busted. Honestly, this character doesn't work. In a mysterious girl storage room. Hanged man. Find ammo. I'm gonna try for the ammo again because I accidentally gave it away to that cult. Okay, we got Trish. That's fine. We can slash her once and then shoot her twice. Why didn't we get the mutator? That's my main question right now. That is that is my main concern, is why we didn't get that mutator from killing that enemy with exactly enough. Where's the mutator? What is going on? This character sucks. He's right across the hallway, but something hides in the darkness. It's approaching, getting closer and closer. Burned man? Yep, okay. So let's go ahead and use some items because we're probably gonna have to. Gummy bears, definitely. I think he just took damage from the gummy bears, that's funny. Can we escape? No, we cannot. We could probably just reload our gun and empty into him, mag dump into him. That's probably as much health as he has. Okay, there we go. Three. He inflicts poison on us, which is not amazing. Uh, he attacks us for zero. That's pretty funny, but we still take one. I accidentally just slashed him. He's preparing a devastating attack. We are going to have to kind of defend ourselves. Good for one Right, so we're going to have to hope that he doesn't do anything for the next turn, or we are dead. Oh, pose. Seriously? Okay, we got poisoned. I think we've survived, though. 
We've got one HP, so our next... We need HP. We got a med kit. Perfect. That's going to give us like two HP back, which is actually awful. Always finally free. Your memories flow like a river as you cross it. Okay, we're in the new area. Finally, we got 32% skin. We got talk. So what else have we got? We can face Mary. We can face the crawling fossil. We can probably deal with the crawling fossil, actually. But we also... Oh, none of these are going to restore our health. That's the thing. None of these are actually going to restore our health. So I think we're caught in a doom loop right here. I think we're caught in a doom loop. What the hell? Hey! You here too. We were interrupted, remember? This is the deadhead guy. We have unfinished business. Let's meet at the end for a fight to the death. Okay, sure. Very well. See you at the end of this area. Okay, will we uh, at least re-roll all of the things? I think we just got the 1% roll of an unexpected event, which is very, 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 very low likelihood of having. We want an antidote. This next fight, if we don't find an antidote, we are screwed. We are screwed. Okay, we are screwed. We are screwed. We are screwed. No, we actually have a med pack, don't we? Okay, so that's going to give us 2 HP. Hopefully she doesn't poison us again, because that would not be great. We kind of need to stab her twice. One. She inflicts five poison on us. That's okay. And one more. She's going to wait. Excellent. We suffer one damage. We've got 2 HP. We need to use the gun. Bang. For three. And now we should get a modifier. Yeah, well, where's the modifier? The whole thing. Oh. This character's entire mechanic is that she's supposed to get a modifier if you can take the HP down. That is exactly the damage of the bullet. But it's not doing it. Is this broken? I feel like this is broken. Meet the deer-headed man. We could probably do that again. That'd be funny. Uh, find the cowboy. Uh, make some deals with the long guild fish. I don't know if we got an antidote off that last, last fight. We got the crawling fossil. Thank the Lord. Uh, let's see for an antidote. Thank the Lord. Great. So we actually want to take this guy down to one health and then talk to him, don't we? Hey. Don't know what he's going to do. He's going to steal some fragments. What a dick. Is he going to wait? Yep, he's going to wait. Now, if we talk to him, we now have a companion. Excellent. We've got a companion. He's going to deal another one damage to enemies. Another one. I mean, one is, is good. It's, it's still damage. Observe the bleeding mirror. Still don't have enough to even buy the... Oh, the frog slayer. We could actually try for the dagger. Dagger number 48 or something like that. I'm Beck Jensen. How do you like my channel stuff? Silly Dino. Is that, uh... Is, is, is that the same account as Logan? It looks good. I like it. You are a silly dino, of course. So, now we can talk with Esther. Squelch Squelch. Who are you? Get out of my sight. That's right. We're a different character. We should be talking to these people. We've got some items. We've got four HP, actually, so I think we could probably tank her. I'm going to do it. Uh, what? Esther, the throw cutter is waiting. Damn, we actually wanted that one to land, unfortunately. Going to go here, do one stab, and try for a heal. We got the heal. Excellent. Yes, I like it, silly dino. It's very good. Uh, I'm going to try for the gun. And if we don't get the goddamn modifier at the end of this, because we are doing three damage. She has three HP. We missed. That's embarrassing. Okay, we'll try for another HP. Uh, we failed the heal. She attacked us for zero. That's pretty funny. We'll try for a gun again. We don't get the modifier. I'm giving up on this character altogether, and I'm just going to go for melee build again. I'm going to be gaming, cooking, editing on art on my channel. That is going to be... Um, Ambitious. Good luck with that. Best of luck with that. You earn Nightshade times one. Okay, so what do we get from that? Probably actually information. We now know not to waste our time with her actual mechanic. It's literally worthless. Guns, guns are crap. Guns are hands down just crap in this game. Okay. We want the frogs, Leo. We want the frogs. We want the frogs. Ah, oh, we got Esther again. Damn it. Guns are crap. Oh my god, I can't believe we got guns again. Okay. Fortunately, we can, like, one phase her. Okay, good. Enemy defeated. You're in 12 fragments, and it didn't feel very good. We still want the frogs. We definitely want the frogs. 42% skin, though. Where's the frog? Frog? No. <laughs> no frogs at all. 
We could probably try for the cowboy. Get some, get some ammo. Nope, we got Trish the Faceless this time. Okay, let's go ahead and shoot her. Bang. Because we are on borrowed time anyway. We'll try for a heal. Nah, we got nothing. That's okay. She attacked us, inflicting bleeding. We're going to have to use some ammo right now. And let's go ahead and shoot her. Bang. Ooh. Yeah, well, it's not going to be all at once because cooking doesn't start until I get my new phone because mine broke. You also need to get a tripod as well to set your phone up as well. To uh, kind of film yourself recording as well. Get a good one. Get one made of metal. Don't get a crap plastic one because they break really fast. I've had two of them break in a single recording session. The little plastic tripods. They are not worth it. Okay, we got 44% skin. Max HP plus one. That's kind of nice, actually. Nice little bonus. We got the Crimson Dancers here. And the Deer-Headed Man there. Okay, so the Skinless Man uh, must be Noir's thing, right? Oh, it's you. Do you like my painting? We've seen this dialogue here. Let's pick a perk. Full health recovery, and we get 12 fragments. Yuck. Sharp, increase the damage of melee weapon, but reduce its accuracy by 10, and we get poisoned. Yuck. First damage you take in battle is reduced by one. That could be good. That could actually be good. We've got a very low health pull. And then all of the damages that just do a single lick of damage won't really affect us too much. But it's only the first one. We'd still have to kind of like out DPS. So no, I'm just going to dump into melee, even for the poison. It's definitely worth it. My kitchen is good because our coffee maker could be the stand. Okay, best of luck with what you're doing, but eventually you will need all of the things. A ring light is also a really, really good idea. Or a lamp of some sort, just to cast some light on your face. Garage, uh, this is the frog's lair. Hopefully we'll actually get the frogs this time, which means we can get the dagger, which may save this run. Oh, thank the Lord. Thank the actual Lord. Okay, dagger number 48. We are definitely getting that. Rosary, can't afford it. Damn. Floss between the teeth is pretty good. Full moon, can't afford it. Yeah, can't afford it. Floss between the teeth, actually, gotta be said, is a pretty damn good one. We'll get it. Okay, so we got the two things we need. We can now start rolling for the bloodied mirror. Thanks, my friend. Also, my pronouns are they, them, she, her, because people say my name is a boy name, Luna. I kind of, I actually did assume the first, but I'm part of the problem. At least I'm aware I'm part of the problem. Uh, so, I don't see anything useful. We could probably try for the deer-headed man. See what happens. We've already got the crawling fossil. Okay, nothing. We are doing 30, da uh, sorry, three damage with a single swipe though, which is pretty damn good. Oh my God, yes! Everything is coming up roses for us now. Excellent, we just had to get rid of the reliance of guns, because they suck. They actually suck. They cost us all of our health right at the start of the game. And we're never going to use any of the perks that we got for it. Frog's Lair. Bleeding Mirror! We want the Bleeding Mirror! Let's try for that. Everything seems calm. On the ground, you find a corpse covered in crimson fragments. You collect them and leave the room. Damn it! I wanted the, I wanted the mirror, because we've got the dagger now to kind of interact with it. We'll keep on rolling for it, I think. What else we got? Crimson Dancers. I'm going to always take the Crimson Dancers, if that's an option. Uh, we got the two-headed Skull Horse. That's okay, we can two-shot him. By two-shot, I mean like two turns. Okay, still five fragments, that's fine. And he took a grenade right to the face because we had one. Can we heal? Can we heal? Yes, we can, actually. We can kind of like stave off the damage that we are taking. I'm going to shoot him. Just in case it's bugged out. Learn a fragment, you got a gunpowder. No, it's, it's definitely just worthless. You can only get like two modifiers after shooting enemies with the, with the gun. It doesn't do anything. It's just absolutely useless. Best of luck during your game. Thank you so much. Although I don't think we necessarily need luck. We're actually really good at this game at this point. So I'm going to try for the mirror. Damn. Okay. We just found a bunch more fragments. Fragments are now useless to us as well, by the way. So we got 56% skin. We definitely want this bleeding mirror. I'm going to keep on re-rolling for it. Seriously? More fragments? This is the third time in a row that we have rolled the, the best case scenario for that room. And it's the one we just don't want. Oh, we could, fa we could get the living guts and reduce everybody's HP with this one, if we're lucky. What the hell? 60%. Okay, we're probably going to do some boss fights now. We've only got 4 HP, which is just revolting. Okay, High Priest of the False God Cult here. I don't fancy our chances to survive this. Let's talk with him. Do you have any idea what you're doing? All this could be irreversible if you don't stop. Now it's up to me to prevent it from happening. 
Right. Don't know what the hell she's talking about, but I think we're, we should maybe dump into Nightshade. We're probably not going to get the deer. Let's be completely real. And I don't think we have any health. No, we do not. Damn. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, silly dino. You have, a, you have a great nap. Okay, we did five and six. Okay, we could four-shot her. Sharpens its blade. That's not good. We probably want to defend ourselves, right? While also attacking with the fossil. It's about to strike the lethal hit. What do you mean strike the lethal hit? I just defend it. You taking the piss? This is garbage luck. I pity you. Okay, we're dead. Right, I see. Okay. She took damage from the grenade. That's funny. All right, that character absolutely sucks. We didn't get any unique dialogue either for playing as that character. Do you want anything? I don't know. Can I afford anything? Oh, I probably can, actually. We can get uh, both of the red rooms. I think we might want to save up for a mysterious girl, though, right? It may appear at the end of the second area. We're pretty close, actually, to getting everything that we need. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. I'm, I am get. I'm get, mm, I'm gonna choose. Mm. I'm gonna choose Root again. I'm gonna choose Root again, even though her mechanic is absolutely broken and it doesn't work. We're not gonna play on easier either. Even if I get frustrated. All right. So level two. We don't want to go there. Probably want to maybe meet the mysterious girl and farm the hooker for some shards if we can. Yes, the hooker. Right. Excellent. We're going to rush to the next area, and then we're just going to try and uh, talk to everybody if we can. Okay, so this is ammo right here. I think this all costs... All of this costs health. The kind of, like, widgets that we get for shooting somebody with a perfect shot. So I don't think we bother, right? Okay. We can get more shards. I think we try for the sacrificial lamb. Uh, we got Nadine, which is actually okay. All right, the gun still does okay damage. We can still kind of use it to cheese through everything right at the beginning. We've got nine fragments. That's pretty good. We've got blood and bile. Oh. Oh, plus max HP. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Increase the maximum ammo of your ranged weapon. Yuck. Increase the damage of your ranged weapon. Yuck. Increase the accuracy of your ranged weapon. Yuck. We're going for the max HP. We're just going to get more max HP right at the start. I'm not, I'm not worried about it anymore. <laughs> If we can get the widgets, that's fine. It's like three free experience, but... Sorry, hearts, not experience. Okay, hanged man, sacrificial lamb, followers meeting. Probably want to go to the sacrificial lamb if we can actually find it, but we're probably not going to get it. We got Nadine instead. Good, we're going to get the next widget here. Enemy defeated. You in eight fragments, and we also killed him with the exact amount. Let's go for the max HP again. Maybe we can get the guts. We can kind of, like, beat all of the enemies through attrition. Okay, we got N Nadine and the Sacrificial Lamb here. Deals with the Long Guild Fish and the Cult Followers Meeting. Ah, uh, these are not amazing. Gotta be said, a lot of these are not actually amazing skills. I'm gonna go for the Sacrificial Lamb again if we can. Good, at the center of the room, a lamb rests. I'm gonna kill him and eat him for the extra heart. Because even though we lose an HP, we're gonna probably find enough healing stuff to get all of our HP up to maximum regardless. Maybe we could just get lucky. We could probably go into the frog's lair as well. Just get some nice... Let's start specializing into melee. Oh, we got the doorman here. How much health has he got? He's got seven. We can't out-DPS him. Unless we got like a... No, we can't. We can't out-DPS him. Let's go ahead, use the blood and bile. Just get a couple of permanent health packs and we'll try and run. Because he's, he's worthless. He doesn't do anything for us if we can't out-DPS him. He just caused us to take a damage. He's actually at our detriment right now. The doormat is worthless. That is such a worthless skill. That would be the last thing that I would purchase. I would buy the... What is it? I would buy the crucifix before I would buy that goddamn... Ugh! Doormat sucks. Okay, we can get my ammo. Not really interested, though. Sacrificial lamb again, and we've got Esther and the long guild fish. Not really interested, because it may spring out the doormat again. Oh, great. We've got the lamb again. Let's do the poison thing. We'll get lots and lots of health and we'll try for guts later. I think I think this might actually be a bit of a cheese. Just HP and guts. Okay, this is frogs. We could probably try for frogs. Let's try for frogs. See what happens. We got the knives. Okay, we'll see if we can escape. 
Ray Cohen, what gives the doorman... What gives the doorman you if you kill it? He's useless. He gives you about 50 shards if you can out-DPS him, but you've got three turns to out-DPS him. Otherwise, you've probably wasted a lot of ammunition because, uh, let's face it, at the start of the game, that is where the DPS comes from, is the consumable ammunition. We could face Mary here. We could farm for shards, or we could just try for the Crimson Dancers up top here, which I am going to do. I'm always going to try for... Hey! Nice! Who do we have here? Oh, it's you. Do you like my painting? We've seen this dialogue. We can skip through. Max HP plus one, you'll restore two HP. That's nice. Gambling, next time you choose this upgrade, it will increase melee weapon damage by one, range weapon damage by two. Meh. Oasis, full HP recovery. Well, I mean, like, we don't really care about HP generation necessarily. I'm going to try for gambling. Because we always go for them anyway. We, we always go for the sisters. Okay, we've got the frog's lair here. We'll go for the frog's lair, if we can roll it. Yes, we rolled frog's lair, great. Uh, we've got shards, don't worry. Don't worry, froggy woggies. Gun and torch, emergency dagger, it's pretty good. Cult necklace. Probably emergency dagger, right? If we miss, we attack a game with the... I'm going for emergency dagger. Oh, we just can't afford that and the necklace. We don't want the gun torch. It's a waste of shards and it it's a gun, so we're not gonna use it anyway. Now we could probably actually reload the weapon if we Actually we'll go for reload. We'll see if this works, because I know that the game just flat out refuses to give you modules after a, a certain area. Okay, we got the hallway. Maybe this is where we can no longer farm for little bits and pieces. We've got the frog's lair, we just went there. Actually, no, we didn't just go here. We went to the last area's frog legs. Uh frogs. Frog's Lair. Let's go for the the dancers. Hopefully we'll... Ah, oh, we just got the Priestess of the God Helt. Okay. Well, let's go ahead, slash him three times, and then we will, after that, straight away, try for the gun. I think that's going to be the way. Two slash. She healed. That's nice of her. I don't care. She attacks. We'll slash. Hopefully she doesn't heal. Okay, if we miss this, we may die. Let's try not to miss it. 75. Oh, 75%. We still landed that shot. Enemy defeated. We got eight fragments and we also got a golden bullet, which is pretty nice. Enemy HP precisely reduced to zero. Choose a mutation. We're going for HP. The rest of them suck. The rest of them absolutely suck ass. We're not going to worry about it too much. Enemy HP increased. That is absolutely fine. So we can farm for shards here. We could go for rugs. Not interested in rugs necessarily because we don't have the lighter, so he can't give us anything. Maybe we are psychopathic. Maybe we are actually a psychopath. Okay, let's go ahead and face Mary. Good. So we've got two ammo left. We could slash her twice and then shoot her twice. I don't know if we've got any more ammo. Oh, we've got more ammo actually. In fact, if she doesn't heal, we could use the golden bullet. Let's go ahead and talk to her. No, we're not that far yet. Uh, and then we start shooting her. We'll start gunning her down in cold blood. Because we don't want her to have a turn. Okay, so we've done exactly all of the damage we need to take out her health. Yes, perfect. Okay, so it did just bug out and it refused to give us anything more. We have so much health right now. We just need a med kit or something like that. Okay, frog's lair down there. Probably need to farm up some more shards. So maybe we... Tr maybe we'll try for the fish. Now, this is Esther. Esther is not necessarily who we want to be fighting. Esther is waiting. Okay. Esther is charging a devastating attack. Oh, no. Esther attacks. That's fine. What does this do? No reduction supply. Okay. Wonderful. So, let's go ahead and reload this gun, because we're probably reaching the end of life for the pistol. Esther is waiting. Why is she waiting? Okay, I've gunned her down in cold blood. I also did all of the... Yeah, precisely resist to zero. Now we've got zero... No, we've we've got more HP. We've got so much HP right now. Sorry, I'm stumbling over my words. All right, we've got the hanged man. We've got ammo. If we can't roll for shards, we might actually just want to go for ammo, I think. Hopefully we don't get the hanged man. Damn it! This guy sucks. Okay. We're, we don't want a cigarette, so I'm just leaving. <laughs> All right. Enjoy yourself, buddy. Oh, here we go. Boss fight. Great. With no medication. The corpses of those you've killed. Okay, so we could probably start by using the nightshade. That would be a really, really good beginning, which buffs our damage up to three. So let's start slashing away at this guy. 
Devastating attack? No, we'll defend against that. I think that best case scenario, we'll end up with one HP by the end of this. It does look to be the case, doesn't it? Yeah, this is not good. A devastating attack. Let's go ahead and pray to the goddess. And he attacks for one. We want to slash with the knife. Hopefully he doesn't heal. Good. We want to use a gun against him. Bang. So now we have exactly reduced his health to zero. And we should get another health. Bit. We need so much health, by the way. The hallway is finally free. And we are good to go through. Excellent. Okay, we can now talk with enemies because we have left the hallway. God knows why. Red Room. Okay, face the son of the skinless. Never heard of it. We can meet the translator, find every type of fragment. I think this is a rare room. I think this is a really, really rare room because this is the first time we've actually seen it. We've unlocked it for both areas. We've also got the elevator, so we could probably meet the deer-headed man. Maybe. I think maybe we want to try for the crawling fossil because he's pretty... Uh, let's try for the fish, actually. We really need health. Uh, that's not good. Leg hold traps. We're actually going to try and escape the leg hold traps. Oh, they attack. Righto. Okay, let's try and escape again. Oh, we... Pff, oh my god. I can't believe this. I actually can't believe this. We are probably going to be killed by an inanimate object. No, we actually got away. Good. So we've got one HP. That's awful. We could probably try to observe the bleeding mirror. I don't know if that's actually going to take... Oh, we could try for the living guts here. But it's risky. It's very risky. I'm going to go and try and roll for the bleeding mirror. Oh, no, we don't have the dagger yet, so we can't do that either. Right, so we could... <sighs> face Trish, meet the cowboy. We've got one HP. We're in a really bad spot here. Okay, Nadine is poison happy. Not good. We'll try and talk with her. Take a sip from this little bottle. It won't hurt you, I assure you. Your death is only a good thing for everyone. Hee <laughs> hee. She gives the same dialogue, no matter who you are, then. Okay, we've got a... What? what? Where did we get a medkit from? Perfect. Okay, so we could shoot her... We could slash her. She'll poison us. Good. And now we shoot her twice. She's waiting. We still take poison damage, which is annoying. I think we've got an antidote, don't we? No, we've got cigarettes. The opposite. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, that should give us another... HP. Okay, so it did actually just bug out the first time we played this. That's good. That is really, really good. I actually love that. I love that it's, it's just a broken mechanic. Not broken as in good. Broken as in, like, it doesn't function sometimes. We can try for the deer-headed man. Or we can face the crawling fossil and get ourselves a companion. Ah, we got the deer-headed man. Great. Root, you here too. We were interrupted, remember? We have unfinished business. Let's meet at the end for a fight to the death. Okay. Very well. See you at the end of this area. Okay. Bye-bye. 38% skin. Okay. We've got the garage, and we've increased our max HP. Jesus, look at our health pool. <laughs> it's actually pretty insane. So, we can't, still can't do the bleeding mirror. We don't want to risk facing those leg hold traps. They actually suck ass. We could probably try for the garden. Rugs is not amazing. But he's probably the best case scenario for what we're looking at now. We got cigarettes. Worthless. Uh, enemy HP just increased. We also have lots and lots of poison damage against us. I think we try for the living guts or face Nadine or find an antidote because then we can just flat out get rid of the poison. Guts! Yes! Okay. Our HP will be halved and enemies will have one third fewer health. That is perfect. We want to do that again, I think. We, we want to do that another time if we can. Because then we can cream everyone. Do we dare? I'm daring. Ah, we did find an antidote though, which is going to uh, save us four HP. Perfect. We'll use that in the next fight. And we also unlock the room scene in a dream. Rugs is here, Esther's here, Frog's lair. I want to try for the Frog's lair, to be quite honest. We don't really want to fight Esther, but we're going to anyway, apparently. Good to know. Let's go ahead and use that antidote. Oh, we've got two antidotes, perfect. And now I think we will slash and then shoot twice. She's waiting. Good. So we've got like two free shots each round because if we kill him on the final shot, we still get an additional reload, which is very, very good. Do we want to try for more guts? Find the frogs, Leah. I'm going to try for the frogs. We really need a better... 
Melee weapon. Okay, this isn't amazing. Uh, gun does two damage. One, two, three. So that's going to be three shots and a slash. We're probably going to want to use a nightshade of something. Yeah, well, we'll use a nightshade. Let's start slashing them up. I don't know how many times we can, like, do this before he gets a little salty and runs away. Oh, there he goes. Three times we can do that before he gets salty and runs away. Good to know. Write that down. We can face Nadine, find the living guts again. I think we do it. I think we try for the living guts again. No, we got Nadine, unfortunately. Oh, perfect. She's only got four HP. She poisoned us, though, first turn, which is really annoying. We did get an additional HP bar, however. Okay, good. We're always going to go for HP. It's the only skill that doesn't suck. I know we're kind of, like, specializing into guns now, but... I, I, I just don't want to put anything into the guns itself. They, they suck so bad. Meet the deer-headed man. Face the crawling fossil. I think we want the crawling fossil as a companion because it's still going to be plus one. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We'll shoot it, which is fine. We won't recover this... We won't recover that HP. We'll slash him again. We'll take another poison damage. But if we talk to this guy, we now have a companion. Perfect. Who may heal us. Unlikely, though. Really unlikely. 52% skin. Just unlock the basement, which is awesome. This is the no skin man. Probably don't want to do that one just yet. There's Trish and the cowboy. Here's living guts. I'm actually going to go for the living guts again. Oh, okay. We found an antidote. Which is fine, I suppose. We are poisoned, so it's... It's going to save us a little bit. Not a lot, but it's going to save us a little bit. We could face the son of the skinless. We could try for the frog's... I'm trying for the frog's lair. Oh, perfect! That was good timing. Okay, so we want dagger number 48 because it's awesome. And we also want a couple of other things. So we've only got 79, so we could probably get this and the rosary. Or we could get the full moon and possibly even... Lost Between the Teeth is pretty cheap. But it's not cheap enough. It's really not cheap enough. Dagger number 48. We'll still try for the... What's my dingle? What's it called? The... The mirror. The bloodied mirror. And I also think that perhaps the rosary is... Ah, oh, we can't afford it. Okay. Okay, we're going to have to get Floss Between the Teeth, which is still an additional one damage per turn, as well as the companion we have. Okay, 56%. Skin. Try for, we could try for the living guts. Oh, bleeding mirror. Please, bleeding mirror, please. Yes! In the center of the room floats the bleeding mirror. You can't look away. So we can break the mirror now because we have the dagger. We just bought that. You strike the mirror, shattering it into a thousand pieces. The goddess notices your gesture and rewards you with a gift. Ooh. Chance that the enemy will ask to be spared when the HP is low. Taking this upgrade multiple times increases the chance. Okay. Restore 1 HP after every battle. We are pretty close to the end. I don't think that's necessary. And also, first damage you take in a battle is reduced by 1. Again, that's worthless. So I think that maybe we just go for Intimidation. We've got 58% skin. We're probably going to have to fight the, the boss in the next one, right? So maybe we could try for the Crimson Dancers. Maybe we could get ourselves a damage buff. No, we got the two-headed Skull Horse, unfortunately. That's fine. So now we can't do uneven damage. So let's just go ahead and attack. Oh, we can actually, and we'll get an additional health. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Damn it. Okay. It took a damage from the skill that we had, and unfortunately we couldn't farm any HP off of him. We really, really need HP, by the way. We really, really need to get some kind of med pack. Ah, there's nothing. Okay. Right, so we are dead here, dead in the water. We just don't have enough. Yeah, we've got gunpowder, actually. And we've got an antidote, so we can save ourselves a little bit. What is our chances of escaping? What if we just smoke both of our cigarettes? We could probably get away at a 15% chance, but I don't really want to try. We aren't going to be able to do this with the ammo that we have, as well as the damage just being so goddamn low. I think we're just trying to escape. Failed. Okay. We've been cursed. That's fine. That's temporary. We can try and escape. We got away! Hey, nice. Wow. I don't believe it. Oh, this is the deer, right? At last, the showdown we've been waiting for. Let's see what you're made of. I'm made of meat! Holy hell, he's got a lot of weaponry. Good grief. Okay, so we have, we can remove all negative statuses and gain an HP with this antidote. 
I'm going to use one now, just in case he hits like a truck. Let's try and speak with him. A hanging tree. You were hanging from the noose right before we ended up here. This isn't our world. Is there a world for us? Again, mental health. Okay, so this does three damage. This does two damage. Let's just start attacking him with our melee, and we'll also use the companion. He inflicted poison on us. That's absolutely fine. We're going to use an antidote immediately. And let's go ahead and use the dagger again. He's got one... Got one little area of health now. We're doing four damage per attack. We can tank this, I think. And we'll attack him with this companion right here. He inflicted bleeding. That's absolutely fine. He took damage from the grenade. Again, that's pretty funny. We've got like a kamikaze bomber, aren't we? I don't think we bother trying to chance it for health because it's just not really worth it. You penis! Oh, what a dick. He just healed all of that health bar that we were working towards. Maybe we do try for a heal. I'm not feeling lucky, actually. We'll just we'll just keep on wailing away at his face. Whoa, three attack! Good grief! Okay, hopefully he doesn't do that again. He hit a man and flicks poison four on you. Excellent! Okay, we've won this, and I just farmed him. <laughs> I just farmed him for more skills. Now, tell me who hides behind that mask. <laughs> You've never seen my true face. And for that, you never will. We can't go beyond this moment. So the world will cease to exist now. You, you're fading. I, I am too. Everything is fading. Okay, so her adventure ends. Her ma so we're probably going to be booted off to the menu now at this point, right? There's not going to be any continuation? Yeah. Okay, so that is so meta. When this character completes her intended objective, the game world ceases to exist because there's no more challenge. There's no more game to play. Oh, oh, we can listen to a phone call, meet the headless man, or face the children of the root. Face the children of root. Is that going to be like personal backstory? Meet the headless man, listen to the phone call. I'm going to try for the Headless Man. Oh dear. Please help me. I'm terrified of her. The woman with snake eyes. New enemy unlocked. The woman with snake eyes can appear at any time replacing regular enemies. Why is there a 1% chance to get an unexpected event from this? Okay, we'll face the children of Root. Oh no. Oh no. We'll speak with them. Clank, clank. Eliminate. Eliminate Root. Oh! I got a theory. I got a theory. I got a theory. I got a theory. I think Root may have been some kind of engineer of some sort. And the guy with the deer head may have actually been a cryptid who was more attracted to the natural side of Earth than science. So Root would be the scientific side, which is why she loves her guns so much. Okay, we've almost found lots and lots of skin, by the way. This is the Headless Man. Phone call, Children of the Root. Why are we just rolling these over and over again? What is this? Ring, ring! Hello? I have three questions for you. Is it possible to feel nostalgic for an era you haven't lived in? Is it possible to fall in love with someone you've only seen in dreams? Yes. And finally, do you like gummy bears? Yes. Think carefully before answering. You win snake scales times two. We're at 70% skin, by the way. Headless man, children of the root, phone call. I'm doing the phone call again. Maybe we can get some more snake skins. Ring, ring, hello. I was thinking about the day we spent together last year, and a phrase echoed in my mind. Beautiful memories never die. I wonder if that's true. You in snake scales. What the hell is going on here? All right, 72% skin. I'm going after the phone call again. Ring, ring, hello. I was thinking about the day. Okay, we've seen this one. 
We've got lots of snake scales, apparently. Can we just farm this until we get to the end? Meet the headless man? Okay, let's meet the headless man again, see what he's up to. I'm scared, she haunts me in my dreams. Oh, that sucks. Do we just have to do this like over and over again? I feel like the children of Root is gonna be a really, really bad one. She haunts me in my dreams. We only have two HP, by the way, so I'm not entirely sure if... Oh, actually, let's see if we've actually got anything. Increases the percentage obtained in order to find the skin by four. Oh! Oh, I see how this functions. Gotcha! 4, 8, 12, 16, uh, 20, 24. 24. Yeah, we got enough. Okay, so let's go ahead and face the children, and we'll use all of these scales after we talk to them again. Clank, clank, eliminate, eliminate root. Right. I'm using the snake scales. And now we run. Okay, good. We found skin. I can one hit her, by the way. I've got a dagger that does four damage. Who is this? You, you look like me, but you're not me. You have something that belongs to me. Give it back. Is it the skin? Is it skin? Does she have the skin? Is that what I'm taking? Oh no, we are so boned. We have no health here. Your bag is empty. Oh, we are so boned. We are so goddamn boned. Damage four though, pretty good. Okay, uh, we sh Meadow sacrifices one HP to summon mutated mosquitoes. Each mosquito absorbs the next damage that Meadow would receive. That's two. Poison takes effect, you suffer one damage. We're on borrowed time, unfortunately. Let's try for an HP, I think, from this guy right here. Healing attempt failed. Okay, we're dead. We actually did. Plead for mercy. Sure. She's not going to give us mercy. It's five. I pity you. Yep, there we go. Right. The poison takes effect. You suffer one damage. We're, I'm already dead. Stop dealing damage. Okay, so... She has her own story, right? She has her own story. She actually has her own story. We've got everything except for the secret character as well. Okie dokie. Let's go in. I'm pretty much done with the challenge of the fights at this point. Hey friend, I'm back. I didn't nap. I made my first gaming video. Nice. Hope it was good. What was the gaming video on? I think we go back for Root again, but we kind of go in easy mode. No faith. No faith whatsoever. This character sucks. This character sucks right at the start, but you can really farm lots and lots and lots of HP. Oh. We can face the son of the skinless straight away. Ugh, everything seems calm. On the ground, you find a corpse covered in fragments. You collect them and leave the room. What, seriously? You just gave me the worst outcome for that room. The lowest roll. Oh, God damn it. Okay, we could fight Nadine. We could get some cigarettes. I'm gonna fight Nadine if I can. Good. Let's slash her once, and while she's waiting, let's go ahead and shoot her. Bang, right in the chest. And we should get some HP right there. Perfect. Good. Okay, 6%. It doesn't really matter with this character about the skinless man, it seems. So, face rugs, find cigarettes. No. No. We could uh, find the sacrificial lamb again. I'm going to be... F I think I'm just going to farm lots and lots of health regen items, I think. Bed Wars, it's a game on Roblox because I didn't feel like pulling my computer out so I edited it and played it on my iPad. Nice! Ingenuitive. Okay, new room, kitchen. Great. So, we've got Trish, the hanged man here. Yucky. Probably actually need to do the ammo one. Uh, fine, we'll do the ammo one. Hopefully we don't get the hanged man. Great. Okay, that was really lucky. We got more ammo. I feel like the rolls for the ammo is increased with this character. Somehow. We can meet a girl similar to us in this one. 9% maybe? Meet the hangman, find ammo. I'm gonna try it. Maybe there's the off chance that we'll actually find a girl like ourselves. Everything seems calm. Okay, we found some cigarettes. We didn't get the roll, unfortunately. Skin is basically a superfluous stat at this point. Hanged man, meet a mysterious girl. Follow the cult. I'm gonna farm money. 
We probably do actually want to specialize into the melee, I would say. All right, she attacked us. It didn't really do any good. Okay, good. It's copyright free music because I can use my voice in videos because I'm not comfortable yet. You'll get comfortable. It, you'll get comfortable. It happens. All creators need to learn how to use their voice when it comes to doing everything. And the more you use your voice, the better it sounds. Uh, we could face Mary, face sharp knives, go to the frog's lair. Probably just go straight to the frog's lair, right? Nope, we got knives. That's unlucky. Let's try and escape. We've never failed an escape with the knives. It's actually been quite funny. Okay, so long guild fish. Crimson Dancers, that's a pretty good one. I'm going for the Crimson Dancers. Hey, Yinsen, i got to leave stream. Have an amazing day, and please try to rem remember my stream tomorrow. Leave a comment on any of my videos, and I'll remember it. You have a great day, Tail. Okay, this guy only has 4 HP. Let's go ahead and farm him. Slash that one. Just regenerated one health. That's annoying. Okay, attacks us. That's fine. We gun him down, and then we get some nice, delicious mutations. Lots of HP right there. We could actually just try... No, it costs HP. Maybe we do want to balance into guns. I'm going to try for the Crimson Dancers. What's the worst? We got the we got the best. Nice. Okay, that's the guitar-shaped puddle. Don't know what the hell they're talking about. Increase the damage of melee weapon, but you reduce its accuracy by 10. No, thank you. Chance that the enemy will ask to be spared when HP is down. That's pretty good. First damage you take in battle is reduced by one. I'm taking this one. Because we want to kill everyone we come across. Okay, 20% skin already is actually not amazing considering what we've accomplished. I'm going to go for the Crimson Dancers again. Maybe we can get... Nope, we didn't get anything. But we are going to try for the kill on this one. We're going to pay a couple of hearts. Oops. We're going to pay a couple of hearts, and we're going to see if we can't get some damage increase on the gun. It does seem pretty good. It seems... It takes ammo, which is annoying, but it, it does seem pretty good. So this one increases the accuracy. We'll do accuracy and then I think we'll do damage. I think we'll fight everyone that we possibly can. And we'll go for the weakest ones that we possibly can to farm them. Place Esther, Long Guild Fish, not really interested. Frog's Lair, a little bit interested in the Frog's Lair. Crimson Dancers, I'm going for the Frog's Lair. We got the Frog's Lair, nice. We are frogs, do you have any food for us? I do actually, I've got these bits of glass and shards. Gun and Torch, I'm going to get the upgrade for the gun, and also, I'm going to get Reload. I don't think we should be getting anything else. I think I think this is actually pretty good. I think, I think we've got a pretty good basis if we can just kind of farm up lots and lots of ammunition. Okay, this is Rugs, Mary, and a Mysterious Girl, and also Long Guild Fish. Place a Doorman as well. I'm not sure if we could necessarily do that with what we've got. I'm going to try for the Mysterious Girl. Good, we've got the hooker. Let's mug her. Let's take all of her shards for the next area. We're not going back to the frogs. I don't think that's necessary. We can face the son of the skinless. Meet the translator, maybe? Ah, uh, Crimson Dancer's here. Very nice. Meet a mysterious girl. Oh, Crimson Dancer's or translator. I'm going for translator. We'll try for the son of the skinless. Okay. It seems like he is immortal. Let's go ahead and flee. We actually did it. That's pretty crazy. My friend, I'm going to try and sleep because I didn't get sleep last night. You have a great sleep, silly dino. Okay, what are we looking at now? Face Mary, Esther, or follower of the cult god. I think Mary. I think we go for Mary. And if we get lucky, we get the hooker. Awesome. We got some more fragments. That'll be good for the next area. Wonderful. Ah, hello there. Where am I? Who are you? I was right under the big tree in front of the deer-headed man. Answer me. What am I doing here? That is us. Emerging from another dimension. Oh, it's not us, actually. So she must have been there when we were kind of being hung, right? Okay, she's actually no joke, by the way. We've got two golden bullets. I'm actually going to use both of them because we need to. Nightshade, not necessarily going to be useful unless we've got another one. No, it's not. I'm going to have to use the blood and bile twice. We could probably try run. She's got so much health. 8% success. No, it's not going to happen. Damn still plan. Have fun on live. I'll watch it later. Nice. Okay. Uh, pray to the goddess. Not going to help. Gun and torch reload. Yeah, I'm still playing this. We've got half the lore so far, and we've got a different character as well that we're playing. This is a demo. I can't believe it. It's, I literally cannot believe that this is still a demo. We're probably going to have to start gunning her down, unfortunately, because we don't really... 
We could try and out DPS her with a knife, but it's not really going to do a huge amount. Okay, she did one damage. That's okay. That's probably what we're going to have to do as well. One HP to increase her attack. That's bad. That's really bad. Gonna have to use Nightshade now. Conserve our ammo right up until the end. She just healed. An uneven amount. An even amount, sorry. No, uneven. We're gonna have to take that damage and we're gonna pray to the goddess for this next one. If she doesn't heal in the next three turns, we are in a really, really good place. To kind of farm her for some, some goodies. Okay, we're still taking lots of damage. We're going to pray. She doesn't attack, that's fine. I'm gonna slash her up. Hopefully she doesn't heal. Good. She didn't. Let's go ahead. Oh! She just robbed us of a perfect kill. We missed! Are you serious? Oh, no, we've got another chance. Perfect. Although she's gonna do lots of damage now. She inflicted poison on us. That's not amazing. Let's gun her down. Bang! Okay, perfect kill. That is going to allow us to increase the damage of our gun, hopefully. We also got a med kit for that, which is just fantastic. Okay, we're in the next area. We sped through this pretty quickly, actually. The, the beginning areas, I think. We can now talk, which is very cool. So, steers, main entrance. Make deals with the fish, no. Meet the deer-headed man. We probably want to roll for the deer-headed man, right? Okay, we're the, we got the crawling fossil, which is awesome. I'm going to shoot it once. It's going to attack and try and take my little dits. And then I'm going to slash it. It's going to wait. And now we are going to recruit it. Okay, we're almost dead as well. We're going to have to actually go into our inventory and take the med kit. Bit of a waste, but it is what it is. Uh, let's talk to him. Okay, good. And now he is our companion. We can tell him what to do after every turn. That's still plus one damage. Elevator. Face crawling fossil. Meet the deer-headed man. We definitely want to meet the deer-headed man, don't we? And we also want to meet the living guts. Probably before we start getting into the combat. Nice! Okay, definitely accepting the your proposal, my dude. Okay, 36% skin. Completely useless now. So I meet the cowboy. Not really relevant anymore. We got the deer. Good. Excellent. So, now... Maybe we're kind of like the... Wife to that deer. Maybe we were promised to that deer in exchange for something. Like drugs or something? I don't know. He's also wearing one of those varsity jackets. Kind of hard to tell what he what he wants. Or maybe we're like a child or something like that. We could face rugs, face Trish. Observe the bleeding mirror. Can't do that yet because we don't have the dagger. So let's roll for the ammo. Good. We got ammo. Pretty sure it increases the chances of us getting the ammo. We have yet to fail one of those. Enemy HP increase, that's fine. Face rugs, no. Trish, no. Crawling fossil, deer-headed man. I'm gonna face it. I think the crawling fossil would be really handy. Oh. We just recovered health that we didn't want. All right, garage, fine. Esther could probably go for the frog's lair at this point. Or worst case scenario, we go for, oh, perfect. Okay, so what can we get that buffs the guns? We can't afford dagger number 48, which is really, really sad. In turn, you pray to the goddess, deal damage to the enemy equal to your melee weapon. Kind of useless. When you're attacked, deal one damage back. That's okay. When you're about to die, you come back to life with half of your HP. That could be really handy, actually. Let's go ahead and get that. Let's, let's get a resurrection. I think that's going to be the one. Perfect. So we've got 44% skin. Again, useless. We got an additional HP. We could probably try for the guts again if we want. Try for the Crimson Dancers. The Skull Horse is okay. It's an okay kill. It's a pretty easy kill. Okay, we got one ammo left in this bad boy. And I'm going to try heal. It failed. Good, because we have full HP. He stole. He apparently stole something. We want to shoot this thing dead so we get some more HP, don't we? I'm going to use that ammo right there. And let's shoot him. Bang! Got him. Enemy defeated! Ooh, nice. 13 fragments. One loader fragment and gunpowder. That's going to be awesome. We definitely want to kind of like farm up those skull horses, right? Man entrance, bleeding mirror, no. Cowboy, no. Let's farm up the skull horses because if we can get lots and lots of gunpowder, we're in a really, really good place. Uh, yep, we've seen this one as well. This dialogue. Gambling! No. Jackpot! No. Predators and praise. All of these is really bad for us. I'm going to go for gambling. Because if we can get that one again, 
it'll increase our range damage by two, which would put us in a really, really good place. Observe the bleeding mirror. I'm going to go ahead and go into the red room in this instance right here. So we got the son of the skinless. I didn't want this actually. I actually wanted to meet the translator. Doesn't seem like he really gives a hoot, to be quite honest. Base 19, meet the living guts. We could probably try for the living guts again, which I'm going to do. I'm going to try for the living guts again. What do we get? We got an antidote. Okay, that's going to be kind of handy in the very near future, I think. Memories become more vivid. Great. Crawling fossil, deer-headed man. Living guts over here. Living guts. Let's try for the living guts one more time. Oh, we got another antidote. Okay, well, it's, it's at least another, like, one HP that we can just use on command. Enemy HP increases. That's bad. We're living guts again. I'm trying for the living guts. <laughs> ah, we got Nadine the snake, unfortunately. She's going to poison us with her first turn. Actually, let's go ahead. We'll knife her. We'll use our companion to punch. And she poisons us, which is fine, because we can use the antidote next time we actually have to take damage. And now let's shoot her. And we should get a little modifier, shouldn't we? That we can choose. Never mind. We can't pick anymore. We literally cannot pick any more modifiers. That sucks. The game's broken again. Okay. So this is probably a write-off run. We could try for the frog's lair, but we don't have enough items to justify it. Let's try for the translator. Okay, it's calm again. We found fragments. Useless to us. We're pretty close to unlo un unlocking that other secret character from the Lunar Store. It's pretty cool. Frog's Lair, no thank you. Bleeding Mirror, no thank you. I'll, I'll, get, just, I'll just go for the ammo, I suppose. Good. We got some ammo. Man, everything's really, really calm. Oh, hello there. I think this is the Angel. Yep, Exterminating Angel. We don't have anywhere near enough DPS. I'll talk to him. And I saw a great white seat and him who was seated on it. Before whose face the earth and the heaven were in flight and there was no place for them. Oh, that's not... Amazing. So we don't have any... Uh, we don't have any running away abilities, do we? So we're going to have to use the gunpowder. And maybe then we're going to have to use... Probably not ammo. Probably going to have to use the gun for this whole fight. It only does three damage, which is not amazing. We've been cursed, which is fine. And we're also poisoned, which is probably also fine. Terminating angel attacks for zero damage. Okay, let's get... Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to slash with the goddamn knife. It's so worthless. Poison takes effect. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the antidote because it should get rid of Cursed. And I think he's about to do a really, really big attack. Go ahead and shoot him. And we'll punch him. No, we won't. We'll miss. Okay, here's the devastating attack that I was expecting. We'll pray to the goddess. So he only does one. And we'll get our companion to punch him in the face. Good. I think maybe we should stab him. And we'll get our companion to also do a punch. Oh, he healed everything back again. All right, back to the gun it is. Excellent. So now we should be able to farm him for a module. Yes, we got enough for that secret character, by the way. I we also got 62 skin. We're probably going to have to fight the deer now as well, which is not amazing. We have such bad DPS with this run. Open the bag. Uh... We've got a med kit, which is pretty handy. Probably use ammo. Ammo would be really handy. We pr oh, we really just need gunpowder, honestly. Okay, everything is useless. We can do three damage per turn. At best, we just had four poison inflicted on us. So since we actually have them, let's go ahead and use one of the antidotes in our bag. Because it's free. We'll go ahead and shoot him again, and then we'll use the attack. Charge is a devastating attack. It's a real shame. It's a real, real shame that the mechanic of root is so broken. It doesn't actually work. Okay, we're bleeding, which is fine. We just... Okay, we have no ammunition. Let's reload our gun. There we go. I love how they kind of, like, just wait for us to load our pistol as well, which... I don't know why anyone would... Oh, he just healed six. That's two turns that we just wasted. With his heals. Okay, good. He's still dealing damage. We still have that med kit, which is a bit of an ass kicker. All right, he inflicted poison on us. Probably perfect time to use the antidote as well as the med kit. Here we go. We've got four HP back. This is probably just going to set us over the edge of being able to kill him. All right, that's a devastating attack. We'll defend against this. And we'll get our little companion dude to do an attack. Okay, so as long... Oh, damn it! Ah! I jumped the gun a little bit. 
Ah, uh, never mind. It doesn't matter anyway. I was about to say, as long as he doesn't heal, we should be able to take him out in two turns, but he healed anyway, and also we completely whiffed actually attacking him. Okay, no ammo again. Let's go ahead and reload. We only got five more ammo before we resorted to our knife, which is not great. You hit a man and flicks poison. Don't hit. Okay, bang and bang. And we're probably just going to take him out with the knife next, right? Here we go. Done. Got him. So we're actually in a really bad spot now, unfortunately. So let's see if we can get some healing. Good to go. Face the children. No, we want to meet the headless man, I think. Uh, I'm scared. She haunts me in my dreams. Okay, so we can't re-trigger that. Gotcha. World is ending. We probably want to listen to the phone call unless, until we get enough skin, right? It's probably not going to be anything new. Right, we got two of them. That's eight skin. Probably need a few of them, honestly. We can get another two from this. That's going to be 16. Okay, we still need more. This next one's going to be 24. Yes, 24. Yes, 24. And we still need one more because we're too shy. We're, four, sorry, four shy. We will listen to the phone call. It's not going to be anything new. Okay, good. And now we need to go into the children fight, I think. And use all of these items right here. Good. Let's go ahead, use every single one of these snake scales for 100%. Good, hopefully they won't attack us. Excellent, they didn't. Uh, we're still in a pretty bad spot for this next character, unfortunately. Okay, knife sucks. We are very, very low on damage and ammo for this gun and torch. Maybe it's because we are getting the gun and torch combo. Maybe we we need to keep the base gun. Maybe that's what's happening. Maybe we're replacing it. Let's try and talk with them. You look like me, but you're not me. She only has 3 HP this time, though, which is kind of weird. I'm going to go ahead and use the knife. Miss. She's waiting. The poison takes its effect. Oh, poos. Do we have any antidotes left? No. Oh, no. That's actually probably going to be what kills us, to be quite honest. Go ahead and use the knife. And she's back. She's got lot. Whoa, she's missing an arm, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and glack her. And honestly, I think we might want to just start trying to heal with this. Good. Meadow sacrifices 1 HP to get a couple of mosquitoes. We are poisoned, unfortunately. I'm going to do some damage, and we probably want to chance it for a heal again. It didn't work. Uh, we've been attacked and are inflicted with bleeding. Okay, that's gone. Good. Let's try for a heal again. It failed. And we have not been killed. We still have that little item. That saved us a little bit. Meadow heals by 5 HP. Now she's got more HP than when she started the fight. That sucks ass. Oh my god, this is a terrible fight, honestly. When we get to the Lunar Store, I am going to see whether or not it's actually worth kind of continuing on with this game. Because at this point, we're kind of... We're in a bad spot. I think we've pretty much found all that we could realistically find from a demo of this game. Okay, gonna go ahead and just fight, I suppose. Uh... Can't give him 999,000 Crimson Fragments. I'm just going to go ahead and, uh... There we go. Okay, we're dead. Now let's see what this new character is going to unlock. And then I will call it. I think this is going to be the end of the game. Do you want anything? Yeah, I want to see the mysterious girl. May appear at the end of the second area. Oh, this is Gummy Bears. Right, okay. Her icon was Gummy Bears, so now we can choose an enemy. Now that I know how this works, are you ending the stream? I don't know. I kind of want to do one more run with her now that I know how her gun works. When you upgrade the gun, you lose the gun. That's the issue. That's what I was facing. So now that I actually know this, I'm going to see how it goes. And I really want to see the enemy at the end. I'm going to play on easy as well. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be way, way, way more items in here that we use, because it is a roguelite. Observe the cult followers meeting, useless. Make deals with the long guild fish, we don't have any money. Uh, we can find ammo. That's basically all we can do with this one. Oh, this is the first time we haven't just automatically picked it up. Crazy. Oh, it's open for more remnant 100% progress. We made zero progress last night. Um, every single world that we rolled in remnant last night, 
Big zero. Big L. Nothing was rolled. We got the butcher's fetish necklace four times in a row, which is absolutely revolting luck. Okay, so first of all, I want to increase the accuracy because we did just miss one shot and it cost us an HP. Now we've got less HP, but we know how to play the game. I don't think we're going to worry too much about the frogs now. We'll go for rugs because he's a bit of a pushover. Whoops, rugs takes aim. We probably could have actually just shot him straight up and then we would have had the module and we wouldn't have wasted the skin. Progression, oh no, that's bad. Hopefully we'll get more rugs. Face Mary. Uh, we'll go against Trish. We're probably going to get the ammo anyway. Oh, no, we got the hanged man. Uh, we don't care about him, honestly. He's not actually that useful. He only has some cigarettes. Apparently you can set seeds for the base game. No, you can't. Uh, whoever you told that is, is lying. You can't do that. You have to roll it over and over again. It's completely RNG generated unless you're literally downloading ideal maps off of the internet. There's no other way of doing it. I know this because I've spent hundreds and hundreds of hours playing this game, Remnant from the Ashes, and the one quality of life that you can use to alleviate exactly what you know is something called a save reader, where it reads the save file that you generate and it tells you kind of what worlds has rolled into that save file, and if you don't get what you want, you have to go back into the game, you have to re-roll that world and then you go back out you got to leave the game so that you can take your save file stick it in the save analyzer you see what you've got and there you go uh what could potentially be a three to ten hour hunt for a single ideal piece of gear then goes down to a two hour hunt for a single piece of gear potentially because some of them real rare especially like beetle carapace armor and stuff like that is you got to roll the same god roll map four separate times if you want to get the um the beetle carapace gear Seed set speedruns exist now, sure how? Oh, that's probably exactly how I was just um, telling you. They'd probably just download a set of maps and they use those. There's no other way of doing it. There's no like in-game way of kind of like editing RNG or anything like that. Cheat engine doesn't even work uh, for kind of like manipulating map values and stuff because the save file has already been set and it's encrypted. So you need to use the, the save file analyzer. So what you would have seen was speedrunners who basically just took the best maps that you could possibly roll from a website and they would have just been dragging and dropping those save files uh, onto their character save files so that they could play them real fast okay so frog's lair is here we can't afford anything necessarily i mean i wouldn't call that cheating what downloading maps for a video game for, for a, a randomly generated video game of course that's cheating that's why speedrunners are doing it because there's a set path the, the whole point of the game is that there's no set path uh, I'm going to go and chance it with Mary's room. Because we need money. We need money to get a couple of the items. Good, we got the hooker. Let's mug the hooker. Excellent. And now we've got 10% skin. The skin curse has intensified, which is not amazing. Esther isn't here. Useless. We could try for the translator, but I don't think we'll get him. We're going to try for the translator. Nope, we got the son of the skinless again, so we're going to try and run. Failed to escape. Son of the skinless is waiting. Yep, me too, buddy old pal. Okay, we got away that time. But yeah, I, I would highly recommend downloading Remnant from the Ashes and playing it for yourself because only with experience you'll see just how frustrating the RNG can actually be. Uh, especially when you're playing it on something like PlayStation 3, or no, PlayStation 4, because that's what I played it on first, and it was so frustrating. I spent, probably spent a good 200 hours beating that game. Not the story, but the, just getting all the items and stuff. Okay, we got Rugs here. He's a bit of a pushover. We can actually farm him for modules by slashing him once, and he takes aim because he's useless, and then we shoot him. Bang. Good. Okay, now we can increase the damage of this gun. I don't know what our accuracy is going to be like. It's currently pretty good, actually, so we probably just want to go into damage. We'll increase it by one. We lose out on a lot of HP, unfortunately, but we can always get more HP. This one had a pretty crap start, to be quite honest. <laughs> Not gonna lie. But we did kind of... We did learn. We learned how to do this. Okay, so after more thorough research, it looks like the average 100% time is 250 hours. Yep. Yep, that's about right. That's spot on. 
Yeah, yeah, don't research a game like this. Honestly, Remnant is not the kind of game you just research. You gotta actually play it, and then you'll see for yourself. You'll be able to gauge for yourself exactly what your skill cap is, so that you can then see how long it'll take you to get all of the items. Okay, we've got the Frog's Lair here. Lounge has Esther. We've got Trish here. We kind of want to try for the Frog's Lair. We've got enough money, and we could do with having some items. We've got the sharp knives. That's a crap roll. Failed to escape. That is also a crap roll. Oh, would you look at that? We're losing HP now because of this crap roll. Failed to escape. Nice. And... How about now? Okay, we got away. I can't wait for 84 streams of this remnant for 100%. I know, right? It's going to be rough. It's actually going to be rough. I'm actually thinking about, like, um, kind of doing it in advance where I kind of roll ideal worlds and then I know that there is progress being made. Like, that was a thought that had occurred to me yesterday about playing the remnant. But at the same time, I don't want to do that because it's completely outside of the spirit of the game in the first place. A randomly generated souls like does not come along. The any more than like once every 10 years. They just don't exist. Okay, we've got rugs here. We could probably farm him from for a little bit of gunplay. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. So he's got three HP. That is actually perfect for what we've got here. Bang! We have now, I think, outgrown rugs if we take the same perk. Okay, so the accuracy is now 80%. We could reduce it by 10 and get an additional point of damage, which would actually be pretty crazy. But then the next one we do is going to have to be health. And we now have bad accuracy on the gun. I think it's fine when going for 100%. I think it... it, it I wanted it to be kind of like just a, a long-term project. I realized when I was editing it that it was just not going to be realistic for me to be able to edit the entire series. But I think it's going to be a long-term project, much like Monster Hunter or even Remnant 2. I keep coming back to is awesome. Love Remnant 2 so much. We'll try for the frogs again. We got the frogs. Excellent. Okay. So, we don't want the hunter's knife. We don't want the gun and torch at all. We probably want the emergency dagger but we don't ever want to attack with our melee weapon now probably want the cult necklace and reload both of those are really really good i thought the gun and torch would be really really good but it's 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 actually crap with this character i think it's a good focus for the background yeah i fully agree i think it'll be something that i just kind of like tick away at as i'm um plugging away at these other like one and done spookers that i've done like happy game was really fun i really enjoy playing that all in one sitting i thought i would play all of this in one sitting i didn't realize just how big it is though uh, we haven't even been playing the actual no-skin character. Like, very consistent, but not necessarily, like, a huge focus. Yeah, definitely. It will be kind of like Lego talking, as uh, the Yogs cast used to. Well, mainly Sips and Shin. I, I don't know if you're familiar with those guys, but... Um, they boiled down third-point communication down to literally just Lego talking. So you can read a chat and play a video game very easily. No-skin man lives here. So does a medkit. Useless to us. Also, hanged man is in here. Also useless to us. We probably want to farm up a lot of ammo, though. Okay, we got Trish. We could probably slash her once. And then while she's waiting... Oh, nope, she attacked. Let's go ahead and do... Oh, we have no ammo for this. Let's go ahead and reload it, because we've got a bit of ammo. Got more cigarettes, actually. That's not amazing. All right, so now we do four damage with this bad boy. We're almost actually at the point where we can one-hit enemies with this gun, which is pretty crazy. Okay, let's go ahead and get the... I'm going to go ahead and get the ranged weapon upgrade again for 5 damage because I'm pretty sure now we can steamroll everyone in this area. Enemy HP just increased. That sucks. Okay, we'll start farming for ammo, even if it costs us a lot. Oh, would you look at that? We got a good roll. Okay, cyanide, death by poisoning. Why would we want that? Why would we want that? You could work up on some smaller game 100% cleanup as well. There are not many games to clean up on the channel. Honestly. Oh, come off it! All of these are one-hit kills on us. Knife, death by bleeding out, death by poisoning, or death by suffocation. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Suffocation. No breathing. Don't give a damn if I get my arm bleeding. I'm going for cyanide. Hehe. <laughs>
I'm just playing with you. Okay, fine. A truly unexpected event. Eat my ass, developer. I thought the noose was a hook. No, oh, that'd be a horrible way to go, wouldn't it? Like Phasmophobia's cleanup, if you haven't finished it already. I have never played it. I've got a couple of friends that I actually want to play it with. I want to clean up Demonologist first because it's the much scarier Phasmophobia. And I know that once we get through Demonologist, as soon as we do and we get into Phasmophobia, we there's no way in hell we're going to finish Demonologist. Phasmophobia is just so jank and funny. It's just so jank and funny. And I don't want uh, the people I'm playing Demonologist with to, to know just how jank and funny it is just yet. Until they understand the, the appreciation of the ghost hunting genre. Okay, we can face rugs, we can get more cigarettes, but again, that's not amazing to us, except for maybe farming up some some goodies. We try for the translator. I'm gonna try for the translator. We've got three health, that's not good. Yes, perfect! In the center of the room, you notice a strange scroll. Reading it grants you immense knowledge. Oh, okay, I thought it was literally a cipher. Uh, plus one range weapon damage. Your aim has greatly improved. Satisfied, you leave the room. Has it? Or has the damage gone up? Wait, what? Uh, uh, translate. Translator did not... Translate. Rugs won't piss off, honestly. Rugs, what are you doing with your life? He's got four HP. Uh, four... Oh, okay. We can one-hit him with this gun, but it actually won't give us anything. R uh, Rugs is now no longer best friend. Best friendship with Rugs is over. We got a cigarette though, that's okay. All right, what else are we dealing with? You try to cross the hallway, but something looms in the darkness and it's approaching. Uh, is it the burning guy? Yep. It, oh no, not the gun! Ah! I hate that. What have we got? We've got ammo, we've got cigarettes. Okay, we've got ammo and cigarettes. Great. Okay, well, that was a good shot actually. If Here's the thing, right? He took up two health, we have three HP. Next shot kills us, so if we land this next one, it actually kills him. Oh! Nice, that was like a 50-50. Oh, it's under the finished series in Discord. Which one? Phasmophobia. Yeah, it'll be a while before I actually get back to that one. I'll be doing like a completely new series on the Phasmophobia. Three Lunar Fragments. Earn a med kit. Those aren't like, uh, on the Discord, those are just the games I've already played. They're not like uh, finished finish series. That's not set in stone or anything like that. I could have sworn I've seen you play it, but I might be mixing it up with Demonologist. I, pl I played it once. I played it once. It was ages ago, though. Like, uh, last December? December last year, kind of ages ago? Okay, we got memories. Great. We actually need health. We need lots and lots of health regen. We've got one health left. We can now talk. That's still not amazing. We can face Mary. We can the, the, we can face the sun at the skinless. Well, the crawling fossil is actually a fantastic companion. But... Oh, the knife sucks, and we're going to one-hit it. We missed anyway. Okay, we just wasted a very expensive skill on this literal piece of garbage. <sighs> okay, so we're not going to go after the crawling fossil again, because it's not an amazing one. I mean, it's just plus one damage. We actually need health way more than we need anything else. In fact, if we get the living guts, that would probably... Give us one hits for the rest of the game, right? Okay, we got an antidote. That's at least one. You move away from the car wreckage. Oh, I see. So there is actually a wrecked car in the parking lot. That's crazy. Perhaps Rainbow Six Vegas cleanup. There's nothing more in Rainbow Six Vegas. There's the uh, terrorist hunt in Rainbow Six Vegas too, but Rainbow Six Vegas has absolutely nothing left to get. It's a very linear story. It's a very linear story with no unlocks. Okay, there's the elevator for the crawling fossil and the deer-headed man. I don't really care about the deer-headed man, to be quite honest. He's slightly weaker than, what's his face, the skinless man. But he's still not amazing. I'll try for the living guts again. We got Nadine the snake. She actually has no HP as well, so I'm just going to shoot her right in the face and be done with it. It'll be defeated. Whoa, got a lot of fragments off of that one, actually. That's pretty good. Very cash money. I wanted to do Rainbow Six Vegas 2 in co-op with uh, the same guy that's doing stuff. You did all achievements? There's no achievements in Rainbow Six Vegas or Vegas 2. Not on Steam. They're on Xbox. Not on Steam. No achievements. Okay, Garage. Good. Oh, there are in-game for Rainbow Six Vegas 2, but again, not in Vegas 1. So, like, 
Most of the achievements in Rainbow Six Vegas 2 are based around getting X amount of kills in multiplayer lobbies, which you just can't do anymore because nobody is playing the game and the servers have all shut down. So it's it's kind of impossible to do. Kind of impossible. Uh, we could go for the Crawling Fossil again. <laughs> Don't really want to, <laughs> necessarily. There's leg hold traps here. We could probably make a deal with the Long Guild Fish for a consumable of some sort. I probably want to do that, actually. Let's, let's try for the Long Guild Fish. Okay, we got the worst one possible. Got the leg hold traps. Hopefully we can get away. Nope, just going to take random damage. Uh, we could actually die in the next round from this absolute garbage roll. Oh my god. That was awful. That was truly the worst thing that could have possibly happened to us. I kind of want to meet the living guts. I want to go after the living guts. We don't have any poison on us. and Oh, we could actually try for the frog's lair. Nope, we got the Apostle of the False God. Let's just try to run away, honestly. Because he's, he's kind of useless, and if he attacks us, then we're dead. Actually, how much HP does he have? We do six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, but we'll take a hit anyway, so it's best to run anyway. There we go. Got it. I was confused because it's one I've 100%ed on the past of my 360. Gas Station Simulator cleanup? Yeah, definitely. Actually, there's been more DLC that's come out for Gas Station Simulator too. It didn't do too well, though. It didn't do too... Like, people weren't interested in actually watching that, that game at all. Okay, we could go for more ammo. Or we could try for facing Trish. We need health. I'm going to the frog's lair if I can. Oh, yes! Finally! They're not happy, though. Frogs are not happy. So we've got the dagger. We've got the full moon that we probably actually desperately need. We've also got the rosary. Melee weapon thing, that's yucky. When your attack deal one damage to the enemy, probably going to be what we want. I'm going to go for the full moon, because it's a health thing. It's only going to give us, like, two hearts, but it's definitely something we want rather than not. I'm going to go floss between the teeth. I think they're referring to the literal pin of a grenade with that. Still got to clean it up, plus I thought it was a good series. I thought it was a good series too, but it, I don't know. Like, people weren't clicking on it. The, uh, yeah, all of those videos got like under 10 views still. They're still really funny videos. You can go back and watch them now just to verify, but they are still very good. They're just not, uh, it's not a very popular game. Is the Bleeding Mirror? No, deals with a long guild fish. We are uh, kind of caught with our pants down here. I was going for the long guild fish, but we actually just went for death, it seems. Failed to escape. Good, we've taken a damage. Wonderful, good to see. And... Great! Okay, if we fail this next escape at 50%, nah, we got it. Okay, we lost all of our health trying to get health items again. This is revolting. This is actually revolting. Place a crawling fossil. Maybe we could go after the crawling fossil for an additional plus one damage, but not really gonna be good. I'm gonna go for the crimson dancers. Hey, nice. Okay, what are you going to offer? Gambling! No. Predators and praise. No. Delaria, increase the accuracy of your weapons. Actually, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. But Predators and Praise could be... We can't get any more modules for it, which means we can't get any more health. But we will get items more easily. And we hit like an absolute truck. So we could also go for that. But also Talaria gives us accuracy, and we only have 60% accuracy on our pistol. I'm going to go ahead and get the Intimidation perk. So that's gonna basically give us a free like two or three health at the end of a fight, I think. Rugs is here. Uh, I hate rugs. Probably want to go after Mary. Wait a minute. Mary? Bloody Mary? Maybe? Maybe that's the thing? We what if we talk to her? Look at me. It's all your fault. My fault. I'm not even from here, lady. Enemy defeated! Woo! You earned 16 fragments and one lunar fragment. Very good. We also got a nightshade. Okay, we're at 50% skin. Which means we're probably going to get attacked by some kind of angel very soon. Mary doesn't have enough health to level us up. Skull Horse might do. Esther definitely doesn't. We're going after the Skull Horse. Maybe we'll get the Crimson Dancers. Ah, perfect. Here's just enough health for us to farm off of. No! That grenade! Oh! Balls, that hurts! Okay, I'm going to try and pray to the goddess. Maybe it won't attack. Maybe it'll try and heal. Because we... Ah, uh, we want to farm this guy for, for help. Heal, you asshole! I'll piss on this. Okay, we're in a really, really bad place. This is a bad, 
bad run. Probably should have just shot him straight up. Oh, we did. We did shoot him straight up, didn't we? And we missed. Can we do it again? Nadine. Uh, I'll try for the frog's lair, but I, I don't really think there's anything that they can give us. Oh, she's actually got quite a bit of health. If she attacks us, it does one damage. Let's pray to the goddess. Yes, the throw cutter is waiting. We want to we want to bait her into an attack. Good, and she's going to take the grenade, which means now if we gun her down, we get a little module. So Esther has seven HP. Good. We got one lunar fragment. And we got nightshade. Enemy HP gave us a mutation. I'm going to go ahead. And increase the accuracy because it is an, an, inaccurate, an inaccurate gun. And we really need the accuracy. So we need to fight Esther again. If we can. Nope, this is Nadine. We'll just one hit her. Sure, why not? I think I have a major goal of Remnant finishing easier, more minor games. One offs, Dead Space, Undertale. Seems like a good idea. Yep, definitely. It def definitely does seem like a good idea. All right, let's farm Nadine. Nadine has six HP, Esther has seven. So we can get a mutation for this. I'm going to go ahead and increase the accuracy once more. We got 90% accuracy, which is pretty damn good. We might be invaded by the angel pretty soon. Esther, we want to fight Esther. We don't want the frogs there. Damn it! Oh, we've got a, uh, we've got money, actually. We can kind of buy one more thing, right? Increases the percentage of skin. Not useful. You turn to the prey to the goddess. Deal damn to the enemy equal to the melee weapon. No. Dagger number 48. We could get really lucky and find the bloody mirror before we have to fight the angel. Right here, observe the bleeding mirror. Or we could face Mary, one of the two. Hey, what a god roll. Perfect. Okay, so we want to break the mirror and the goddess gives us a gift we get to choose as well. Increases the damage of melee, no thank you. Uh, every time you use the item cigarettes, no thank you. Increase the accuracy of your weapons, done. That's a good one. Excellent. So now if we get a perfect, hey. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, uh, I screenshotted it. Where's the, oh, the translator. Where is it? Yes, here. Okay, I know exactly what she's saying, by the way. She is saying, uh, close parentheses is H and the and H. H E or H E R H E R E. Okay, here equals is Y Y O U. Here you here you. I'm translating this in real time because I screenshotted the translator thing. Uh, the exclamation mark A probably R maybe. A-R-E. Yep. Here you are. A-T. Last. Here you are at last. Here you are at last. Yes. Oh, more. What's the hyphen? You are at last. L. Star is... Oh my god, what is the star? I? There's nothing else that looks like it. There's not an exact translation though. Sorry, what was this first one? L I L I T T L E Little Five S Oh sister S I S T E Ah Hello Little Sister Ah Okay Lore Lore A R E R U R U six is S T I L L S T I L L Are you still Oh my god, this is a big one. Dollar dollars is what is dollar dollars? Is it, there is no dollar sign on the trans Oh yeah there is, it looks like a hash. C, are you still C, C, O, N, V, I, N, 
Are you still convinced? Yep, convinced. Equals you. Are you still convinced you? Because that's this one. Are you still convinced you are slash and was slash M is the and B. Are you still convinced you are me? Oh, wow. Lore, are you still convinced you are me? Five S U S U C plus parentheses H such a what the hell is that? At such a if a such a if a I L U R E such a failure D is nuts such a failure D O E S N T doesn't such a failure doesn't D <laughs> This is probably painful to watch, right? D and and damn it. D what, sorry? D E Such a failure doesn't D E S E R V E Such a failure doesn't deserve Such a failure doesn't deserve T R to L I Live. Such a failure doesn't deserve to live. Ooh. Die. Damn! That is cool! I love that so much. I love I uh, like in real time. Translations. I almost just abbreviated that as well. Okay, this should be accurate as hell, by the way. We only have two health. That's really bad. Oh no. Uh, do we have any Oh medkit! Oh, blood and bile, that's even better, yes, please. Oh, this is a, looking like a really good one, actually. Let's use a single antidote to restore one health. Good. Now we're gonna shoot her. Bang! Sorry, little sister. Emerging from another dimension, number one attacks, inflicting bleeding! Oh no. And she takes damage from a grenade. Wow, well, sucks to be her. Boom! Okay, I shot her. She's gonna strike the lethal hit. What are you... Are you taking the piss? I've got three health! Uh, pathetic! Okay, okay! What do you mean, do you want anything? I bought everything! Yeah, we bought everything. Okay, I've seen enough. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gapping it out of this game. This is a really good game. I, I can't, like, ah, got, a, got a stray here over here. I can't believe that this is a demo. That is my review of this game so far. I literally cannot believe that this is a demo. We just got attacked by our little sister. I don't know who that's supposed to be referring to. Maybe it's supposed to be Noir. Maybe it's supposed to be Root. I, I don't know who it's talking about necessarily, but the lore here is incredible. There's some interdimensional stuff going on. Whether or not we are kind of fantasizing about this, because in the intro, we found we drank some random ass poison. Completely neither here nor there, right? I think it's pretty clear from a lore standpoint that the characters that reside in our world are representative of some kind of mental illness. Each one of them has a different one. Maybe a couple of them share it. Ruggs has uh, 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 some kind of dependency, some kind of narcotic dependency. I don't think he's only s smoking the cigarettes. I don't think he's smoking cigarettes. I think he's also smoking a bunch of other stuff, maybe like crack or heroin. Maybe he's smoking a, a nice big doob. More power to him. Um, there's narcissism. There's, I don't want to say psychopathy. There's definitely sociopathy. And there's definitely a representation of depression. That I've noticed. Who we are, I think that we are literally just a burnout. Sorry, uh, uh, noir. I think that noir is literally just a burnout. Quite self-centered, 
maybe a little bit psychopathic in tendencies. She kind of uses the people around her, but at the same time, she works a lot. And that is a recipe for burnout, which is generally a recipe for insomnia and some kind of mental breakdown. I know this personally. I know this off the back of my hand. I've been through that before myself. So I definitely think that the main character of this game is reminiscent of that. Root, I think, is where interdimensional stuff starts actually coming into play. Other than that, we may be fantasizing that we are just someone else. It might be a form of escapism. Who knows? Who honestly knows? We'll have to wait until the actual game comes out before we uh, really cast aspersions to that. So let's quit this. And I will thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist of one and done spookers that I have made. I'll probably come back to this game once I have, you know, seen a full release. And right up here, you're going to see another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, you'll find a link to my Discord where you can talk to me and my community personally. And until I make the next video, or you catch the next stream, I will see you in the next one. Have fun, and goodbye!